All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And that's it. I miss you all, and really, I miss you. And I was thinking about you all the time. I was thinking to call you one by one. But I said, and I remember to myself, as Allah, He said, don't call them in their bedrooms because they are busy and it's haram. Thank you very much. And you get the point. Um, I apologize for being a few days away, but we you know a trip I must do. And actually, uh, it's good. You won't miss me anyway, right? I mean, it's even better. <laughs> so how is everybody? I hope everything, everything is fine and all of us, we are doing good. And I pray to the Lord that all of us is in a good uh, situation. And if we are suffering from something, the Lord will help us. Today, our topic is very simple. As you see, I choose this name, you know, because we hear Muslims saying, I mean, thank God. Thank God, I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. Okay, what, what does that mean? You are saying to me, thank God I believe in the Lord of the Ring. Thank God I believe in the Hobbit. Uh, thank God I believe, uh, by the way, actually those are good uh, good movies, but the Muslims always take the wrong side of the movie, which means in the, wrong, in the Lord of the Ring, uh, this kid, Hori Booter, whatever his name, uh, he is supposedly the good guy. The Muslims are supposedly in the movie, they are the enemy. This guy is a Christian, according to, to, the, to the Muslim thinking, and they are the one who is fighting with the other side. So while all movies consider wrong, wrong, usually, Islam consider wrong is right, and right is wrong. So when the Muslims, uh, uh, according to Islam, believe in an idea, obviously they take the wrong side as an example <clears throat> if you remember where muhammad in the hadith he said if we ask any muslim do you think slavery is wrong he will say the white man brother and sister the black man did enclave the black african yeah but he will not tell you that islam not only approves slavery islam is the one who sold the slaves to the white man in europe They will talk about how the white man he owned slaves, but they will not tell you that the white man he bought him from who? Who is the one who owned the business? Who, are, who is the one who supply the vendor? And this is how always Islam play. Okay, we are the good guys. But they will not tell you, we will not talk about that. We are the one who sell you drugs, and we are the one who sell you the, 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 the slaves, and we are the one who sell you, etc. <clears throat> when they capture a Saudi prince and they said to him, Isn't it haram in Islam to sell drugs? He said, But not, we, say, we don't sell it to Muslims. We don't sell it to Muslims. And as you see, it's a duty for a Muslim. The best of mankind is the Muslims. That's what we say about the movies. The Muslims, they think they are the best of mankind. How they are the best of mankind? Is that by doing charity? No. Is that by fighting the evil? No. By doing the evil. And the proof in front of you on the screen. This is how idea, the idea of like when you hear somebody saying brainwashed. I mean, how you can be brainwashed more than this? You believe that it's your duty to bring people in chains and that supposedly will make you the benefit, the best of mankind. <clears throat> Is my microphone working good, guys? I hope my microphone is coming good. If you have <clears throat> any problem, please let me know. And yeah, my voice is a little bit tired because it was a long trip. So, how we can accept this cult to be anything to be from God? I mean, it's not even, uh, uh, you know, does not even adopt the ideas of cult usually. You see, normal cults, usually they adopt ideas and they claim that they are good. 
Islam adopt the idea of being bad yet they claim to be good I mean they say to you we are bad we we know we want to do bad to you how many time I hear a death threat how many time they want to kill me how many time and yet they are the good so Islam make you believe that you go and you uh, like what Hamas they do they go in a bus station and they explode himself and usually they send a bunch of kids the leaders of Hamas they will never do it they will not send their kids they get you someone who is 15 years old 13 years old poor kid they tell him if you do this fighting the enemy of Allah you go to heaven why you are not go yourself you are one who is teaching the kid why about you why you don't don't you want to go to heaven Don't you want to go and get the virgins who their legs is uh, waiting for you? And here their private part is like a garage. Why you don't do it yourself? Osama bin Laden, he sent many to die in war, but he was hiding, watching porn vid videos in his bedroom with his four wives. Why you don't send yourself? What about you go yourself? Do it. Do jihad yourself. Did they take pictures with the gun? The leaders they take picture with the gun, but the one who die, huh? <clears throat> so this is the idea of Islam. There's people who they are smart in Islam, who they are leaders. They don't do what supposedly they believe in, because they knew it's false. And there's the naive who go and join jihad and they die. And then they promise them, don't worry, brother. You are going to be pitied, the brother, but you are going to go to heaven. Okay, as long as we will go to heaven, why you don't go yourself? In the same time, Quran is full of fairy tale stories, not far, it's actually, it's very close to what we see in movies. The Lord of the Ring, what is in the Lord of the Ring? I bet you everything you see in the Lord of the Ring, you'll find it in the Quran and the stories of Muhammad. We have ring as an example, the ring of Solomon. I don't know how many of you knows about this ring, but supposedly this ring, when you wear it, you control the whole world. And you can control two kinds of the world, the known and unknown, which means the genie, which is unseen, and the, the, the seen, which is a human being world. So you wear, a, uh, 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 you wear a ring, you wear a ring in your hand, and suddenly you are, you are controlling everybody just by wearing the ring. But isn't this what the movie says? Isn't this what fairy tale story is about? Suleiman Ring had the following inscri inscription: "Purified the, is the Lord." I mean, you are telling me that this is not not. not <laughs> okay, and then. Who has controlled the jinn with his words? Oof, 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 oof. That's the hey brother sister. The King Solomon, Brother Solomon. Allah he gave him a beautiful ring. And the second he put it in his hand, he controlled the dini. And there you go in the Quran. I wish we can bring Zakir Naik to be with us today. That would be fun. We will find that Suleiman after he wore the ring, which are given to him by the king, which Allah. Hmm? He controlled the genie, brother, and the genie, uh, they do many things for him. Like, like as an example, brother, like what, like what? As an example, brother, they do diving for him, brother. The genie, they do diving for a prophet, yes, brother. The genie, brother, they do diving for him. And of Suleiman, the devils of from the jinn were some who is... Uh, uh, dived for him. Look, 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 look. Some they are divers, not all of them. Look at the wisdom, brother. Look at the wisdom, brother. Because it's obviously they, they have to give them jobs. Everybody have job, brother. So some of them they are divers, and some of them, brother, they work beside that. And it is was who guarded uh, them. Like what the heck? <clears throat> 
So he, the, 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 Allah supposedly, or Muhammad, when I explain how Sulaimani controlled those devils, they are devil. We guarded them, brother. <laughs> And then, brother, not only that, you see in the first movies like either uh, Alibaba, so, you know, uh, uh, Aladdin, you know, like the genie, etc. Here we see exactly the same. And to Suleiman, Solomon, we subjected the wind strongly. You can go to Ibn Kathir or any interpretation. You will see that uh, 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 Suleiman, he have a chair which uh, sorry uh, a carpet which fit for six hundred thousand chairs this is just for a human in the top of that all his kingship equipment and soldiers and so by the way the soldiers of Suleiman is not only human and genie no <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no brother sister no brother I, I wish i can pr uh, bring this uh <clears throat> what his name no khan uh, I tried many times to refuse the contact of the Quran, but each time I read it, I found it very, very, very amazing. And there is no way this is not from God. This is what Nu'man Khan he says to you. No way this is not from God. I mean, no way. And one of the things you see in this uh, funny Quran. <clears throat> It's exactly what you see in the movies and the cartoon. Allah, He taught Sulaiman how to speak to the birds. <coughs> okay, so now Allah, He taught Sulaiman how to speak to the bird, but why? Why Allah, He taught Sulaiman how to speak to the birds? I mean, here there's a logic. Maybe you think it's funny, it's stupid, but the fact, no, look at this, because Allah. Because Allah, brothers and sisters, he gave Sulaiman an army, three army, one from a human and one from genie and one from birds. Birds, army of birds, Islam teach of army of birds, absolutely, brother, in more than one place. And this is exactly what we see in the movies. If you go to the Quran, you will find there's a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant. Mm, now this is the cow. Mm, the elephant. In the chapter elephant, which is five verses only. I mean, just the most stupid story ever. <clears throat> I mean, this guy, he don't even have time to tell us what happened. So there's supposedly a Christian king or leader. He's from Ethiopia. Uh, he came to destroy the Kaaba. And look how the Muslims, when they translate, look at translation here. All this translation is not, all of these things does not exist in the verse, by the way. Have you and then Muhammad, peace be upon him. I mean, this is the translation. I mean, if this is a translation, what is, where is the translation? The, the, all what the verse saying, haven't you seen the, the, the companion of the elephant? And then, how did not make their uh, plot go astray? And sent against them birds in flocks, striking them with the stones of sajil. Stones of sajil. Sajil is like a stones made from mud, and made them like an empty field. That supposedly Allah He smashed them. And this is what we see in the Lord of the Ring: bird frying, a dragon, and you know, and he throw things, and you know, this is exactly. So now a story that is an army of an elephant. Coming to destroy the Kaaba, Allah He sent a huge number of birds, and they throw rocks at the elephants. But nobody asked himself. I mean, how the elephant will go to Mecca? <clears throat> Do you know how many gallon of water the elephant he need a day? I think it's about six hundred gallon at least. This is not include the water he need to to wet his skin because elephant they don't sweat. So if they don't jump inside <clears throat> inside the water during the, the, the hot time of the day, they die. They cannot, you know, they cannot resist heat. They don't sweat. So what they do during the day, they jump inside the water. The same as all animals who they are from the same size, from the same family. So they need 600, 
you know, a, a gallon of water, and now we have an army going in the desert. Desert where of Saudi Arabia? Okay, where they go, where they will get the water for their army? And where is the elephant? What happened? And where the story is coming from? Fictions. So all those fiction stories you find them in the Quran. Uh, as an example, if you go to the uh, story of uh, 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 the Lord of the Ring, you will find that there is very weird the creatures and blah blah. You know, right? You find the same in the Quran. Allah in the Quran in chapter 27 verse number 82 and you can read the interpretation of any of Islamic uh, they call themselves scholars you will find that this is a beast will come from the ground have the um, the tail of a cow that know that the tail uh, I forgot the description really the eye of a pig the ears of an elephant the the, the neck of a uh, ostrich uh, the tail of a tiger. I, I mean, it's like it's like a, like somebody put all the zoo in the mixer, mix them together, and this beast came out. So this is a beast. Allah will send, and this beast will chase us, and this beast will come with the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses. So why? What what is different now between what we saw in those movies, the fiction movies? And the Quran. Why Allah want to send the beast? And this beast, he will make us black and white. You see, the Muslim might say to you, doesn't say that this guy is lying to you. Well, we can go and read. Right in the front of us on the screen. <clears throat> if we go in chapter 27, verse number 82. Ibn Kathir, I remember Ibn Kathir is not my book. And by the way, remember too, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. It's a full of fabrication, which means they try to make Ibn Kathir look nicer by not mentioning tons of his stories. So here Muhammad, he claimed, the messenger of Allah, he claimed that, uh, uh, that the judgment day will not come unless those things happen. Okay, what those things? The hour will not come until you see 10, 10 signs, 10 signs. So that the one who start with 10 and those you see like 10 things you need to do before you go to vacation. You know, the first one who try start them, Muhammad. The rising of the sun from the west. Why Muhammad, he believed that? Because Muhammad, he believed, we showed you in the hadith, that the sun every day go and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So the funny religion of Islam teach that the sun itself is moving from point A to point B. Uh, if you remember the Quran speak too about the sun sitting in the murky water. So uh, Muhammad, he said <coughs> to one of his companion, do you know where the sun goes? The guy, he said, ah, I don't know. Brother, uh, do you know where the sun goes? For sure, they have to say to Muhammad right away, I don't know. Because Muhammad, he enjoyed when you say to him, Allah and his prophet know better, best. This is the whole point of saying, do you know? Muhammad, when he asks you, do you know? You have to respond right away saying, I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. Okay. Now Muhammad is excited like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you now where, is, where the sun goes. Okay. It goes, i.e., travel till it's prostrate itself under the throne and take permission to raise again. So, what the Muslim believe that the sun goes every day. It's the sun going. It's not the earth going around itself. No, the sun is the sun goes. Do, do you know where the sun goes? Muhammad he never never said where the sun when the earth goes. He said where the sun goes. So he's explaining to us how the sun disappear. He, he asked when at the sunset. So Dr. Muhammad, who graduated from NASA, he want to explain to us, always we believe in science. And many people believe in science. But do you know, brother, that the best scientist ever is in history. It was the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. He is the first one who discovered how the sun set. And brother, he discovered even the location. And he discovered that the sun take a bath every day. 
the what? Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. What the heck with this religion? And then he make 1,000 videos, million videos about science in the Quran. When the Quran says that the sun set in the murky water, the Quran says, not me. If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> you will find this, chapter 18, verse number 86. The Muslim to avoid this disaster, they say, brother, this is here how this it appear at uh, the appearance in the eyes, the eyesight of Zulkarnain. Now, Zulkarnain by itself is a story. We'll talk about him, but later. But too many fiction stories. So until here, when he reached the sitting of the sun, place of the sun, he found it sitting in a spring of black, muddy, hot water. The Muslim to avoid this disaster, they start lying and fabricating, saying, No, 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 it's not Allah. He's saying the sunset in murky water, it is the guy he saw it look like it. No, the one is talking there is Allah. Go verse number 83, it says, and they ask you about Zul Qurnain. And have you ever heard of somebody his name Zul Qurnain? What Zul Qurnain mean? The guy with the two horn. Is that a name? I mean, how you can call a pers person the guy with the two horn? Simply, even this one is coming from a fiction story about Alexander the Great. Fiction story written by a Syrian person from Syria about uh, uh, fiction stories about Zulkarnay, which means the, 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 the person is a true person, uh, uh, Alexander the Great, but all the stories there are fiction stories. Muhammad, he took the fiction stories as it is, and he put in the Quran, and he claimed it's from God. So now when the one is talking, people ask him, what do you say about Zulkarnay? Is he a Muslim too? Because Muhammad is obsessed with the famous one. If Muhammad was exist in the, our time, he will say he will make Madonna Muslims, he will make Michael Jackson Muslims, he will make Trump Muslims, he will make anyone. I mean, Christian brands Muslim. So they ask you about the Quran. Okay, now Muhammad, you have to tell them. So Allah said to him, "I shall recite to you something of this story. Something. Who is the one reciting Allah?" And then he says, Verily we established him in the earth, and we gave him means of everything. <laughs> what the heck? Allah gave him the means of everything. It's not, it's not Zulqarnayn was a, uh, like a war warrior. It's Allah he gave him. This is a prophet of Islam, brother. But all of us, we know uh, uh, Alexander the Great, he was a bisexual. So he followed away, okay? Until when he reached the one is talking reporting what happened is Allah It's not the guy saying until I reach I saw the Sun sitting in water. It's Allah until when he reached the sitting place of the Sun by by the way What is the sitting place of the Sun brother? Supposedly this guy he went around the earth and he controlled all the earth and then he until he found where the Sun sitting the sitting the sitting place of the Sun <clears throat> Where is that located? Where we can find the sitting place of the sun. And the one Muslim they try to defend fabricating answers. Still, you cannot play that game with a Christian prince because a Christian prince will get you busted with no mercy. If we go to the hadith of Brother and Thathar, we will find in the hadith of Brother and Thathar, it says, a brother and sister, that it says, Muhammad, he said it clearly, that the sun set in a murky water. This is the words of Muhammad. So they try to say, oh, it did not. He did not say that. Oh, oh, oh mommy. I'm really how they try to cover up. I mean, how you can be a Muslim without covering up for Muhammad? You cannot. It's impossible. You have to cover up for Muhammad. It's your duty, brother. This is what Muhammad said. And this is hadith is not da'if. So as you see, like we start reading a story, we end with a different story. <clears throat> we were talking about the Jassasa, the, 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 the beast. All of Islam is a stupid fiction stories. I mean, how in the world any human being can believe in this? Right? Let us see what Ibn Kathir says, what happened. Who cares? You see, let me give you an example. Hold on, hold on. Let us see what happened Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is exist long after Muhammad and he lived between the Syrian and the smart people. So he was saying to himself, 
There's no way his son said so. Ibn Kathir is being smart, but Ibn Kathir, he cannot deny what your prophet said, you idiot. Isn't it your prophet he said that? So you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir is telling the truth and your prophet is a liar. Thank you very much. Correct, guys? All those hadith where Muhammad explained how the sun set and you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir, there again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again. It is you who don't like Ibn Kathir no more. Okay, if I go right now and see what Ibn Kathir I said, do you accept what Ibn Kathir said? Muslim proper uh, challenge between me and you, just to show everybody that you are a potato. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? Do you accept whatever Ibn Kathir said, or you don't? And I accept. I accept. Do you accept? You don't. And here we go. My Skype is open. Call me. You are just a potato. I am showing you your prophet saying what he is saying. Who is Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir, for him, he was sitting between those Aramaic people who they are very educated, very embarrassing what Muhammad was saying. So Ibn Kathir was practicing taqiyya. There is no way the Quran saying that. But as you see, Muhammad, he said that all over. How many hadith Muhammad, he said, the sun goes, the sun set under the throne of Allah, the sun set in the water. So Ibn Kathir now is your prophet and your prophet is not Ibn Kathir. I know it's Abbas is an idiot. I just uh, gave him a shower. Isn't it? This is a, isn't it? This is your prophet, guys. And look how funny the Muslim really. They say, uh, "I have, can show you a scholar." Uh, I agree. Whatever I agree. Whatever Muslim scholar they say, because all of it proving Islam to be stupid. Do you agree? Any Muslim scholar. From the eighth centuries and back, anything he say about Islam, I agree with it because it proved to us that Islam is nothing but a dumb, stupid religion. Do you agree? And when we say your prophet said, shame on you even to mention a scholar said because you take your prophet above all. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih Bukhari. So you take now somebody just because by the way Ibn Kathir for this guy now is right because Ibn Kathir he says this is from the eyesight per, uh, like perspective but this is not a true but he cannot deny that because here we go in front of us you're a prophet saying the sun set in the murky water it's not me and I'm not giving you a scholar saying that I'm giving you a prophet saying that guys there's a saying in front of us I ask uh, 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 the prophet asked me do you know where the sun uh, goes at the sunset time I replied Allah and his apostle know best or know better he said it goes ie it goes ie travels who is the one is going do you know there is a different version of the same hadith it doesn't matter as long as it's sahih it's sahih give me the other version guys let us play this game Abbas Abbas, you are Abbas. Ab this Abbas, I feel sorry for his wife. Honestly, I think this 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 lady she cooked twice a day, one for the kids and one for Abbas alone. Because Abbas, he need different kind of food. Abbas, give me the other version of the hadith and let us laugh together. It's a challenge, Abbas. Give me the other version of the hadith, brother. Supposedly the other version is better. The other version is worst. I give it, give it, give it to me, Abbas. What is the other version? <laughs> I cannot give it to you because I'm driving. I'm delivering pizza. <laughs> what other version of the hadith? Are you stupid or what? All the hadith is speaking about the same. Give me the other version just, just to show you how stupid you are and how you lie without even knowing what you are saying. Just in order to defend, you keep giving lies. Give me the other version of the hadith. I'm not going to let your tail until you give me the other version of the hadith. So everybody will laugh at you. Pause the text. I'm waiting for you. I will give you 10 minutes. Is that, for, is that, is that good, guys? 
He said there's other version of the hadith. And why you Muslims have other versions of the hadith? Let, let me tell you because Islam is virgins. Islam is virgin, brother. Islam is full of stories, and Muslims they start like, what is the story here? Where is the prophet talking on where he is not talking? Look like our books is full of garbage. And at the throne of Allah, hold on, hold on. You see, I just showed you how stupid he is. I, when I say this guy is mentally ill, I'm not insulting. I'm just describing. Look, he just said that the sun goes under the throne of Allah. Okay, you eat it. It's the same thing. The say, hadith is saying that you donkey. This hadith in the front of us saying that the throne that the sun goes under the throne of Allah because the throne of Allah, your donkey, is above the water. I mean, where are those people coming from? I mean, Allah could not find a better, smarter than those people to, to defend Islam. I'm serious. From all the Muslims in the world, Allah could not find something smarter. Abdul, Allah is a throne above the water. And when you say to me, you idiot, that the other version says that it goes under the throne of Allah. This is what the same hadith we are talking about. The throne of Allah is above the water, you idiot. Do you see it? So you admitted that the, 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 the sun goes under the throne of Allah. Okay, what is under the throne of Allah? Water. Your God Allah was doing a scheme. And by the way, here this is stupid. Muhammad is trying to copy from the Bible, but this is funny because when the Bible speaks about the Spirit of God, when God He created the earth, the whole earth was covered by water and the Spirit of God over. Here, Muhammad, he did not try, you know, he did not uh, uh, create anything yet, but yet he is a throne above the water. Before he created anything, there was Allah, there was a throne, and there was water. Where do you see it? Stupid. So when Abbas he says to us, trying to be a smart bum, he says, No, brother, the hadith of brother says that the sun goes under the throne of Allah. Not in the water, brother. But by saying that, Abdul, Abbas, you just admitted that the sun goes. Now, doesn't matter really where the sun goes anymore because the second you admit that the, the, your religion teach that the sun goes, that means your, your head is gone with it. Because the sun goes nowhere, you idiot. When you explain the sun set by saying the sun goes, you just admitted that your prophet is the idiot of the village. Because the sunset have nothing to do with sun going. Sun is going nowhere. It's there. It is the earth going around itself every 24 hours. So you see how they, you know, how right away they get their prophet busted. Supposedly now, a Christian prince, you are wrong. You are wrong. The prophet says that the, uh, the sun goes under the throne of Allah. <laughs> Abdul, it goes to the market. It goes to under the throne. It goes to Allah pocket. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this is stupid because the sun goes nowhere. And your prophet, when he's trying to be Dr. Dr. Muhammad, the one who understands science and how things work, he got himself busted. And as you see, he said clearly that the sun Sit in a murky water. Unbelievable. This is what happened when a Muslim he tried to be smart. And this is why those uh, they claim to be Muslim uh, scholars they don't dare to debate me. Hmm? Yeah, right. What is this? Tons of fiction stories, stupidity. Hey, brother and sister, ten things will happen, brother. Ten things. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the Milky Way move, so we are with the sun. No, we are not denying the sun is not is is moving. No, 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 no. You see, this is not what we are saying. We are talking about specific thing that the sun set. All right, don't mix things up. 
This is about when the sun set. Where the sun set, this is not about everything in this universe is moving. The earth is moving. But this is not about what is moving, what's not. This is about explaining the sunset. All right? Uh, no, uh, uh, Muslim proper, you are a stupid idiot again. Because your prophet saying every day the sun goes under the throne of Allah. It continues until the judgment day and then the sun will not allow to go and come back from where it's coming from. You are a stupid idiot. Look what he said, guys. Just to show you how silly they try to defend, but when they defend, they make poo poo. Here we go. Again, you are dumb. It's talking about eventually the sun will end up under the throne of Allah. Even the scientists are saying the sun, where, where, where his text go? Okay. Even the scientists uh, 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 saying the sun constantly. Uh, heading toward a point just again to show you how stupid you are this is not about is going to end this is happening every day you donkey and this is why people they say to me why you call some people donkeys because they are read the hadith this is explain how the sun set this idiot is trying to say to us that scientists they say that the sun is pointing to a certain point Okay, but you're a prophet here saying this is happening every day. Read carefully, Abdul. Potato, potato. The prophet of Allah asked me at the sunset, Do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Lan is apostle, no better. He said it goes, i.e., travel till prostrate itself under the throne and take permission to rise again. And it's permitted. Then the time will come. So this is how it happened the cycle every day. The sun goes every day under the throne of Allah, and then in the morning she wake up and she say, "Allah, can I go back to CCP?" And Allah says, "Okay, go back." And then the sun goes back, brother, and come from the east until time come, and it's about to uh, to prostrate again as usual, huh? And then, uh, 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 but the prostration will not be accepted. So Allah will say, "No, no, 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 no." Where the sun, where the hadith says every day, it's in the front of you, you donkey. It's in the front of you. Guys, does it say every day? It says every day. He is talking about the sunset. Do you know where to go? It says, go and ask permission. And this is what happened over and over. Read it. You're a slow donkey. And Allah Apostle know better. He said, it goes, i.e. travel till prostrate itself under the throne and takes permission to rise again. Do you see it? To rise again, 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 every day. So your prophet explained how the sun rise again, how the sun set and rise again. And it's permitted until time comes. So there's something will happen in, in the future. What is that? That is the judgment day, supposedly. And when the time come, it will be prostrated itself. The sun will come to do as usual business. Let me let me save the the the, the poo, poo of uh, of Abbas. The poo, poo of Abbas is priceless, by the way. We can see it in the auction. <laughs> so, brother and sister. So here the sun rise again and again and again. But how had that happened? Because the sun goes and prostrate itself under the throne. And it take a permission, brother. And then it's permitted. And this has happened again and again and again, which means this is every day. And then will be until one day time will come and it will try to prostrate as usual, but that will not be accepted. It will ask, the sun will ask for permission to go in its course, which is the normal thing. And will not be permitted, but it will be ordered to return where ends it has come from, <laughs> and it will rise from the west. <laughs> so, guys, the, the time will come, and the sun will, will every day goes to Allah and the throne and prostrate itself. And then the morning she say, I want to go back. He say, Okay, go back. And then will rise, but one day the sun will go and do prostrate, and Allah will not allow it to go uh, to to rise from the east. 
he will say Allah will tell the son that you have to rise from the West which means she have to come from where she came from do you see it from where what she came from let me make a drawing for the slow one like Abbas so the Sun every day goes from here to here and at the throne of Allah no they understand my friend they understand they play stupid they play stupid because this is embarrassing if you think a Muslim he don't understand what we are talking about he understand very well trust me God he gave them a brain but when you put your your brain into sleep in purpose to defend he knew he's lying to himself but he cannot that will not affect us that's affect him look so what Muhammad saying the Sun here this is sunset Muhammad let's say this is Muhammad here Muhammad over his donkey okay this is the tail of his donkey this is his head and this is Muhammad Muhammad is the one at the top by the way okay and now he saw the Sun the Sun is here the Sun is going down going down the guy behind him asked by Muhammad do you know where the Sun goes the guy he said no he says go and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah so here we have the throne of Allah hmm? the throne of Allah and the Sun goes here every day and every day in the morning the Sun asks Allah to for permission and then the throne of Allah is above the water we showed you the hadith so the Sun will go and ask for permission in the morning and then Allah will permit it to go normally so the Sun come from here let's change the color the Sun come from this direction to this direction and at the throne of Allah when the Sun wake up the Sun will not go from the same direction will go from here All right, so but time will come and Allah will not give a son permission to come back where it's coming from. Where, where, sorry, with the, the normal course. So what Allah will do, He will say, "Go where you came from." So where the son came from? The son came from the west. So now the son have to come down or to come back. From this direction and that will make it appear from the West so this is what Muhammad is saying and this is very stupid proving to us Muhammad to be false no matter what you try to explain it no matter how you try to defend it only stupid person believe in such a thing to be true all right so the Sun changed direction exactly and not only that Muhammad he quote the Quran to explain the verse if we go in the hadith here you see Muhammad he quote in the Quran given interpretation for what he meant and he say clearly this is what it's meant about this the sun going in a murky water the sun going in a course do you see it and that is the interpretation of the statement of Allah the sun runs in a fixed course chapter 36 verse number 38 so the course of the sun is the sun setting every day every day every day and going from point A to point B and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah and then Allah one day in the judgment day this is son of the judgment day Allah will change the course of the Sun so she will not go from the east to the west she will come back from the west and this is exactly what the hadith is saying so when a poor Abdul try to defend such a stupid thing he looked like a fool and this is not my fault if you defend the foolishness that will make you look like a fool Isn't it really clear? I mean, do we need to explain more? And look how, how stupid this cult is. We were talking about something, we end with something else. All of it is stupid. Yeah, etc. There's tons of verses in the Quran, mad, stupid, crazy cult. And because you don't speak Arabic, uh, Muhammad the CP Baba he can call me my Skype is open
my friend, it's you who don't accept Ibn Kathir. Okay, if we go to Ibn Kathir, you accept? Okay, guys, Ibn Abbas is asking, I thought you like the scholars, the scholars. Okay, let me show you the scholars. Here we go. This is your scholar. This is Ibn Kathir. In a second, you will say to me, I don't want Ibn Kathir. Because Ibn Kathir confirmed the same. You see, Ibn Kathir is a donkey like you. In one page, he dis he decided that the sun does not sit in murky water. But in the other page, he decided, yes, the sun will go every day and rise, etc. And then one of the signs of the judgment, the sun will rise from the west. Isn't it this Ibn Kathir? So Ibn Kathir must be stupid to agree with two opposite things. Because here he agree with it. This is why I said to you, do you agree with Ibn Kathir? This is Ibn Kathir. The hour will not come until you see this, the, those signs. What is the sign? The sun come from the west. Who is saying that? Ibn Kathir. Where, where Ibn Kathir he got that? From the same hadith we are reading. From the same hadith we are reading. Abdul, I agree with Ibn Kathir that Muhammad is a false prophet because here he proved that Muhammad is a false prophet. For me, when I quote for you, your scholars, those are your scholars, not mine. I don't agree with Muhammad to agree with Ibn Kathir. Who is Ibn Kathir? He's just a potato. If Muhammad for me is a potato, who is Ibn Kathir? I'm showing you, you are the one who said you like Ibn Kathir. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. It is Ibn Kathir who says that the man, yes, the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from the ribs. It is Ibn Kathir. It is Ibn Kathir who believe that the sun rise from the east and set in the west under the throne of Allah. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You are stupid. This is the had okay, Ibn Kathir. He took the story from where you donkey. He took it from here. Who cares if it's about the day of judgment or not? Muhammad, he where Ibn Kathir he got this from here. From who? From Muhammad. What Muhammad say? The sun goes every day, prostrate and under self, and at the throne of Allah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I show you what Ibn Kathir he says about the movement of the sun? Do we have a beach? <laughs> is it okay if I show you what, this, what, what Ibn Kathir says about the, the movement of the sun? Abbas, if I show you what Ibn Kathir says. Clear words from Ibn Kathir. Do you accept? Yes or no? You are the one who's asking me for Ibn Kathir, remember? So do you accept Ibn Kathir if I show you what Ibn Kathir say about the sun movement? No, you cannot. You can do that on roll for me. One roll for you. Double standard. Uh, double standard. It's you who's double standard. I'm showing you a prophet. It is you who say I follow the prophet, but yet you accept what Ibn Kathir says in one page. You deny what Ibn Kathir says in the second page. <laughs> guys didn't i say just for the sake of argument i accept anything Ibn Kathir says do you you don't you don't <laughs> what position you are a donkey you are no one you don't even know how to say your prophet name correctly my position you the guy he speak as if he's like a scientist do you know my position your position is in the twilight seat and you are the one who clean the dishes to your wife every day, five times a day. Stop playing like you are a man in the house. We know who you are. When you call me, you start saying, bah, 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 bah. your voice doesn't, doesn't go. You lose your voice. And now suddenly you are the man in the text. If you want, I can let you call me just for the sake of entertainment. Do you want to call me? Abbas? Abbas? Do you like to call me? Hey, brother and sisters, let us introduce to you the hero brother Abbas. Abbas, do you, look, do you like to call me? And we we have to agree, me and you, whatever Ibn Kathir says about the sun movement, we will accept it. Do you agree? Do you agree, Abbas? Say yes. Say yes, Abbas. Abbas, say yes. Papa.
Abbas say yes whatever Ibn Kathir said about the movement of the Sun we agree do you agree he's playing dead now he's driving now his wife she asked him to 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 uh, to change the diaper of the kid what happened to you Abbas do you agree with Ibn Kathir whatever he say about the Sun movement yes or no what do you say Hmm? You know, Fox. I mean, this is this is. Uh, uh, you know, I, I find it very silly when somebody is an Arab and he is an atheist and he's tried trying to make fun of the Bible. Fox, do you like to call me? Fox four hundred. Do you like to call me? Just to show you how stupid what what you are reading, how stupid you are. Do you like to call me? Hello, Mister Fox. Fox four hundred. Do you like to call me? So don't boast and be stupid if you don't dare even to ask the question. You are a, you are a certified donkey too. We have a Skype. Call me, you idiot. Now you don't you asking me for my number? All this time you come here and you asking me for a number. When you post for me from something from the Bible, the Bible have writers, and the writers they speak of their opinion. This is an opinion of somebody saying this, this, this. This is not God saying. This is His opinion. So if you and you're supposed to you speak Arabic, right? Isn't it in the front of you? It says clearly that this is how He believe. Does it say that God He told him that God said? This is how He understand. I don't care you like me you don't but don't be stupid please the you know we as a Christian we don't we don't say that the Bible written by the hand of God the Bible is a book of books and this books contain opinion of people act of people belief of people and the Word of God so you want to judge you judge what God said not what the Christian Prince said Yeah, you are against Islam, but always you try to disturb me to take me out of the topic by by posting something stupid and silly from your mind. You have a flight of thought, my friend. Stop taking drugs. No, we, we should take you off. We cannot take the Old Testament because if you are a person who is a donkey too, who do not understand what is in the book, that's your problem. The Old Testament is a collection of God teaching, history teaching. Men and women did things. This is not a state. You can judge what God said. You cannot judge what I said, even though it is written in the Old Testament. This is how foolish you are. In, the, in Islam, in the religion, everything Muhammad, the Muslim, they claim, Wama huwa illa wahyun yuha. Everything is from Allah. Nothing from man. Even the hadith of Muhammad is from Allah. You are taking, because you are an ex-Muslim, you are taking the, the, the mentality, the same mentality, thinking that the Old Testament is written in the same way. We Christians, we don't believe in that. So stop being stupid. You are the same as the Muslim who come to me and says, do you know the brother that David, he was, uh, the, you know, he committed a crime? Yeah, we know, brother. We know. Who told you that David was a good guy in the Bible? Nowhere in the Bible says he is. So when somebody come with a stupid comment because he decide to be stupid I don't care if you are doozy or not and if you are a doozy it's more horrible you are a doozy you believe in al-hakim bi amrullah al-fatimi who have a son his name is Hamza and hakim bi amrullah al-fatimi claim to be God and Hamza is his son and they wrote seven letters to itself to each other and they call it the book of hikmah the book of wisdom this is what doozy mean yeah, but they are not better, my friend. If you think you are better because you are doozy from the Muslims, you have your own fiction stories, stupid stories, and believe. Anyway, we go back. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and prove us wrong? That all of your, you know, all of your cult is based on stupidity.
A brother, the Indonesian Abdul Muhammad Ramadan, you are fabricated the story. I don't know. Do we have a guy from Indonesia want to talk to me? If there is any guy from Indonesia want to call me, please let me know. Feel free, you can call me. Give me your uh, Skype, I will call you. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who is a Muslim from anywhere? I don't care if you are from Indonesia, you know. Just be, you know, be truthful. Call us and say your mind. You are welcome. Who want to do that? Even if you are Abbas, I will let you talk to me. Even if you are silly, stupid like Abbas. Anyone? How anyone in the world can believe in this diving genie? Genie who bring women, genie who look for women have no hair in their legs. Prophet who have a flying carpet. Islam, 99% of it is focusing in those stories. And in addition to that, you know, Islam is a collection of phobia stories. As an example, Muhammad, he brought phobia to the anus of a Muslim. Every Muslim, he believed that his anus is under the threat of conspiracy of the devil. The the uh, the devil, he will go inside the anus of the Muhammadan. If he go in the bathroom without saying a certain prayer, the devil will round himself around the private part of the Muhammadan if he don't say a prayer before sex. Even the belly bomb, of a human being it's because the spit of Adam it's the, spit, the spit of the shaitan and he was spitting at the angels but his spit fit, you know hit the belly the belly of Adam so he have the belly bomb of Adam <laughs> everything in this cult is based on fiction and I am here to prove it who is a Muhammadan and Abbas uh, you are not a block by the way if you want to call me call me let us see how good you are as usual all of your cult, zero reality, 100% fictions. Even Allah, we ask you, who is Allah? You do not know. What Allah means, you do not know. You do not know. You can say Christianity is fiction as much as you believe. No problem. But what uh, fiction about it? That Jesus here raised people from death? Prove it wrong. Judge Jesus made the, the blind heal. Prove it wrong. Let me show you how stupid what some atheists they say. If I say to you a hundred years ago that you will speak to somebody who live in China and you will hear his voice and you will see his image, you will accuse me to be a stupid liar, crazy. If I say that 500 years ago, for sure you might kill me and think I am mad. But today you say it, you believe it. Why? Just because you witness it. Correct, guys? So we have a guy here, his name is Samir, Samir uh, Madrid. He is saying that, I remember once I was sitting you know, in a church, and there's an atheist who come there just to bother those Christians, who they are very kind. And he said, uh, you want me to believe that somebody, he put some mud on the eye of somebody and he made him see? So I said to him, what do you do for a living, sir? He said, I am an eye doctor. Uh, this is why he chose this topic. I said, don't you put mud every day, you idiot, on the eyes of people, sand. You put sand on their eyes to make them see better? He said, what? He said, don't you, as an eye doctor, put sand in the front of the eyes of people to make them see better? He said, mm, yeah. Said now, why you accept that? So, if two thousand years ago somebody said somebody put sand in the front of an eyes of somebody and that will make him see better, people will laugh at him, right? Do you understand me, guys? Glasses is made from what? Made from sand. So, if I come to you a thousand years ago and I say I'm going to put sand in the front of your eyes and that will make you not go blind, you will see even better. People will laugh at me. 
This is how silly the atheist is. Because the atheist, they have they are the same as the Muslim, they have double standard. They say seeing is believing. We see only if we we believe only if we see, but they believe in the big bang, but never they never saw the big bang, and there's no proof of it. It's a fiction theory. Double standard. How you believe in the big bang? How you know there was a big bang? Just because an idiot he came thousand years after or millions according to you and he says there was this has happened in the before the time blah 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 prove it no proof fiction story so you muslims and atheists you share a lot of stupidity the muslims they want to believe that monkeys used to be human and allah cursed them and made them monkeys Atheists, they want to believe that human used to be monkeys and by time they became monkeys So if by time they became monkeys, why you are not a, I mean, sorry If by time a monkeys became a human why we still have monkeys And what is the proof of that? All what you have as an atheist is a fiction too theory Do we have any Abdul? Look, the atheists are mute and the Muslims are not talking. Oh, Abbas is texting me now. I will call you if you are prepared. Answer my question about Bible agree. <laughs> Guys, Abbas, he don't want to talk about his Quran. Why Abbas don't want to talk about it? Our topic is about the Quran. Why you don't talk about it? Let us, let us have fun with Abbas. Guys, do you want to have fun with Abbas? Abbas is the best forget about the rest by the way Abbas when his mother she gave birth to him she said this is the best of my kids because he's the only child I have and he is the smartest between them so Abbas I will call you if you are prepared to answer my question about your Bible agree why you don't want to talk about your Quran this is our topic Abbas let us call Abbas just for fun <clears throat> Wow. How are you, Abbas? Turn the you camera off, man. Turn, turn the camera off. You are too sexy. Uh, no, no, you... Why well, your camera is on? What are you showing me? Uh, Come on. Okay. So, Abbas. Is the camera off now? Okay. It's off. It's off. Yeah. So, Abbas. Oh, you're brave, man. You're brave, man. Congratulations. First of all, to start with. Huh? You call me after all. If, 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 if I spank you every time you call, every time, and let, let's let Abbas, let's make a challenge. What about you take all the calls you made to me and you post it in your channel? Do you agree? I don't have a channel. You have a bad man. Make a man. channel, you go. idiot. Come on, who cares? I mean, this is for free. As long as you are proud and people I... are afraid from you, as long as you are proud and people are afraid of you, I want you to prove it. Each time you call me, it's collected. The Christians are collecting all your calls, spank after spank. I challenge you okay. to open your channel, make a channel on YouTube, and download all the videos. Abbas calling Christian Prince is the best joke ever. Post it there and see what the Muslim will say to you. What do you say? Can I answer? No. Do you agree First with the all, challenge? Do you agree with the challenge? Why? What are those conditions, man? Why you don't do it? Why you don't do it? You as long speak, as long we are afraid to call you. Here we I'm go. The call is recorded. Everybody will laugh either at you or at me. How come I ask people to 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 download the whole video, including your calls, which is very funny, huh? And you don't do the same. Aren't you proud about what you do, brother? My calls are not as funny as you, man. You are already comedy show. You make me so much laugh. More for sure, for sure. Here we go. Your prophet yes. saying the sun so set in the murky water. What do you say about your prophet saying that? Oh, no, no, he wasn't saying that. He wasn't saying that. He was, was not adding the word every day. Okay, hold every on. Day the word is okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, nice, we, here nice, we go. Nice. Guys, he, he, he was not saying that. Okay. He was not saying that. Okay, this is your prophet. Here we go. This is your prophet. Read the hadith. No, no, where's the word every day? Show me. Read the, the hadith. hadith. Read the hadith first. I read the hadith. Uh, no, uh, uh, no read, the read the hadith here. Read the hadith one by one. One by one. Oh, uh, uh, we have time. We have time. We are showing the hadith here. It's in front of you. Read it. Yeah, okay. and, and remember my challenge. I and brother, remember. I brother, I remember, brother. I remember. Okay, go read it. Yeah, that's why I take your call. Yeah, hey, brother, read it. Say, brother. Okay, brother, read it. Is it okay? Okay, brother, read it. 
Oh, okay, brother. Okay, brother. Yeah, what do you want me to read? Read it, hadith in front of you. I was a narrated, yeah, narrated Abu Dhar Razi Allah An. Hmm. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who was riding a donkey hmm. while the sun was setting. He wow. asked, do you know where this sets? Hmm. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Okay. Wow. Hmm. And what yeah, do you think yeah, about you your know prophet? Three versions of this and what do you think? Don't versions. tell me version now. Don't play versions. Did your prophet say that or no? Well, the hadith says that he said that. Yes. Okay. And what we will do now? So what we will do now? I'm answering you what I do. Okay. What, so what do? I do as a Muslim? What I do as a Muslim? Mm. I say, hmm. Okay. This hadith says that. Okay. Let's see if there's any hadith similar to that. Okay. Like, uh, show me other hadith similar to that. Hadith. Okay. Yeah? Show me. Show me other hadith Hello, similar to that. Show me the other hadith similar to that. Go ahead. You know exactly where the hadith is. No, no, I do not you know. know. You know. You are the one who called me and you are the one who want to get me busted. So I'm asking you, please show me the hadith similar to that. The one you choose of your choice. See. Don't send me ZB. No ZB. No, 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 no. You see, you call me to get me busted, brother. So you said there's a hadith similar to that. What is the hadith similar to that? Which one? You're not letting me speak, man. This I'm letting you speak. I want an evidence. I don't, you know, you, 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 you are, you are, you always act like a kid. You, you go, you go live. You call you me. You, you cry. I you am know. letting you speak. You, you just said you are a man. You are not a kid. Everybody heard you saying there is a hadith similar to that. Okay, what hadith? You're not letting me speak, man. Go ahead. Seriously, you're not letting me. Speak. Okay, seriously, seriously, go. First, first of all, first of all, I don't want you to do sin. You just lie. Really? You say I called. Actually, you called me. Well, you are the one who texted me, yes. right? I said I want to call. Now uh, you talking, yeah? So you uh, lied. Don't be stupid. I mean, everybody so is laughing. Right. Okay, I call. I call you. I said you call because you are the one who texted me. You want to talk to me? So if I make I hit the bomb, does not mean I, I'm not. You are the one who called me because you are the one who said you want to talk to me. Is it you who said to me should I show the text? Stupid. Now answer. Where is the hadith similar to that? Where is the hadith similar to that? Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith similar to that? And what that will change? The hadith saying it clearly: the sun set in the murky water. How more clear we can make it? Zb, listen, I'm not your enemy, and I. Zb, Zb, Zb. I don't care if you're an enemy. Who care? You're. Who said you are an enemy? You are not a match to be an enemy. You are a potato. I don't. I don't fight with the chickens. I'm asking you: be a man. Prove me wrong. The hadith in the front of you. This is your prophet talking, not me. What you will say to your prophet? So you're telling me I'm not a man and you are a man. You are not a man, and and because if you are a man, you take a stand of what you what you just said. You said there is a similar hadith like this. What it says? I said to you, okay, tell me what it says. Show me the hadith and, and what it says. So and when I say something, you got angry with me. I am not angry. I'm asking you, please. Can you show me what you just said? You just said you are an adult. You are you are not a child. You just said something to me. Can you please, 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 nicely, friendly? Can you show us the hadith which you like us to read? I will, but you are making a lot of statements. Uh, statements. My friend, when can you stop saying I will? Stop. stop saying I will. Sh show me the hadith. I, there's no need. I will okay. just show us the hadith. People are waiting for you. Muslims, Muslims, oh, the bent okay. of Islam is the bent on you right now, my friend. No, Islam doesn't depend on anything. Okay, human. no, you are the one this who get me, no, you are the one who is calling me to get me busted. Come on, brother, show show me the hadith. Allah will make you bust. Don't uh, Allah, 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 here we go. I spank you. Allah every day. So my, I, I have my five fingers marks over the bum of Allah ever every day, and nobody can get me busted. They prove me wrong. Do you have a proof? I'm doing it. I just yeah. now here we go. You're a prophet saying the sun set in the murky water. This is a proof that your prophet is an idiot and he's a liar. What, what do you mean? No proof. Here we go. I have five fingers in the bum of Allah using this hadith. And can you say to me, I'm lying? I am not. Where is the bum of Allah? Show me how does it look like. Show everybody. Come on, I'll be a man. You yourself do not know how it looks like. If I show you, you will say to me, This is not the bum of Allah. So don't go there. Answer, don't change the topic. Don't change it. Don't change it. Don't change the topic. We will talk about I promise you, we will talk about the bum. We will talk about the bum of Allah after we finish this. No, no, we're going to talk about now because you're making a point. There is I am proving. Okay, you I will show you. Here we go. You this is the it. this is the bum of Allah. As long as you want to see it, you insist. This is the bum of Allah. Okay, and this is Allah. He have one leg, huh? And this is my five fingers over his bum. Where is it? The screen is. There's nothing on the screen. What are you talking about? Okay. Oh, that's 
Yeah. All right, now it's coming. Okay, okay. let's see. So now we right. understand. Okay, now did your prophet say the sun set in a murky water? Yes or no? The, this is of Allah, and that's your fingers. Uh, does did your right. prophet? Yeah. Did you call me to say to me? Those are the bum of Allah, and those are my fingers over your bum too. And everybody is laughing. You said you want to get me busted. Okay. And now uh, you call, and what you do, you start to blah 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 blah. Did your prophet say the sun set in a murky water? You said yes. The prophet says that. So what we will do now? By looking at your answer you gave me, I'm going to do something which I never done before. What you will take off your pen? I, no, no, you know, I'm no, no. I'm going to do. Give me the hadith. You said to me what? there's a similar hadith. You forgot what you said. We are waiting for it all this time. We are waiting for. It. So where is the hadith you want to give me so we can put in the screen? People are waiting. This is proof that you are just a joke. Abdul, it says you who right, joke. Right, you right. are trying to prove me wrong, aren't you? So give me that. Here we go. I gave my reference. Give me your reference to prove me wrong. So you saying you never read that hadith before? Are you telling my me friend? I don't know what hadith you are you talking know? about. You are the genius. You are the man. You are Abbas, the one who is always driving when I when I call me. Now you are live and you are not driving. Alhamdulillah. Okay, no. So what is the hadith? Okay, I, I have the hadith, mm. but you give me five minutes and I call you back. Is that alright with you? Why it take five minutes? Okay, sing, sing, sing for us okay. during sing for us during the I time of five minutes. Sing because we need we need entertainment yes. in the radio. You want me to sing for you? Oh, why are you why you are calling me and you are not ready, you idiot? I mean, now you need five minutes to find the hadith. What's wrong with you? So all this time you are chatting with me in the chat, and you are saying to me this and that, and now you don't have the hadith. ZB, I said to you. ZB, ZB, you said to me, ZB, you said to me, you are trying to prove me wrong since an hour ago, and now we, when you are live on air, you need five minutes to find it. Why five minutes? How come I can find any hadith in two seconds? Uh, I said, give me five ten minutes. I'll call you back. Why five ten? Minutes? No, no, no. I, I want to stay with you. I like people. We want to have fun. Now, if, uh, look for the hadith where you are talking. Go ahead. I want to hear you. Hear your wisdom. You are the most wise person ever. I, I, I saw. Okay, you want me to sing a song for you? Yeah, uh, sing a song for us. Go ahead. <laughs> I am zippy zippy. I am Brett who is hold on, did you say I'm Brett Nate? Okay, <laughs> hold on. Isn't it your prophet who said, isn't it your prophet who said that a Muslim man, he will be what? Brett Nate and he will be delivering a baby in the heaven if he wish? So, so Muslim man, what? Isn't it your prophet? He said that you as a Muslim in the yes. heaven, you will be Brett Nate and you will deliver a baby if you wish in one hour? <laughs> Here we go. The hate in front of you. The hate in front of you. I'm not the one. You are the one. You are the one who came. You are the one who came with the topic, not me. It's in the front of you. It's an. It is your. It is your story, not my story. You are the one who said that. You know, when you talk to Christian prince, you have to be careful. Anything you 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 say is going to be used against you. So read the hadith for us. Read the hadith for us. Is it true that you in heaven, if you wish to have a baby, you will deliver a baby from your belly? Okay, let's see. Let's read it. Uh, what what hadith is that? What hadith is that? From, this is a hadith of your it, prophet. It, because you quote a lot of ma uh, ma Maudu <laughs> uh, No, it's not Maudu Bradar. It's not Maudu Bradar. It's not Maudu Bradar. This is okay, this, this hadith, you idiot, from one of the six authentic books. And you say Maudu. Are you stupid or what? Who told you the six authentic books? This is books, six yeah. authentic books. They have no Maudu. This is why they call them the six authentic. Stop being stupid. Now read it. So there is no Maudu. I. I are you challenging me? There's no Maudu because, because if there's Maudu, how you call it authentic, you idiot? How it is Maudu? Maudu, it's mean, it's, what Maudu I mean? Fabricated, say, say. isn't it? It's fabricated. So, how you say those are the six authentic hadith books, and then you say it's fabricated? I mean, how stupid you are. Now, read the hadith. Read the hadith for us. Read the hadith and feel free and feel free to prove it. Maudua. I have no, I have no problem. Feel free to prove it too. Did your prophet say it? Did your prophet say that Abbas? Did your prophet say that Abbas in the heaven? This is Abbas. This is Abbas. Okay, Abbas. Okay, this is this is you. Okay, and this is your bomb, big. All right, and this is my five fingers here. Okay, and now Abbas, you have a big belly, brother and sister. And Abbas is going to deliver a baby. Okay, Abbas, how this will happen? Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? 
<laughs> I'm just I'm just looking at your drawing. Yes, very nice. You are focusing my drawing now, not in the hadith. Are you, are you making fun of your prophet now? I'm reading the hadith, I'm reading the hadith and okay. it says in the in pregnancy in the brackets. That means that, that's not in the Arabic. No, this is what it's mean. This is what it's mean because you will carry a child. No. You you will carry a child. You will carry a child. <laughs> yeah, yes, he said between two brackets to explain to you because you are slow. Okay, now how so you can, Arabic, how how you, how you are going to carry a child. Okay. And who is going to, my and who is the I, one who is the, who is the one will do you a bus? Who is the one will do you to make you carry a child? I carry my children in my arms. No, so, you, will give, you will give birth, Abdul. Don't be stupid. They are this is a child is not born yet. You will give birth. He will be. He will be. You will give birth. You will give, you will give birth. You will give birth to a baby child. I give you an honor to read. Okay, did you find now? Let's, let, let us go back, Abdul. Did you find the other hadith? Uh, you see, I'm busy with you reading. How can I find it now? I'm trying to find the hadith, and now you ask me different hadith, and I can't even find it now. And it's impossible. Okay, uh, Abbas, uh, yeah. don't talk, stay with us. Okay, don't hang up. I will give you how many yeah. you want, how many minutes. You want me to sing a song for you again? No, you can fart if you want. <laughs> because it's the same. I mean, um, uh, Abbas singing or farting is the same. Okay, hold on. Do, do you, did you just say Allahu Akbar Kabira? Yes. Okay, what Allahu Akbar Kabira? How Allah can be Akbar and Kabira? Allah is great, the greatest. No, hold on. Akbar in Arabic mean bigger, and Kabira is big. How, how, how he was bigger. Because when you and say Akbar, when you, when you say Akbar Kabira, Akbar Kabira, you made him small. You made him small because Akbar Kabira, that's mean Allah was the biggest, and now he became smaller. Allah Akbar Kabira mean Allah is great. You see, you are stupid. You don't speak Arabic, and you are say, quoting for me something you learn in Arabic, but you do not know Akbar Kabira mean Allah was Akbar, the same as you say bigger, and now Kabira big. So uh, he is bigger big. How Allah can bigger big? Hang on, hang on. You just add a word here. Where okay, hold on. Words? You are Where's the one who said. Great. You are the one who said Allah okay. is a great, a great. Allah. No, no. Say it again. Say it again in English. What you said, Allah Akbar Kabira. What does it mean? Allah Akbar Kabira. Allah. Uh -huh. the, Allah the great, the greatest. Great, great, greatest. Akbar okay. Me. Allah great. Akbar Allah, Akbar Allah, Allah, Allah the greatest from Kabir. who? Greatest from everything. How he? Are you comparing Allah to everything? But he is not great. He's not greatest. This is not the question. Almighty, okay. When you say that, when you say, no, when you no, say, no, no, I cannot say that. Hold on. No, 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 no. I cannot compare God to a chicken. So Allah compare Himself here. When you say Allah is bigger, bigger than who? Allah is great, the greatest. No, you say the greater. You do not say He's great. You say the greater, right? Okay, greater than who? You say Allah is great, the greatest. Abdul, Allah greater oh, than who? I get it. I get it. He is the greatest, guys. He is the greatest. Come on, we got that. He is greater than who? Yeah. From everything and everyone. What? Like what? Can like, I like, like what? Like what? Brother, like what? Like what? Yeah, like what? Anything that anything okay. you can imagine. Okay. As Allah is the greater of the crea creators, or the greatest of the creators. Allah is greater than me. Allah is greater than me. Allah is greater than you. Allah is greater than Jesus. Okay. Allah is greater than Moses. Allah is greater than everything. Okay, so Allah is compared to. Uh, so you must then compare Allah. So Allah, 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 Allah is co Allah is compared to human. Is that correct? You can compare Allah to human. We say Allah is greater than a human. Okay. Read, read this verse for me, Abdul. Understand, Abdul. Read this verse for me. It says Allah, Allah is the best of the creators. Allah is the best of the creators. Allah is the best of the creators. How many creators you Muslims believe in? Do you know that I've been calling you for like? Don't call me. Now, don't tell me. That, don't change topic. Do you know that? How many? How many? Even once you say, how many creators? Even once you say, how many creators? You, know you Muslims. Not really how many creators? You Muslims have. How many creators? You Muslims have. How many creators you believe in? Not even once you say. Let's die laughing. I'm not, not even once you say. I'm asking that you. That's, how that's many creators? You Muslims believe in. How many creators? Please. How many creator what? How many creators Islam believe in? Uh, the ultimate creator is Allah. 
Okay. But he he has given us all a power of creative creative mind. We all have a creative mind. We create things. We create designs. We create. So if somebody, things, ah, no, has no, 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 stop being. You see, this why this is why I call you. This is why I call you a donkey. Your your uh, God in the Quran. The God in the Quran. He said what a creator is. A creator who can create a fly and a buff. Not an idea. Stop being stupid. Oh, ultimate creator is Allah subhanahu This is not what he's saying. Did, ultimate. Your, did your God Allah says that the one who can create can be called the creator is the one who can create a fly and more. I am not going to answer you until you read the words. Let's see, because you put words in the in the words and read it. All, yes or no? Read yes it. or no? No, you I can't don't do that. This no, I don't computer. read. Read, read. What? I'm looking at hadith to burst you, man. But you, you keep okay, read the hadith. Okay, hold on, hold on. Guys, this guy he cannot find the hadith. I mean, what's wrong with you? Allah is the best of the creators. But second, you believe that Allah is the best of the creators. You agree that Allah is not the only creator. This is how stupid this religion is. You, are you, you Muslim, try to defend the stupidity of the author of the Quran, saying to me that the one who created a bicycle, he is a creator. Bicycle is not a creation; it's an invention. Creation and religion See, meaning giving life, giving life. Because Giving life and the Quran says that. CP, you call me slow and you are so slow. I said, Let's see who is slow. Because the Quran says the one who gives a that life is the one who can be called the creator. Do you worship anyone who cannot even create a fly? This is what a creator means. Stop lying. Not to create a creator bicycle. People they can create. If a, if a creation is, a, uh, if making a chair will make me creator, that is stupid. But you are stupid. I agree. Let's see who is a stupid. Does it say here that your God Allah says, Are you going to believe to worship someone who do not even cannot even create a fly? So what is that will make you God is to create a fly, correct? You see, um you change the topic right now again. So I'm not I I'm not. We are talking about Allah Akbar Kabira. Allah Akbar Kabira. Allah the best of the creators. Either Allah is a joke. Because when he say he is the best of the creators and there's no other creator, that's mean he's a liar. <coughs> CP, can, I, can I say something now? No, you cannot. I well, want the hadith. Say, okay, give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Hmm. Let's say you scored a goal against me. Give yeah? me the you hadith. Me. I don't score, I don't one score one. goal. My fingerprint <laughs> is all over your body, buddy. Listen, I'm waiting for the hadith. Well, you are giving me busy, man. Okay. What's the problem? Okay, don't talk then. Search for hadith. I said I will keep you with us. Don't talk and find the hadith. Kabich? I can't talk. I can't sing a song. I mean, what's the problem? Okay, talk then. Talk. You, uh, when you talk, you says I'm taking you away from the topic. When you don't talk, you said I cannot talk. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Find me the hadith. The hadith you said there is a similar hadith yes. where your prophet says that the sun set in the murky water. We go back to zero. ZB, can I, I ZB? Listen, now what, listen, what do you want from ZB? What ZB? What has the By the way, the prophet he said, <laughs> if a fly come to your soup and fell down, dip it, like. dip it, dip. <laughs> stop. Give me the hadith. ZB. Give me the hadith. I, I, can I say? stop talking? No, give ZB. me the hadith. <laughs> Everybody is waiting. You are, you are, you are, you are a stupid idiot. You do not know what happened to you when you opened your mouth and you talk to someone. You know he is going to humiliate you with no mercy. Yet you want to talk to me. I mean, you must be really mentally ill to do such a thing. Now, give me the hadith. You give me what, two seconds, please. One minute. Okay. Ah, oh, I like it better. I just bang my head. Talking to you, oh, feel it be better. Uh, I will find a hadith. Give me five ten minutes. I'll call you back. I have to do my maghrib salah as well. Seriously, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> Hello. Get lost. <laughs> are you there? <laughs> and suddenly he cannot hear me too. Are you there? Hello. Are you there? Hello. It is me you're looking for. I mean, it's a comedy. It is a comedy. A Muslim trying to defend the idiot Muhammad. How is going to be? What do you think? Do you guess? Hmm? Oh boy. They try to defend. They try their best. I understand you are a Muslim and you want to defend your stupid religion, but it doesn't work this way. Not with me. 
You go to the right, I will spank you. You go to the left, I will spank you. You go up, I will take off your panty and everybody will see that you are not wearing underwear. Don't play with me. You cannot. Who's next? Why I have a full mouth? Tell your prophet, your pro guys. I have a full mouth. Why did I say? Did I say the F word? Did I say you are a prophet? When somebody is a proud about his religion, he said, "Go and tell him to bite the penis of his father." Do you want me to show it to you? And you are talking about the foul mouth. Where is the foul mouth? What I said, guys. Did I say any bad language? But because you're upset, you didn't know what to say. How I can answer him? Foul mouth. What I said? I said nothing wrong. Spank him is a foul word. Since when? But your prophet is the one who said, if somebody proud about in his inheritance, tell him to go and buy the penis of his father. What about Abu Bakr saying, go and suck the clitoris of your mother or suck the clitoris of a lat? And you are talking about a foul mouth and you are a Muslim? What about Allah? He blew in the vagina of Mary. What about Allah promising you women who have big boobs? Big boobs? Hello? Who is next? Anyone? So they get upset from me because simply I say it as it is. <clears throat> Could Muhammad hold on? The question is, is flying. It's hard to. Uh... I am a Muslim. It has talked nicely about this topic. Ah, you want you want me to call you, my friend, a Muslim guy from Indonesia? Hold on. Let us see this Muslim guy from Indonesia. <clears throat> Okay, let me search for your name and I will. Okay. I don't know if this is you, but we will text you. Text me back if this is you, my friend. I just texted you. Brew whatever. Do a list. Okay. Feel free to call me if you want to talk about this topic. No problem. That this, this gentleman is supposed to be from Indonesia. Usually, most from Indonesia they don't call. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are the one who said you want to call Christian Prince. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, you are from Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, my friend. I'm listening to you. What do you want to say to us? You are a Muslim, right? Yeah, right. Okay. How You know, I, I, I will give you freedom to prove to us Islam to be a good religion or anything good about it or anything, whatever you want to talk about, even the topic we'll talk about for the free. What do you want? You know, right now I'm 21 years old and... Okay. I've I've been a Muslim since I was a child, okay. and I do not find that according to your topic, you said that God Allah is not God, and I do not find this all this time. What makes you think this way? How many proof do you have? Tell me by number how many of them have you got? Millions. As an example, the topic in front of us. 
Do you think God will promise you women with big breasts? I mean, is that God or this is a pimp who work in Las Vegas? If you are a person who come into a society with my respect to your family, your parents, your mother, your sister, and then the person come to them and say, hey, listen, if you believe in me, my name is Muhammad. I'm prophet of a God. His name is Allah. If you believe in me, I will give you women with big breasts. What do you say to him? Mm, I never think that way. Well, we have to think, my friend. Uh, you are you are a man. You are twenty one years old. You are a man. You can get married. You have a family. Your children will depend on you. So you have to make decisions. So we have to think. So when somebody speak to me in such a way, I have to ask myself, what kind of God is God? I mean, God will provide me and tell me women they have big breasts. What does that mean? This is stupid. This is silly. This not even cannot be from God. You know, God is not. Uh, uh, you know, this is something you see. Uh, uh, from a pimp somebody trying to promote his prostitution business uh, hey I have women who have big breasts come over you know join us but this is kind of doesn't work for this is can't be God this is how the devil work the devil will come to you and says hey do you want to see naked women do you want to have naked women all right do you want money we have money you want gold we have gold you want women who have virgins huh so you will be the first first customer this is cannot be God in my opinion about this first mm. it is just telling us that if you are mat mature already as a girl mm. you'll have full breasted no no my friend this is about and the promise it doesn't, no, it doesn't my, matter right no my friend this is about the heaven this is not about the women she will have this is about in the heaven what the men will have not the not the women so if you read with me you know how to read English right yeah okay you course, can read I in know. your language if you want no problem chapter 78 and we are reading from verse number, you can read any verse from before if you want. Taking about the paradise, verse number 31, 32, 33, etc. So this is about what you will have in the paradise. In the paradise, you will have garden full of a graveyard. And then in the top of that, you have a lot of women who they are very young children, but yet they have big boobs, big breasts. And they all of them, they're in one age. And you will have a full cup of wine. And so thank God it's not a half cup. I mean, what is that? This is this is God. Uh, you know, right? It's written in the Quran, and if it say like that, so probably probably it will happen just as it is written. No problem. Let us say it's going to happen properly as it's written. This is stupid, because when you say to me, "I will give you a garden full of a grape." Isn't this is stupid? I can go right now and buy a garden full of a grape. And then you says to me, I will give you women have big breasts. I mean, who are those women? Do you, with my respect to your wife, are you married? I'm not yet married. Okay. If you, if you, if you decide to marry a woman, do you like to know her or you like to know her breast first? Uh, for me, my, myself, in my opinion, if I chose someone to be my wife, hmm. of course, I will accept her as she is if okay. i love her so I love but, her. but you're a prophet here saying he is not talking about the women what her name or what he's saying to you be happy those women they have big boobs do you think this is so imagine imagine with my respect to your parent your mo mother i'm not making the fun of them but your mother she come to you and she says i will make you marry a woman she have big breast do you think this is a this is a smart talk this is what people who they are mature say. Uh, you know, the first it doesn't say like that. It says that it says that those women are going to be supposedly your uh, the, 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 the women you will sleep with. So you know nothing about them except they have big boobs. Read it. What Allah he said about them, read it. What they said, nothing. They have big boobs. They are young with big boobs. Uh, you you read the first number thir 33 right you and can read you can read it from 31 you can read of e equal age it, and what what with big breast it it is it is just a sentence who say and young full breasted measure maiden of equal okay age. So, so it doesn't speak about the their breast it? does it speak about their breast yes or no yeah okay what why i need to know the size of their breast what that would do to me what about you tell me who they are and who who they will be for me 
what about you you know you tell why you are telling me what what is important about their big breast why it's important for Allah to say that this is the remember the one is talking is Allah right yeah if okay. Allah want, wants to give me a hmm. woman with a big breast so hmm. let it be I think it it's it's not a problem okay it's not a problem but you know nothing about them except women with big breasts and right now because you, pick you remember a second ago you said to me I will take her accept her for she who she is you. okay you said you will take her as who she is now you know nothing about them except they have a bigger breast so what is that telling me who are those you know, women I I've been living in this world for 20 21 years old hmm. and my family all Muslims hmm. you know I live in Indonesia right now okay and my my father and my father hmm. They they live together and they live honestly. And my friend, I'm very happy. I'm ha I'm very happy to your parents and my 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 parents. They live together all their life for tens of years. All right, and they never get divorced. Yeah. So this is I'm not talking about this. But okay, as long as you are talking about your family and etc. What if somebody he marry a woman and he like her? Should it we? And and he was walking going home, and then a guy come to him and says, Hey. Did you marry a widow woman or a virgin? The guy, he says, a widow, previously married. The man, he said to him, why you don't marry a child so she can play with uh, you? You know, it's it's a, it's about the relationship. I have a girlfriend right now and I love her. Hmm. And when the time I got a uh, salary because right now I'm still in a university, hmm. After I get a job, she, uh, and I can with, give with her a salary, to you, is, and is I okay will if just I ask marry you, her. I will ask you a personal question. Is she a virgin? Of course. Okay. What if she is not? You will marry her? What if she is previously uh, married? Know, what if she is previously married? She is a widow. You know, uh, I, I have come to a doctor to check her, and she is still virgin, and I don't have So the doctor, what, what, you took her to the doctor to check if she is virgin, really? You did that? Yeah. We did that. So and she took off her panty. Also, we she took off her. She, what? What? She took off her panty so the doctor he can see. Of course, if not that way, it's impossible. What do you mean impossible? How? How you see? How the doctor he found out that she is a virgin? She he asked her to take off her panty. She opened her legs. He took a snapshot. He put it in the, the computer. What he did? Uh, it is like you don't have a girlfriend. And you never take her to the doctor to check the virginity. No, I will never do that to a woman I like and or love because this is insulting. That's mean, you know. What, what do you think she is a goat? You are taking her to the doctor to see what is happening between her legs. This is what you're doing in Indonesia. So, this is my decision. So, okay, I will teach you. I will teach you a different way. So it's not embarrassing like this is one before. This is this you know, is my okay, business. Let, okay, let me know? tell you. Let me tell you what you should do next time if you have a new girlfriend. Uh, let's talk about. Okay, let's, hold on. I'll just I will give you something. I'll give you advice next time if you have a girlfriend. Put a lot of shampoo in the shower top and order her to sit in the shower top. If bubbles come out, that means she have a, you know, she's leaking. Okay, now let's go to the Quran. Brother, uh, what do you, you think, think about a God? What do you think about that? What do you think about God? Okay, as long as you are saying you want to see if she is a virgin, right? Okay, why Muhammad, why Muhammad, he taught you that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. You go to school, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think women they have sperm first? A woman? Um, I think no. No. But if Allah yeah. says that, that means Allah is a foolish God, no? Your microphone is not sounds good. That Can you speak louder? Is good. Come on. I'm saying if Allah said that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs, where is where is the sperm of the man coming from? Do you know? How men the sperm, you know, right? We have testicles. we have a book and we have read it. Okay, testicles. You know, I've, I've finished my school. Of course, I know that. Okay, so from where they come from? It's okay. We're talking science now. Nothing, nothing wrong. So where is the sperm of the man coming from? Oh come on! Please don't talk about the sperm. Why not? The Quran speak about it. This is a shame. I I am really curious about what makes you think that Allah is not God. Here we go. It's in front of us. Allah says that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone, but science says that the sperm coming from the balls. 
Allah says that women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace, which means from her chest. But women, they have so no this sperm. Is one of the, huh? One of the recent. This is one of the recent that you have. These millions, you are asking me. I'm showing you one by one. Should I show you all the time, a million, whatever? Okay. One this at is, a time. So how 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 Allah way. how Allah can be God? How Allah can be God? But yet He says such a stupid thing that women they have. And you know, if you want, we can show you like uh, scholars like Ibn Kathir. You know Ibn Kathir. Yeah, of okay. course. Okay, Ibn Kathir, let us go to Ibn Kathir and see what Ibn Kathir says. If you don't like Ibn Kathir, we can go to the front one. This is Ibn Kathir. He says that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from their back backbone. Now, if Allah is God, how Allah he says such a silly thing? What do you think? I'm just having a nice conversation with you. Okay, you tell me, you as a Muslim, reading this, that Allah is saying women have a sperm coming from their ribs and man have a sperm me, coming from his back. The first, it doesn't Here show full. No, it says. Pitch, you know. It says. Read with me. This is a big theory. So let the man see from what he is created. This is a, 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 a alerting. Post on the man, screen first. Huh? Chapter on the screen Chapter first. eighty-six, verse number six and seven. Chapter eighty-six, yeah. verse number six and seven. And here, Ibn Kathir, from what and here he Ibn Kathir, created, yeah. this is alerting man. Yeah. And here, Ibn Kathir is, a, is, is, a, is a, explaining. He is created from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid that come brushed forth from the man and the woman. Thus, the child is a proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah. Then he continues saying, proceeding from the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Do you agree with that? Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Mm, the backbone of the man. And the rips to the woman. So he's saying there's a gushing fluid, sexual gushing fluid, that will make the baby. Read the verse before it. It says here, it is sexual, meaning the sexual fluid that's come bursting forth from the man and the woman. Does the child produce from both of them by the permission of Allah? Okay, that's wonderful. So it's a gushing fluid brust, bursting out. Okay, this is the orgasm. And then it says proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, explaining, meaning the backbone of the man. And the ribs of the women is Allah God or this is silly okay I will take note about this what this guy behind you in the speaker saying do you know what he's saying the backbone or loins of the man and the ribs of the woman hmm. So they are talking about a sperm coming from the backbone of the man. Of the man. Yeah, but this is stupid. And the ribs. Man don't have a sperm coming from woman. the backbone. Bones are bones. Have nothing to do with the sperm. Okay. Okay. And women didn't have a sperm too. I will too. take this as number one. Okay. Of your reasoning that Allah is not God. So okay, but isn't it isn't it enough one? I mean, what next? Oh, no, no, hold on. We we have millions. No problem. But isn't it enough if Allah is wrong about one? Isn't it enough to prove that Allah cannot be God? Because this is simple thing. This is not about philosophy, logic. It's it's just about a, a, a pure science. Where the sperm of the man coming from? Where the sperm of the women coming from? So what we would do now? Allah cannot um, be Allah cannot be wrong. If Allah is God, correct? Do you agree with me? If Allah is God, He can't be wrong in this. But this is wrong. Uh, about this. This is hard to decide, you know. My friend, you are a you are a you are a mature man. You are a smart man. Not nothing hard. You see, our life, God, He gave you a brain. I believe in God like you, but there's no way that God He said that. So don't me don't tell me it's a hard. You know, you have to make a hard decision in your life. You make a decision when you get married. You make decision when you go to school. You make decision when you go to choose a work. All our life is about decision, and this is about your where you want to go. You want to you pray to a God who believe in this. Obviously, it's says a false God. This is God be God. Do you agree? Um, I, can you can you show me that Allah is the one who say this? Yes, this is Quran, my friend. This, this is Quran. Allah saying, not me. This is not my statement. This is not me. This is not you. Allah, holy can you show, can you show the words this is the verse, before this? The verse in front of you. Yeah. Okay, holy in ma in dafiq. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ 
Allah is saying that the scholars explain to you how it work so what we will do now oh uh, yeah I can read that due to this Allah says hmm. that's the word that I want to read all right I I take this as a mistake it's a mistake thank you very much here you go guys see this gentleman from Indonesia is a smart man. He don't accept stupidity. So this is a mistake. So do you think Allah will make a mistake? Such a mistake? If he is the true God? Huh? Allah will never make any mistake. Thank you very much. So who is the one who made the mistake here? If the Quran is the book of Allah, as Muhammad claimed, and this is a mistake, and you agree, and I agree, and I, I you know, I, I appreciate really your honesty. You are, you are, a, you are honest man. And you say things as it is that's wonderful so now both of us we agree this is a mistake but this is Allah saying that so Allah cannot be God show me what next you I choose don't know how okay, much no. you learn you see, just, to show, just to show you okay and I, I'm, you know I like your, your uh, talking to you you sound like a decent man so I want you what what you heard from the Muslims about uh, about Allah, how how they prove to you Allah is God you see, I don't want to show you things of my choice. You choose it, and I will show you that what the Muslim they say to you, it's absolutely false, and it is not only false, it's stupid. What to prove to us Allah is God in Islam? What is the proof? Uh, you know, when I read the Quran, hmm. it is written in the chapter 1, verse 1, in the name of Allah, the hmm. entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Hmm. And this is how Allah introduces himself, hmm. or praise but, you to Allah, okay. Lord of the oh, world. All right, but don't you think this is a stupid chapter? Because look what the verse is saying to us. Read with me carefully. It says, well, I think this is how Allah introduces. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me, let me explain to the you. The existence of him. How he say in the name of Allah, if he is Allah. Because uh, you know, in English, hmm. uh, if in Indonesia we have nya, and in friend, English, is, I'm not talking about Indonesian, like I'm that. talking this is Arabic. Arabic is, and I am an Arab. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How Allah says in the name of Allah, Rahman Ar Rahim. If the one is talking, is Allah, then how Allah He says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Thanks to Allah, the Lord of the world. And then he repeat again, saying the same as he said just like a second ago, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. You just said Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. He just a second ago. You see, in Arabic, if a poet man he made repeat the same sentence twice in the whole poet, he gets zero. So how Allah he makes such a stupid mistake in Arabic? He said Bismillah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Okay, here we go, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. We got it. Then he repeat, and then he says Maliku Yom Ad Din, and then he says, It is you alone. Oh, your, your worship. Your microphone doesn't. I cannot hear your voice clearly here. Hmm. Do, you, do you hear me now? What happened? You don't hear what me happened? now? Your your microphone has got, got a problem, I think. Guys, do you hear me in the chat? Let us see if... Uh... All right, this is getting good. good. All right, okay. So, uh, uh, if you have any programs running, close them, please. So here, Okay, how Allah, he says to you, obviously the one who wrote this is not, cannot be Allah saying that, this is somebody wrote a prayer and he put it in the Quran but cannot be Allah if Allah is the one is talking he will not say that right let me ask you here it says as an example uh, what's wrong with your microphone it's not clear maybe, maybe your internet is weak my friend no I pay internet so expensive here. okay everybody hear me in the chat fine I mean I don't know why you don't hear me let me ask you it says here the way of you choose to bestow your grace on them. Sirat. Do you see the word Sirat? Do you know what Sirat mean? Do you know this? Do you know what the word Sirat mean? Hello. Yeah. Uh, you. I think your microphone have. Okay. A let me call you back. Let me call you back. Hold on. Okay. Poor guy. Okay, you hear me better now? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Is that the speaker from the mosque? Uh, yes. Mm, see, they, My house they, they have to the force mosque. everybody to hear Quran. You like it, you don't like it, they have. Okay, they, okay. Now, do you see the word here? It says Sirat. Sirat. You don't speak Arabic, right? What Sirat mean? Do you know? The straight way, supposedly. The straight way. 
the, the way of guidance, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this is the verse. You can read the translation in your language. Do Allah follow Sirat too, or only Muslims follow Sirat? Yeah, what's, what's the matter with that? Do Allah, do Allah follow Sirat, or only Muslims follow Sirat? Sirat, supposedly, according to Muslim, is a bridge where people, they walk in the top of it, and some of them, they go to hell, some of them, they go to heaven, some of them, their feet go to, to the fire, and this is what the Sirat. Sirat is a bridge go between uh, over over the hell but it's going to go in the hell in the same time so the muslims who they are bad ones they will go to, all of them they will go to hell actually but some they will be saved and go to heaven and some they will not be saved now do allah walk in that bridge too you know i think you have problem with your internet connection you know my friend, because my friend everybody hear me very fine Is, it, is, it, is YouTube is YouTube running from your side? You know, it's it is like your your voice is not clear for me here. Hmm. I'm not using the chip internet, you know. Okay. It's but, ev speedy. but everybody hear me very fine in the in the in the chat. Yeah, sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's not. Okay, you know? no problem. So, uh, uh, I'm here saying I will repeat again. Sirat. Hmm. Do Allah fear a sirat, the bridge? Allah, do Allah walk in this bridge too? Go, he might go to hell. The sirat is a bridge between earth and heaven, but it goes through the hell. Do Allah walk in that bridge too? Do Allah follow the straight way? Uh, it is written in the first right, guide us to the straight way. Hmm. Okay. It, so it do, means... do Allah himself, he need guidance to the straight way? Do Allah need to follow the straight way? Allah, of yeah. course, He always. He fo no, He follow the straight he follow? way. He follow or you, Allah, He follow who? Uh, this it is written that guide us to the straight way, right? Yes, guide us to the straight way. But do Allah need to be guided to the straight way too? You you know right? Uh, no one can be counselor for Allah. Thank you very much. So okay, so, except himself. Except himself. So, All right. Okay. So Allah. Well, it means Allah uh -huh. guide himself. Okay, Allah guide himself. So Allah. Because he is his own counselor. He is his own counselor. Okay. Now, yeah. but uh, the question is, do Allah need to walk in that way to be saved? Because this Salat is a bridge where people either go to hell or go to heaven to be saved. So the one who follow the straight way is the one who will be saved. Yeah, I think Allah always pick the straight way. Hmm. So, so Allah, Allah, uh, Allah, Allah, Allah follow guidance of who? When Allah, he Allah pick up. Huh? Must, uh, Allah must never wrong. I just showed you Allah, he's saying the sperm of the women coming from their ribs and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and you are the one who said this is wrong uh you know there's a hmm. possibility it is like uh you know the quran uh the way it's written because the people uh see their environment and the people around them and okay the one my who friend my friend my friend do allah follow a guide way do allah follow somebody you said to me, Sirat, is you following the the counselor, which is Allah. Allah is Allah is his own counselor, right? Okay. Yes. So Allah do so Allah. He, do he Allah. Himself. Okay. That's do, the point. All right. All right. Do Allah. Do Allah. Follow a straight way himself, which means he is following somebody else. Because this is a Sirat, which is made by somebody for you. He's not following somebody else. Hmm. But in the Quran, it says, Allah, he follow. If you go to chapter uh, 11, verse number 56, it says, Inna Rabbi ala siratin mustaqim. My Lord is in the straight path. Why, there is other path for Allah? Can Allah be misguided? Look, I think uh, I take this verse as true. Okay, no problem. It's you know, number I, six, uh, right? Uh, maybe this one is complicated for way. you because you don't know Arabic. I want you to tell me something. You said to me the Fatiha is is how Allah introduced Himself, correct? 
Did you say that? Yeah. Okay, but this is yeah, not the yeah. first chapter Muhammad he received. The first chapter, this is the last chapter actually. This, uh, 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 I mean, this is one of the, uh, not in the beginning. Uh, Allah, when he introduced himself to Muhammad, he spoke to him in the chapter 96 in the Quran, correct? Uh, show me the first. This is chapter number, number 96. This is the first chapter Muhammad he received. Read with me. How Allah introduced himself. He says, read in the name of your Lord. Is that correct? Iqra. Chapter of the clot, 96. This is how Allah introduced himself. Do you agree with this? Written in the name of the Lord who has created all that exists, has created man from a clot of... Okay. Did, of the did the man he created from a dead blood? Is a human being created from dead blood? Probably the blood mm. red and your Lord is the most generous. Yeah, but is the man created from a dead blood? Because congealed blood is a dead blood. Is the man created from dead blood? Do you agree with that? In my opinion, if it is written this way, so it should be this way. But it's not. It's not. There's no actually dead blood. It's dead blood. That's it. That means it's dead. And if a human being have dead blood, this is what people call, say he have heart attack because you have a clot in your bloodstream will block your heart. That's it. You, are, you die from little tiny dead blood. So since when the human being is made from dead blood? What your prophet? How your prophet explained that? In different verse in the Quran, Muhammad he says, and let us go there. We made nutfa into a clot. And it's into a congealed blood. Do you see it? A piece of thick congealed uh, uh, blood. Okay. How how we are not far, and then we are made blood, which is a dead blood. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. Here we go. We can go to Yusuf Ali, very famous Muslim translator. Okay. okay. Try to go there. Okay. Read it. Then we made the sperm. Hmm? We made. First of all, we made a drop. We made you from a drop of a sperm. All right? Okay. But a human being is not made from a drop of a sperm. One semen. Sperm have millions of it. Sperm is a sexual liquid. Then he says, and we made the sperm into a clot. All the sperm transform into dead blood. How that can be? How Allah can be God, yet he says some such a silly stuff. Why the sound is going loud? What happened? This guy, what happened to him? He ate some zucchini. Uh, you know, your voice is not clear here. Can, is, is your window open? Can you close the window? Because this guy's sound is coming very strong. All right, pro probably it's my connection, you know. Hmm, no problem. But do you see here, it says Allah, he, he made the sperm into a congealed dead blood. Do you think this is true? You said you went to school, right? Ah. Okay. Does that does the school teach you that, or this is stupid? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think what? We made the sperm into a blood. Yeah, this is wrong. There's no scientist in the world says that the sperm will transform into a blood in any stage. So you wear a sperm, and the second stage, all of the sperm became blood. Who is the stupid scientist? He says that nobody. So how this is can be God? Hmm. Hmm. It is hard to explain. It's not hard. It's stupid. You are the one who agree I'll, with me. Remember? I will talk about this with my teacher. Hmm? I, I, I already make the note about number one, and I will take this as number two because. Okay. Have you ever I heard cannot, Muslim speaking about? I cannot explain. Lane no problem, my this. friend. So, but this is obviously this is wrong. Forget about this. Have you ever heard of Muslims speaking about science in the Quran? Mm. You know, in in my mosque, uh, my teacher hmm. uh, usually talk about our daily life and a little bit about the Quran, hmm. and most of the time we just read 
about what's written in the Quran. Hmm. All right, I will. I'll better ask to my teacher about this one, and I will try to discuss with him. Okay, uh, I don't know what's your name, but what about you invite your teacher to debate me? What do you think? Uh, he doesn't speak English. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe you can find somebody who speaks English. What do you think? Someone All right, who I will to be take, a teacher. I will, know, take as, yeah. I will take this as number two, okay? Okay. Now, I'm asking you, how, you didn't hear before Muslims saying that Quran is full of science and scientists discover science in the Quran? I'm sure you heard that before, right? Yeah, I watched that in YouTube sometimes. All right. Which one you think it's amazing of those uh, scientists stuff? Which one of them was like, wow, I mean, the Quran is amazing, brother. Which one of them? Uh, you make me uh, trying to recall my memory, you know. Yeah, why not? And we have memory. You have memory, I have one. Uh, all right. Uh, the point I call you is because mm -hmm. I want to know how much you learn about that Allah cannot be God. I just told you. I mean, everything Allah, he says, proven to me that Allah cannot be God. I mean, this is stupid. Look at it in front of you. There's no way Allah is God. He thinks the sperm transformed into the blood, and then the blood became a lump, a lump, and then the lump became bones. That's stupid. And then we close the, the bones, and the last, and the last thing, according to Allah, uh, uh, the, the gender. You know, your prophet he says, the last thing the angel he asked Allah, male or female, and not only that, your prophet he says that a child, he uh, like sorry, when when. Uh, well, the sperm of the man stay alive for 50 days how many how many days the sperm stay alive do you know according to science uh after it has contact with the the air you know it is dead already mm. no let's say it goes inside the women private part for how long the for how long the sperm will stay alive the sperm will stay alive mm. maximum uh, yeah you know right if the sperm is have contact with the air it's dead already i'm not talking dead let us say he have intercourse and now he gave you know his orgasm and now the sperm inside the female all right for how long the sperm can live from that moment mm, i don't recall that memory you can Probably go to google you, know, you can go, you know you can go to google google says five days five days five days what your prophet said 50 days All right, I will take note. This is number three. Okay. Uh, what about male and female? Your prophet says the last option, the last thing Allah decide when He create the baby, is the male and female. Is that true? Yeah. After the creation then finished, the after the baby is finished. My Lord would yeah, the angel yeah, asked Allah, male or female, male or female. This things are written. Yeah, but this is stupid because male and the gender of the uh, of the child will be decided by the sperm itself. The second you have intercourse and the sperm fertilized the egg, the already already the gender is decided. This is not the last thing. So this is all is stupid stories. I mean, this is going to be a prophet. And that's why I said yeah, to you. You know, I've been 20, 21 years old, and I'm a Muslim, and uh, I'm a Muslim, and you know, I, I, I don't talk about everything in the Quran. You know. No problem, my friend. So, I'm here trying to help you. You see, I so know you I do need, not know I much. Teacher, also, my friend, your teacher. Okay, this. your teacher is an idiot. He know nothing. They call themselves teacher in the Philipp in, in the Philippines in Indonesia to make money to make money out of you. You pay salary, they live in their house for house for wives, and boom boom. But he know nothing about Islam. And this is what I'm saying to you. I want you to ask all the teacher you know in Indonesia. Says there is a guy, his name is a Christian prince, who wanna call him and refute him. And you will see that all the teachers you have, they will disappear like rabbit. There are teachers in the front of those who do not know. You don't speak Arabic, you do not know anything about Islam, they are teachers. In the front of me, they will become rabbits. So ask them, okay, why you why we don't see one of you calling this guy, call him and prove him wrong. 
Look, he's saying things I do not know what to say to them. You know what I mean? If they are teachers, mm -hmm. okay, it's time to teach. This is when we need them. If they are not, you know, going you to know answer, who is going to answer? I'm staying in Islam. Hmm? You know why I'm staying in Islam? Why? Because I do not believe that Jesus is God. Okay, forget about Jesus God or not. I mean, if Islam is a stupid, you stay in Islam is just because Islam is doesn't say Jesus God. That's the reason. <laughs> that would be funny. Let us say. Yeah, and it's, okay, hold on, hold on. Islam, okay, no, actually, okay, hold on. Have. Let me let me show you. Islam says Jesus is not God. Correct. For what reason? Yes. For what reason? Because. Hmm. You know, it's impossible. He is just a human, and why okay. do we need to worship well, isn't it, is, Okay, isn't it Allah? Is, it doesn't make it doesn't okay. make sense. Okay, you know? it, 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 it does make sense that Allah have a shin. It does make sense that Allah have five fingers. It does make sense that Allah have two hands and both of them are in the right side. It does make sense that Allah have an ass. It does make sense that Allah have two eyes. It does make sense that Allah look like Jesus. You know, in Islam, let me ask uh, you: we believe that Do Allah, just my friend, God. do Allah look like Jesus? Of course, is. Uh, of course, what? Yes or it's, no? Do Allah? It's, do Allah look like Jesus? You said to me, he's a human, so he cannot be God. But the, but Muhammad says Allah look like Jesus, and he was speaking about the false Jesus, the Dajjal. Allah look exactly like him. The only difference between them is the right eye. Read the hadith in front of you on the screen. So you refuse Jesus to be God because he's a man, as you said. But Allah himself is a man. Read it. Muhammad is even worried that you will be confused. You will think that the false Messiah is Allah. So he's warning you the way to recognize between one and the other Allah is not damaged in the right eye. That guy, the false messiah, the Dajjal, he have a problem with the eyes in his right eye. So what is the difference between them? Only one eye. So how you say to me, I refuse Jesus to be God. He is just a man when Allah himself is a man. Person is first that showing that Allah is a man. It says in front of you, Muhammad is saying, did you read it, my friend? Read it. Go ahead. I'm listening. I've told you so much about the uh, Dajjal and the Christ mm. that I am afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hand tall, woolly hair, mm. one eye, and an eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. Okay. So, what is the difference between the Dajjal, who is a man, that the Dajjal is a man? He's a, he will come, he will say, he will claim that he is the Messiah. This is what they call him, Al-Masih al-Dajjal, correct? Al-Masih al-Dajjal is the uh, false Messiah. He say, I am the Messiah, he's a man. He's short, he have a big ass, he have a curly hair, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then Muhammad is saying, if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. About him and who? Allah and the Dajjal. So Muhammad is saying to you, if you will think, for a second that the Dajjal is Allah you better recognize that your Allah is not one eye that the Dajjal is one eye so the only difference between them is the one eye your God Allah is a man uh, what I get from this first is that uh, the our Lord doesn't have one eye my friend that's what no no, I no. Get. okay so why he comparing to you the man is short hinted all the hair, one eye, eyesight, this, all this description, and yet he is confused that you might think he is Allah. If Allah does not look like a man anyway, why you will be think that he is Allah? If Allah is not a uh, man, correct? You know, uh, here in this verse, it is describing the Antichrist. He's Co short correct. until... The Antichrist is man, right? Uh, the Antichrist is a man, is that correct? He's a man. This is a, actually there's nothing. It's called Antichrist. This is a false translation. That the the the, 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 Quran, the the Muslim believe in the Dajjal, al Masih Dajjal, the false Messiah. It's not Antichrist. So he is a false Messiah. So he is what he is. He is a man who claimed to be the Messiah. That's why they call him al Masih Dajjal. Dajjal in Arabic means the liar. Okay, the the Messiah, the Dajjal, the Messiah, the liar, which means the false Messiah. And Muhammad yet 
he is worrying that you will be confused between him and Allah if Allah is not a man anyway why you will be confused between them you know uh, it is like in the day of in the in the land of Egypt a long time ago hmm. Pharaoh was Pharaoh was my friend what Pharaoh have to do this listen listen if I am saying to you I'm afraid that you will be confused between Allah and this man where the confusion will come from the word in front of you their look correct so what the difference between Allah and this man the right eye so if Allah is not a man then we should not be confused about him anyway just by seeing him as a man that's mean he's not Allah obviously correct but your prophet did not say that your prophet you should know that Allah is not one eye that guy is one eye which means the rest is, is is perfect. The rest is the same. The only difference between them is the right eye. Uh, you know, in your in your Bible, in the book of Revelation, it mm. shows that there are peace also with so many head and such. My, such my, like my, that. my friend, this is not about literally. Don't this is the book that the Bible is not about about a literal word like we say. It's not a beast and reading. This is about prophecy. About things will happen. Sign will happen. And you are trying to change the topic we are talking about here the look of Allah I asked you why Jesus is not God you said because he's a man okay Allah is a man as you see the difference between Allah uh, and the know, false what, Messiah what you understand what, what the difference what between I Allah understand from this no I understand I understand okay you are the one who teach me what to understand tell me what to understand from this what is the difference between this man the Antichrist as you call him okay and Allah you you put under red underline here right mm. And from the Antichrist, and then until uh, this uh, North Deep Sea, this is the explanation about the Antichrist. And and then uh, in the in the last sentence of this verse, it's mm. showing us that the Lord is not one eye. Okay, but why he is comparing between the Lord and the man? Because he's afraid that you, he, if you are confused about him, do you see the word confused? Does it say confused? Yeah, if you are confused, if you okay. are confused about, yeah, him, about him, about him, about him, who Lord is okay. not one eye. All right, confused about what? Uh, you know, about the eye of the Lord. No, no, he added at the end the eye. He says, You should know that the eye of the, uh, Allah is not one eye. So the confusion would happen from what? Because you, he is afraid that you might think that Allah and the Antichrist is one. He is telling you how to recognize Allah from the Antichrist, correct? How to recognize Allah and how to recognize the Antichrist. The only difference between both is one eye. Do you see anything else? Did he say Allah is not a man? No. Did he say Allah is not uh, short? No. He did not say the only difference is one eye. Uh, let me tell you what I understand from this, okay? Mm. Uh, I think you will not agree with me, but I will just tell you what's on my mind. Okay. Uh, in for me, for me, mm. okay. In this first, telling me that this is the Antichrist, you know, mm. from this first sentence until the point, mm. and then uh, in the second second sentence, mm. if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. Okay. So. This is okay. How many is, how many uh, eyes your God Allah this is, uh, have? Okay, how many for me how many eyes I'm Allah have? No problem, no problem. Okay, God okay. So we learned eye. we learned that Allah is not one eyed. How many eyes he have? It is not mentioned in this first. Okay, but Allah have eyes, so right? So we do not know. But, but Allah have eyes. This first doesn't say that. So it says that it says your Lord is not one eyed. Yeah, it's not one eye. Okay, that's mean he have more than one eye. It says that. That's mean he have more than one eye. How many eyes he have? I think we should not say or okay. testify. No something problem. No that problem. You can, you can you can you can go around this. What about Allah? He he's he's having a shin. Allah, he have a fingers. Allah have a foot. Do Allah have Show a me the do, first. do Allah have a foot? Show me the first. Hmm. Because I have already read the Quran and you know I, I don't remember all of them. Okay, read probably this one. probably okay. you know more right. than me. The Prophet said the people will be thrown into the hellfire and it will say, Are there any more? 
the, this is the hellfire talking and then Allah will put his foot over it do you see it till Allah puts his foot over it okay Allah? Yeah, so Allah okay. has foot okay Allah has foot okay what about Allah has hands how many hands Allah have probably you know more than me okay but how many I guess how many hands Allah have two three four what do you think how many human have how many hands Allah a human have two hands right uh, I, I have no idea about it you a human a human how many humans how many how many the hand how the human I mean how many hands you have how many hands you have I have two hands okay Allah have two hands too but they are funny Allah he have two hands in the right side in his right shoulder do you see it and both of his hands hmm. are right hands hmm. so now what we learn Allah he have eyes Allah have hands Allah have a foot what else Allah have a shin right uh. okay why Allah uh, what, uh, what when we say shin do you know what shin mean shin yeah what the shin what the shin is do you know what the shin in English what the shin is uh, probably you can explain me just to make it faster shin is uh, like it's uh, the, the the part of the, the leg uh, let us see if we can find an image so we can show it to you what is the shin okay you see this is the shin this is the shin I will show it to you on the screen you see it this is the shin do you see now so Allah now we prove Allah have a foot and then Allah have a shin so what do you say why Allah have a shin you said to me you don't believe in Jesus that he's God because he have a shin he have a foot he's a human right he have a shin he have a foot Allah have five fingers Allah have two hands Allah have two eyes Allah have I mean so so what is Allah so you Muslim you refuse Allah okay do Allah come to you if Allah come to you today do you believe in Allah because of no, his shape? I believe I believe in Allah no no do you believe in him because of his shape or because he is Allah no matter what his shape is uh, this is something that I never experienced you know no, I'm asking now. Okay, one day you will be in the judgment day, and you will see Allah. All right. Okay. Then, how you recognize Allah? How you will know that this is Allah? If Allah come to you in the shape of Jesus Christ, are you going to reject Him? I have no idea about it. Okay. If Allah come to you in the shape of a man, are you going to 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 refuse Him? Um, you know, it's described that Allah has foot and hands. Okay, read with me carefully. Allah will come to you in the day of judgment, and Allah, He will come to you in a shape. Read with me. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Do you Muslims saw Allah first time? No, we never. Okay. So Muhammad is lying here, and then He will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. Okay, why the Muslim, they reject Allah? Because he changed his shape, correct? Mm. Hmm. Don't you think this is stupid? So Allah, now, you have more than one Allah. You have the original shape of Allah, and you have a new shape of Allah. Allah changed shape. So Allah, now he come to you in a shape you don't like. You throw rocks at him, and you say, you are not Allah. Not only that, he says, seek refuge from Allah by you. And then none will speak to him like get lost get away you are not our God but the Prophet and then will be said to them do you know the sign which you will recognize him how you recognize Allah do you see what it says they say the shin and then Allah will uncover his shin do you see it yeah 
Yeah. Do you know any sign by which you can recognize really, him? Okay. Do you really they believe? Will save do you really believe? And so Allah will then uncover his sin. Okay. So now do you believe in this? That Allah will show his sin? And you Muslim mm -hmm. will recognize him by his sin? So all what your God is for you is a shin? Because you recognize him only by the shin. So Allah will show you his shin. Have fun. Here we go. This is the shin of Allah. And then when you see it, you say this is Allah for sure. Because his shin is so sexy and you know it. What kind of religion this religion is? So you are based in your religion. You said you don't believe in Jesus because he's a man. Allah have a five fingers in every hand. You have two hands. You have a foot. You have two eyes. He have an ass. You have a face. You have a back. And you have a shin. And you recognize Allah by his shin. So if it is written like this, so is this a problem for you? Well, you are. it's a problem for you because you are the one who said to me, Jesus cannot be God because he's a man. But you, as you see, Allah is a man. He have a shin. Okay, what the shin for? Shin is you know when we say Allah, when we say okay Allah when we say have, when we say Allah have Allah a foot. What, have, let me ask you. Let me ask you. That he wants to have. Right? Hold on, hold on. When I say to you, you have a foot. What does that mean? I have a foot. What do we do with the foot? For walking. Okay, so Allah have a foot to do what with it? For walking. Correct. Uh, it will it will make more sense if. The foot for walking so let's let's okay let us so allah have a foot have a way. shin and let us let us complete the picture allah have a foot allah have a shin okay and what else hand hand okay have a face not, not one eye have a face no. he have two eyes and no no uh, it, it is only written that not one eye so you think allah don't have uh, he'd have maybe a 40 eye uh, let's just say uh, probably two. So it's not one, right? Probably two, maybe. Because it's not written in the Quran. What do you mean it's not written in the Quran? Because it's only written that Allah only ha has one eye, right? Hmm. So okay. it's, it's written Allah don't have, okay. So according to you, Allah does not have... So the have... point here, uh, you sh you're showing me that Allah has foot and then Allah has sin and then Allah has hands hmm. and probably he has eye. Hmm. How many? Because P properly, uh, you know, Allah. Uh, what do you mean properly? What do you mean properly? Pro probably have to eye. Hmm. So you Muslims are not sure. Uh, we are not sure about it. Hmm. But uh, when your prophet he says your God Allah is not one eye and he's talking about two eyes Obviously he have two eyes and one of them is not Damaged because the other guy you have two eyes, but one of them is not working So Allah have two eyes It's confirming that story. So now look what we heard We have Allah have a foot have a shin he have hands he have five fingers He, uh, uh, he have a face he have uh, two eyes What is that will make him Zaraf or a human being and your prophet compare between him and a human being and he was afraid that you Muslims will be confused between him and the human being. So how will you say to me, Allah is not a human being? What about how Allah He created Adam? Did Allah create Adam in His image? Uh, you know, some Chris, some Christian hmm. friends told me that human is created according to the image of God. Hmm. But isn't it Muhammad? He says the same. Read it. It is not. It is not read, written Read like it. that. It. Allah created Adam in His picture. Do you see it? In his image, specifically. Hmm? Allah created Adam in his image. See oh, the hadith? I read that. Yeah. Allah created Adam in his picture. Hmm. This is why you should avoid beating him in his face. So, let's just make a conclusion that hmm. prob probably, hmm. if uh, Allah met us according to his picture, hmm. probably the the shape that you mentioned before mm. the shape of all of probably is just the same like us okay maybe but okay so uh, okay so now uh, you know for me i don't really care but allah is a physical being in islam you know that right 
Uh, it's it is written that way, but okay. Is uh, he a physical we, being? We I want, never I want Allah, your answer. Is, Muhammad, is, is he a physical he being? He didn't see Allah. Is he a physical being? When we say he have hands, he have a foot, he have a shin, he is a physical being, correct? Do we agree? Uh, it is. It is written in the Quran that uh, Allah created Adam according to the image of God. This, this is not the question. Now I'm asking you. Do you agree that Allah is a physical being? Do you agree that Allah is physical being? Mm -hmm. I think because it's written this way, so I agree that Allah has physical being. Okay, thank you. So now, guys, we have Allah is a physical being. What about Allah? Do he have a spirit? Spirit. Hmm. Mm. Did you ever see in the Quran about the spirit of God? Okay, this I'm, I'm asking you as a Muslim, you as a Muslim, I'm not I'm the Christian. My God, my God is a spirit in the same time. So I believe that God is a spirit. Is your God Allah is a spirit? The answer is no. You if know, you, if uh, you believe, when we talk, if, you, if you are a Muslim and you believe show, Allah, show hold, something hold on, that hold I on. never see before. I no, think. no, no, no. It, uh, all Muslims come from you can search right now. In Islam, Muslim believe Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit. So what we agree now, Allah is a physical being, but he is not a spirit. That means he's a statues. Because the spirit is, is a power of life. If you don't have a spirit, so what, what Allah is? Flesh? Concrete? So look what you believe. You refuse Jesus who is alive. And even the Quran confirm he is the word of God, which means he is eternal because the word of God is not created. And that's what the Muslims believe. You believe his spirit from God. You believe he came from above. He came from heaven, bestowed on Mary. You believe now Jesus is alive, and yet you don't want to believe in Jesus to be God. But yet you believe in a person. His name is Allah, who have hands and feet and sh and shin. He have a face and eyes. He's a physical being, but yet he don't have a spirit. That means he's dead. So what you believe in? An idol. You Muslims worship idols. How he have a, how he is a physical being? What what is the difference between an idol and uh, uh, a living uh, uh, person, whoever he is? The, the one, the first one is made from material. The second main made from material, but one have a spirit. He is alive, and the other one has no spirit. He is just a physical being. So let's just make the conclusion that probably he has a spirit. So. In, it, in order to have no, no, not properly. No, pro the Muslims believe. I can show you the fatwa. Actually, if a Muslim he believe that Allah has a spirit, he is no Muslim no more. Be careful. No, no. we can't say properly. This is not the case. Allah, Allah, is a physical being. He has no spirit. So what Allah is? Allah is this. What do you say? I say a picture of yeah. statue. Yeah, it says Allah is a statue. Because you, we agree that Allah is a physical being. He have a shin, he have a hand, he have a foot, he have a face, he have two eyes, but yet he has no spirit. And this is your Islamic website asking. A person, I think he was debating me, he wanted, he asked the sheikh, the ustaz, the big ones. He is debating with the Christian and asking, does God has a spirit? The answer, no. You know, I never speak with someone the spirit, like the sp you, you know. The spirit or soul is you, not one of the attributes you make, of Allah. You, you make me think so hard, you know. Why not? I mean, my friend, we have to think so hard. It's, you know, you are a human being. Use your brain. It's good to think hard. So how how you how you follow this God? My Lord, the Messiah, the one you say how he can be God, but yet he's a man. You remember that he's a man when you want, but you forgot that he can raise people from death. You forgot that he can make the blind see. You forgot that he will come in the judgment day, even according to the yellow page of Muhammad. You forgot that even Muhammad, he says, he, he will be hakam and muqsitan, absolute, perfect judge, just as judge. How, he, how a human can be a judge of justice? No one can do that save God. 
How Jesus can he create it from the mother bird? No one can do that save God. The Muslim they say that Allah gave him power, but that means that mean Allah he can share his power of a creation with others. What make God God that he can cre create? If if you share yeah. the power of a creation, that's mean you are capable now of being a creator, and this is what happened in the story of Jesus according to the Quran. So, how that can be? Isn't it the Quran says? That if somebody worship, if somebody worship anything, but it, that thing cannot even create a fly, he is a fool. So the Quran says, if the Christians worship someone, he can create a fly or a buff. Okay, he's fine because he can, you know, he can create, and uh, Jesus can create. And there is no proof Allah He gave the power to Jesus. This is the statement of Muhammad. I can claim now that I am the one who gave the power to Jesus. I can say, you know what? Jesus here resurrected people from death because I am a Christian prince. I gave him the power. But and the talk is cheap. But the Quran is saying clearly that how you can worship someone as God, yet they cannot create a fly. Can Allah create a fly? He cannot. Because we prove it. You are the one who said to me that the way he speak about the creation of the baby is wrong. So he cannot be the one who created the baby, obviously. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so Allah cannot be God. Because God, he knew how he created things. There's no way he would say stupid things. So what do you think, my friend? Shouldn't you leave Islam? You, should, you just said yeah and I heard it coming from your heart you said yeah this is from your heart Allah cannot be God God he knew how to create things he knew how he did things he knew how he made them he's the maker supposedly and there's no way he will not know so what do you think you just said yeah agreed is it time for you to say I am out of this cult uh, I cannot get out from this cult because you know I, I I feel that Islam is a home for me my friend so you you just said that because this cult is my home I cannot leave the cult so you choose to have a home which is a cult you are smarter than this you just agreed that this is wrong you agreed that Islam cannot be from from God you agreed that Allah cannot be God and now you are saying to me I cannot believe because Islam is my home uh, you know, if if I I live Islam, you know, I I've I've lived in Allah for let let's say just twenty one years old, you know, and if I, I I really need to leave Islam because of your arguments, and then where where to go? Where to go? I will help you, no problem. But first we leave, we leave the we we clean the garbage from our house, my friend, and then we see what we would do next. But you don't stay in the garbage because okay, garbage is good. Uh, this, this is garbage. Garbage is garbage. You agreed with me that Islam is a cult. It cannot be from God. There's no way God will say that. And the Quran is full of stupid stories, fiction stories, mad stories. And there's no way this is God. And you agreed. So what is left? Just say, I'm out of Islam. And then I will help you to see what is next. You know, I, I think I need to consult this with my teacher, you know. With who? With my teacher. Your teacher, you uh, think he will help you? Yeah. Do you think really he uh, will help you? I, I take note about whatever you say here. And uh, after I take note of all of this, then I will try to talk to him. My friend, uh, let me tell you something. I know, I know, yeah, already you left Islam. Already. But you don't have the courage to say it. Is that true? Because I do not have any other home, you know. Okay, so you don't have the courage to say it. That's all. You left Islam already. And you know that you're, you're the one you will ask to help you. They cannot help you because they cannot do better than what you said. They have nothing to say. Probably, probably my teacher knows something. He knows nothing. And you know what? You can. You are welcome to let him call me and you translate for us. As long as he doesn't speak English, no problem. That's not an issue. But you are out of Islam. And, I, you, know, and you know it. Oh, what happened? I understand. You live in Indonesia. You are afraid to say it. It will kill you, maybe. Right? It's it's impossible. You know, my my family is. I understand. All, That's what I'm saying. I understand. You know, friend. but you are out of Islam. 
You cannot say it because I understand why you live there. We heard the mosque behind you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I understand. We we understand you perfectly. You are out of it. I'm happy for you, my friend. And if you have any time, any question, you know, about this cult, feel free, you can call me. You can ask the, any sheikh you want. They will never dare to call me. You know, ask your stars why why no what, what is those stars in Indonesia with big hat? Assalamu alaikum, brother and sister. Alhamdulillah. They knew two words in Arabic and they give you a headache with them and they call themselves ustaz. But here we go. Uh, we are why here. I, I really I really love Islam, you know, the way we pray, the way we go to the I mean, mosque, you are, you are the not in love in Islam, you connection, you, no, interaction you, with you, its no, other. No, you are taught since because, a kid. No. You are you are taught since as a kid to, to move, so do such a movement, but you don't know even what those moving for. I mean, isn't it silly? Okay, let me ask you: When Allah He collect your prayer, you pray every day, right? Five times a day. Yes. Okay, but do you know that Allah is not even listening during those five times? But you know, in in this life, for me, what's important I'm asking you, is no. our what, at what time we'll Allah at, at what time can Allah hear? Can Allah hear you? That's that's what I believe in. Uh, I believe that Allah can Allah hear you if you pray right now. Can Allah hear you? If you know, in Islam we believe that Allah is God, right? So no, no, no. He listen to the prayer of no, everybody. No, here we go. Your prophet says no. Your prophet says Allah. He come down every third part of the night and says, "Who is here praying for me? Who is there to supplicate to me? Read it." So Allah, He don't hear you. He only come at the third part of the night, saying, "Who is the one who's praying?" So all the prayer you are doing during daytime is 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 is, is useless. This is not me saying that. It's your prophet. And let me ask you here, Allah, He come to the lowest heaven to say, "Who is who is uh, to to hear your prayer?" Can't Allah hear you from the seventh heaven? Why Allah He need to come every day from the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven? So he can hear who is praying. If Allah is Almighty, and He can hear you right now, if you are talking, Allah should be hearing us. Correct? Do you agree? Mm, yeah. Allah okay. needs to. But, but the hadith. Eh? But the hadith saying the opposite. You see, the Bible says that Jesus says, "Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them." I will, which means I will be the third. Every two of you. You do not need to come so, down. You don't need to go anywhere. Tell, tell me what what. what what Hold actually up. makes you believe that Jesus is God? Everything it's impossible, you know. His holiness, his amazing, his ability, his power, his dignity, his ethic, everything. God is not just a word. We put it together, we glue it, and we make God for ourselves for fictions. Jesus was a perfect, he was a man. So what? God can be whatever he is, or whatever he wanna want to be. If God is called Almighty, you know what Almighty mean? Almighty, all powerful. That's it. He's all powerful. So if God cannot come as a man, he cannot be God too. Because he will go, he is limited. So either he is so all powerful, if, listen, or if, either he is if, all powerful or he is not. So when you say God cannot be a man, that's mean God cannot be God too. Because who is the one who will tell God what he can, what he cannot? And how how Jesus can say that the father is greater than I because am. God the Bible says God he humbled himself he come to him in the uh, in the humble image so we can see so him. if if Jesus if Jesus is God and there are someone is greater than him so there no, is another the, God the greater here is about the the image like you see the image of a human being it says my father is a greater than me this is why you see you see Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God for no one can see God and live which mean because God is so glorious. So God, he humbled himself. He come to us in a person, in a man which we can see. Otherwise, no one can see God and live because he's a glory. It's like getting close to much the sun. Do you know what will happen to you? And it's just a normal sun. You will be melted, correct? Actually, right now, if we look at the sun, if we, uh, who can stare at the sun with naked eyes? Nobody. You will go blind. And it's just a sun. So imagine God himself coming as he is. So God, he humbled himself, come to us as a man. But still, God, he have the same equality. He can raise people from death. He is pure. He is not a sinner. Even the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19 says that Jesus is the holy son of Mary. But who is the father of Mary, the Jesus? Quran, give no answer. Who is the one, your father and my father? My father is the one who made my mom be bread net with me, correct? 
okay that's my father okay who is the one who made Mary deliver a child the Muslim they say Allah so who's his father then it should be Allah if this is what it is because the one who made that woman carry a child is the one who is the father every human being is a created from sperm according to Quran chapter 25 verse number 54 so every person after Adam is coming from sexual relationship yes you can that's true. okay but is Jesus coming from sexual relationship no okay so Jesus is who why he is not why he is the only one everyone after Adam and it is he who has a created man from water water what this is a sperm the Quran always used the word water for sperm all right so and then the the the, the lineage is in Islam decided by the blood you know like from the father etc so who is who is the father of Jesus he is not coming the verse says here and it is he it is he who created the man from water which is the sperm and then he make it a lineage but Jesus is not from the sperm of any man so who where is coming from the Quran says that he is the word of God sent down to Mary the word of God sent okay down to Mary. so the word of God was where was in the mouth of God correct yeah okay so Jesus was in the mouth of God as what as the word of God is the word of God created all Muslims agree no so Jesus was first based on the Quran above in heaven he is the word of God and even Muhammad he called him by a name he gave him a title Ya Ruhullah Wakalimatahu Ruhullah Wakalimatahu the only one is called the Ruh of Allah the Spirit of Allah and the word of Allah is the Messiah it there is a difference between you and your and your spirit no the word of God is God in the Bible it says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God or was the God and then we see that the word became a flesh and this is the Quran stealing the story from the Bible saying that Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary and he became a man right and not so only that not only that God said the word so Jesus yeah. was okay if, if Jesus is the word of God you know as an example the, the Quran says and the Muslim they will say to you that Jesus is same as Adam uh, Allah he says to Adam be and he was but Adam was not created by B isn't it true that the Quran says Allah created Adam by making mud then he fashioned the mud then he breathed into the mud and then the Quran says and a human being was ever hasty and we go to make a theater to see the story it says that this person Adam he was asking Allah to finish him before the sunset so Allah never created Adam by CMB and never created Jesus by CMB because the Quran says Allah he breathed into the private part of Mary which is very stupid and from that the Messiah the Mary she carried the child so he did not say be and he was same for Adam he did not say be Adam and he was this is a mistake in the Quran because neither of them Neither any of them was a creator from CMB than he was. What do you say, my friend? Come on, say it. I am out of this cult. Be the man, my friend. You are the man. He hang up. He hang up. I am very okay hello yes my friend I was waiting for you to Why? say I am out of this cult uh, what do you say yeah I think something interrupt my internet connection you know no problem it's the genie <laughs> so what do you think are you going to leave Islam today you know uh, with your argument Probably if I talk to my teacher, he will say uh, uh, something else and he has another argument. He cannot, probably. he cannot. He will go, I'm here. I'm here every day. And your teacher, so, your teacher, he will not even dare to call me. You want to bet? He will never even dare to say hello. 
um, you know, I cannot, I cannot decis- make decision uh, this fast. You are not making decisions this fast, and, my and friend. We just showed you, we showed you all this mad stuff about Islam. It's not your fault. You do not know them. You don't speak the language. They lie to you, and this is stupid cult. So I'm here to help you, no problem. But you can make decision because already you made decision. Isn't it you who says to me that the, what Allah He says about the sperm of the women and the man is wrong? By saying that, you just said Allah is wrong. By doing that, you just said Islam is wrong and Islam is false. So already you said you know, that. I live, I live in Indonesia for such a long time, you know. Uh, I, I also have uh, Christian friends and they are showing me on YouTube about how they pray in the church. I think I, I'm I'm feeling more com comfortable in Islam. You know the way we pray is more organized. What you pray? You pray in the language you don't understand. How you can feel comfortable? You pray to Allah in Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? Uh, you know when when I saw the people in the church, you know, hmm. uh, they are they are praying, saying like the the words of the alien. You know the words of what? They they are pray. What, what? The words of the alien. What does that mean? I don't understand. What alien? Uh, you know, uh, I I observe how they go to the church. Yeah. You know. Uh, so okay, I, I will pray. The, I, will, I, will, I will pray. They, I will pray right pray. now. I will pray right now to Jesus, and you tell me what's wrong with my prayer. Oh my Lord, oh my Savior, save me, guide me, take me in your way. Let me help people. Let me be loving to everybody. Uh, uh, let no, me, they are for, they are not for, speaking that way. Okay, so what they, they what they say? Speaking that way. Oh, you are you are speaking you about know, tongues. Speaking tongues. Uh, speaking tongues. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Hmm. Uh, the first they they just pray. Uh, normally, Our I friend, can Speaking in language, tongues. There is some. Then, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, speaking in tongues. Start to speak. Speaking in tongues. Even Islam believe. Even Islam believe that the the messenger of Isa, when Allah He sent him, uh, 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 if you go in the Quran, chapter thirty six. Where it says that Allah He sent the three messengers, and those are the messengers of the Messiah. And then they went and they said to the Messiah, uh, the Messiah said to them, Go, be my messengers to mankind. And they said to him, How we will be messenger to mankind, but we do not speak the languages. He told them, Go and sleep. And when they woke up in the morning, they found themselves, each one of them, speaking different languages. So you believe in that too? That is the power of the Messiah. He's making them uh, speak in languages. You know, this they speak they speak like this, uh like uh like I understand. You know, listen, listen, listen. There is some is there's some people they are liars, you know? there's some people are liars, they fake it, and there's some people they are telling the truth. And the one who speaks in tongues, he should speak in tongue, which means speak in the huh? language, not blah, 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 saying nothing, nobody understands what he's saying. You know what I mean? So when somebody you know, do something, like blah 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 yeah, blah blah. Yeah. And the, if somebody speak, really, he, if somebody really speak, really stupid, you know. No, it's just stupid. It's just stupid for you. But the Quran believe in that, and Muslim Islam teach that that the messenger of the Messiah, show me, show the me messengers, me the messengers of the Messiah, Allah He sent them to nations they don't speak their languages. And is, there are also some some verse of the Bible, and there is no proof that it is still working until today. Like uh, Jesus said that uh, anyone who believes in me will perform a greater greater deeds than I'm doing now. And look, th there is no, there's not even one man in this world hmm. uh, that has can prove that Jesus. What Jesus say is really true that the people can heal a sick man, and then Jesus also says, Okay, say that's mean that's mean that the Quran is a liar. Let me show you. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. That's mean it, that's okay. Hold on, happen. hold on, hold on. That's mean the Quran is a liar again because the chapter 36 saying that the messenger of Jesus they did miracle in his name. Chapter 36, those are three messengers. One of them is Paul, the other one is John. The, the third one is Johanna, which means, sorry, John. The third one is, is uh, uh, Peter, Simon Peter. And they did miracles. Read with me carefully. Verily, we give life to the dead. And we record that which they sent before. So Allah has sent them supposedly. And those are the, the messengers of Jesus. So they sent two messengers. And those are what it was uh, 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 John and, and, and Simon Peter. And the city was Antioch. So we sent two. And then they did not still believe them. So we sent them the third. And the third was Paulus. In Arabic, they say Paulus, which is Paul. And then those the three messengers, they did miracles in the name of Jesus. 
So you just uh, said to you me, you, you, you just again trying to fight Christianity. You just admit that the Quran is a book of lies because the Quran says that the ones who sent by Jesus, they can do miracle. Even they resurrected a dead person from the from the from the grave. But today it doesn't happen, right? My friend, no, there's miracle happen every day. There's people who they lie, they fabricate, there's liars everywhere, but there's people happen, there's miracles happen to Christians every day in their life and happen even to non-Christians. There's many people get healed. I know many people. There's a churches in the Middle East sponsored in full by Muslims. And why they do that? Because they go to that church and they heal in the name of Jesus. They go to the mosque, pray for 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 hundred year, nothing happened to them. They go to that church and they pray to Jesus from their heart, and the Lord He healed them. But when we pray, it doesn't mean that everybody will heal. God He work in His wisdom. God He know your heart. There's people they just want to use God. There's people just want to get the benefit of God. Like now I'm sick, I say, Oh God, help me. You know, so but God, He know my heart. I'm trying to use His power. Later, I will not even care for Him. So God He answer as He wish. But yes, there is miracle happen every day in the name of Christ. Every year in the in, in, in the in, in the day of uh, res uh, uh, resurrection of Jesus in Jerusalem, we have a fire which is light coming from the empty tomb of Christ and nobody can explain how this happened it's a miracle happen every day you can go right now and search in Google for the holy fire it's not you know I mean it's a light actually not fire but they can light candle uh, from it tell me that tell me the truth what is what is the poor what is the purpose of the tongue language that that you mentioned to me what uh, what uh, what, uh, what purpose of what the the tongue language like or uh, you are the one who said to me that you are the one who mentioned that to me. You are the one who mentioned that to me. So I've explained to you that even you Muslims believe that Jesus have a twelve apostle. So and then when they, they ask Jesus, when they ask Jesus during like a blah 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 blah. No, there's there's there, there is people who they do that. They are liars, and there's people they speak in language. That's what I said. So there's people who speak in language. It should be a language, not just a stupid thing. Those are liars. So there's people who really speak. And there's people they so, fake it and they are liars. Is it, so, is it is it happen in the Bible that it's the people in the the people in the Bible doing blah 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 like that? No, we don't say that. It's you saying that. You see, you're trying to play playing like a kid now because you are trying to retain what you lost. You lost Islam already. I did not say that. I said there's liars like your prophet who claim to be his a messenger. As an example, as long as we are talking about tongues, your prophet he says, Allah he never sent a messenger to anyone except in the tongue of his people. Do you agree with that? Uh, uh, tell tell me tell me plainly. I'm asking you. Agree you. With the I'm asking you. In the church, chapter fourteen, chapter fourteen, verse four, it says, "Allah never sent the messenger unless he speak in tongues." Do you see it? Show me the first chapter show, fourteen, show verse number four. He have to speak the tongue of his own people. But what kind of words? What kind of language in the church? Speaking like blah 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 blah. No, they are not speaking blah 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 blah. They are speaking a language. So if that language you don't understand, that means you are the fool, not them. But now, what, what language? Blah, but now, blah, blah. what is it's, the language it, you speak in your mosque? What is the language you speak in your mosque? You say Bismillah, Allahumma Lahim, but you don't speak Arabic. So the tongue for you in the church is just stupid because you don't understand. But you yourself, oh, yeah. you you recite a stupid language you don't understand. So now you, know, in, you are saying to me English, you don't accept you don't accept it, what they, no no listen listen blah, listen blah, 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 I said to you there's liars like your prophet there's a scammers like your prophet and there's people who speak reading tongues I'm saying to you do your prophet speak in your tongue listen to me no I'm listening I'm asking you now do your prophet speak in your tongue the prophet speak in Arab strength. do you no because... okay so but the Quran says Allah never sent the messenger unless he speak your tongue. Do you see the verse? We send not a messenger except with the language of his people in order mm -hmm. that he might make the messenger clear for them. Then mm -hmm. all the Muslims whom he wills and guides whom he wills and he, the Almighty, the All-Wise. Mm -hmm. So, how your prophet is a messenger for Indonesia? Allah will never send a messenger to Indonesia unless he is Indonesian and he speaks the tongue of Indonesian. So now this is a blah 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 blah. This is a stupid blah blah blah. So you go to the mosque, Bismillah, Allah, Man, Allahim, Audhu Billahi, Minat Taita, and they ask you, what does that word mean? You do not know. 
If I show you right now any okay, if I show you right now any word of those, do you know what they're saying in the screen? When when you go to the church, do you know what they are saying in the screen, my friend? Do you know what they are saying in the screen? You pray to Allah in a language you don't understand. The Quran saying to you, I will never send you a messenger unless he speak your language. And yet you repeat your prayer in an Arabic language which you don't understand. So you are the one who do blah 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 blah. You are the same as those liars who claim to be Christian. They claim they speak in tongues. Real people who speak in tongues, they should speak in tongues, which means speak in the language, which is can be understood, and there's people they can listen to it. You know, in my country, Indonesia, mm. my country accept mm. Islam to be a good religion. It's not a good religion. So, you see, you, you are the one who said Islam is a stupid. It's not me. I showed you how Allah He says that Quran speaking about the sperm coming from the backbone and the and the ribs. What is good about it? This is good. I showed you the Quran saying, I will never send you a messenger unless he speak your language. So who is the this is a good religion? This is stupid religion. How you say Allah never sent a messenger unless he speak your tongue? And he have to be from the people, which mean he have to be from Indonesia, not only speak language of Indonesia. And he had to speak the language and the new she have hundreds of languages So how Muhammad can be your prophet? So when you say to me Islam is a good religion That's mean it's, a, it's the good the stupid Islam is a good religion. That's what you are saying to me How you say Muhammad uh, is a prophet to the Indonesian if you don't speak Indonesian and he is not Indonesian uh, I have a one yes and no question for you. Hmm. Okay, you you just need to answer yes or no. No, my, my okay. friend, before you ask me the question, can you answer how Muhammad can be a prophet for you according to this verse? Isn't it the verse saying, we never sent, you are trying to jump like a horse, we never sent a messenger except in the language of his people. Did Muhammad come to you in the language of your people and he is from the people? Either you say yes or no. Uh, you know why why Islam is Indonesia right this now? This is not this is not a question, my friend. Don't change the topic. We never sent a messenger except with the language of his people, which means he have to be from your people. He have to speak the language of your people. Now, is Muhammad from your people? Okay, okay. About about this, you have your own understanding that you agree. No, no, I don't and have. I... No, no, no. This is not my understanding. I'm asking you for your understanding, my friend. Don't jump like a horse again. Please, I'm speaking to you as a man, adult man. We never send a messenger except with the language of his people. So he have to be from the people, speaking the language of the people. Is Muhammad from your people and he speak the language of your people? But the result of what happens now, we accept Muhammad as the messenger. You see, you are not answering. You are not answering. You accept because you are ignorant. Here we go, the truth in the front of you. The one is saying, I never send a messenger unless you speak the tongue and he is from the people is Allah, not me. So if this religion is a true religion, it should not have contradiction because this contradiction, how he say, I will never send you a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. And then you start reciting to Allah in Arabic. And by the way, why do you want to answer me about this? Why are you trying to avoid it? You just say to me, I accept. What does that mean? Uh, I, I will I will tell you the fact that I accept from this first, okay? Hmm. Probably probably you will not agree with me, but this is what I believe in. Mm. So please respect me. Mm. I believe Muhammad is the messenger of God because you know it he 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 was in Arab mm. and then uh, after the people in Arab knows the existence of Allah and then the Quran is translated to Indonesia. Mm. And after it, the Quran is translated to Indonesia. We start to learn it, and we start to believe it, and we accept Muhammad. This okay. is the result you see, of what you happens. See, you see, you see, you are acting with my respect to you, acting like a kid. I, this is not my question. I'm saying the Quran saying, not me. Allah will never send you a messenger in Arabic. He will never Please. send you a message. He will never send Please you a message respect, in Arabic. Respect what I believe in, okay? I don't respect what you believe in. You believe in, you believe in garbage and you are not answering. You see, it says uh, we will never send you. You see, you are playing like a kid now. I'm saying respect me, respect me, respect me in what? What does it have to do with respect? Don't respect me too. You feel free, no problem. We send not a messenger except with the language of his people. So why? Allah, he says why? In order for them to understand the message. So there's no way Allah, the true God supposedly, to send you a message unless it is clear to you in your language. Did Allah send you the language to you 
in Indonesian? No. But it can be translated. No, it cannot be. It cannot be because you Muslim, you pray to Allah in Arabic. If you are, if you are saying what you claim that it cannot be translated, then you have to accept the translation as Quran. But you don't, and you can. Then you should be able to pray to Allah in your language. But you don't. Why? Because this is an Arabic Quran made for the Arab by the Arab. The Arab dominate you, and you are the slave of the Arab. So now you have to speak in my language as an Arab. You have to pray in my language in Arab, but yet you do not know my language. And that proving to me that this is a foolish religion. How you pray to God in a language you don't understand? And you are making fun of speaking in tongues. You are the one speaking in tongues, but stupid tongues. Because you speak in a tongue which you do not know. You speak in a tongue you don't understand. You speak in a tongue which is not your language. You speak in a tongue which is not even a single letter for you is clear. And the Quran saying to us, we never send the messenger unless he from the people speaking the tongue of the people so it might make it clear for them so muhammad based in this verse cannot be a messenger for indonesia can All you refute right. this can you refute that this verse alone is enough to prove that muhammad is a false prophet according to what you said that muhammad cannot be a Prophet I'm not saying Indonesia. It's not me saying it's not me. Don't say I'm saying I'm not saying that the Quran saying that the verse in front of you And we send out the messenger except with the language of his people in order that he might make the message clear for them hmm. So what we will do now how Muhammad can be a messenger to you the message is not clear you don't speak Arabic and The messenger he have to be from the people too. So what we will do now how Muhammad is a messenger to Indonesia. He is not. Who is saying that? The Quran. Who believe in that? You. And yet you believe okay, Muhammad okay. is a prophet. I mean, how is it a crazy, my friend, that you believe that Muhammad is a prophet to you when the Quran is saying, no, he's not? <laughs> I mean, this is a crazy. He, the Quran is saying, not Christian press. This is not my understanding. We, I mean, how simple it is need to make it. We never send a messenger except in the tongue of the people and you have to be from the people As simple as that So now what we will do how we can believe in Muhammad I'm an Arab I can then I can accept Muhammad to be an Arabian prophet for the Arab because the Quran the verse saying that He have to be from the people Speak in the language of the people. Okay, that goes for the Arab, but it doesn't go for you All right, you have explained me about this and I have what uh, yes uh, or no, I will explain to you. Hold on. I'm, ex I'm explaining to you Here the story is the, 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 the If we go in the Quran, we will find that the story is speaking about the followers of Jesus Jesus he have a 12 apostle and Jesus he sent them in a mission and They said to him, okay, how we are going to be your apostle you are messenger your messengers I will show you chapter 36 Show but yet, me the first but yet, Bible yet yet. We don't speak the tongues of people Then when they show, went to sleep hold show on. me in the Bible when they went to sleep in the Bible speaking blah 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 in, in order you know, to don't, 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 be, don't be stupid I said to you that the blah 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 is you you do that and those who do blah 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 is liars There's many liars I like I can your show you the video on YouTube my friend they, they can be they can be liars like your prophet They can be this is it is possible. There's a scam. So you're that, you're saying that they are a liar There's liar. sure this is why Jesus said not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father But the one who do his will so there's many fake Christians and all the Muslims so, are liars when they say Muhammad is a prophet so because speaking, we showed you you're speaking in the in the on behalf of Christian, right? It doesn't matter. No, I don't speak in so behalf how, of how anyone. You, how you I, I don't Christian speak in the liar. behalf of anyone. I show you what Jesus said. Not everyone says to me, God, God, which means you have to believe in him as God, you worship him as God. But saying that is not enough because you cannot fool God with words. In Islam, you can. Isn't it your prophet? He says, the one who say Alhamdulillah 30 times he go to heaven, yes or no? Is that true? Uh, there are there are so, so many kind of Christian, you know. I'm asking you. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Doesn't matter how many kind of Christian. The Christian there's only one kind of Christian. A Christian who believe it truly believe in his heart that Jesus is his savior. That is a true Christian. The rest doesn't count. I'm asking you. Is it true that Look, your prophet there, says? There so is it true? Is it true? Your prophet said if you say blah 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 three thirty times you go to heaven. Yes or no? 
you know, I, I answer so many of your questions. No, no, I'm this, asking this, you. This no, I'm asking you too. I'm asking. Is it true? Is it true? If you say 33 times or 30 times, blah, 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 blah. Like, Alhamdulillah, you go to heaven. Yes or no? Yeah, we, we say okay. the Arabic language. All right. So why heaven. why you are, if you say blah, 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 in the language you don't understand, you go to heaven. Can you explain to me? Is it a blah, blah, blah? Because you don't understand Arabic what you are is, saying. You see, is, you see, hold on. You see, for is, me, this, for me, what is a blah, blah, blah? What is a blah, blah, blah? Blah, blah, saying something you don't understand. That's a blah, 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 blah. But if you speak in a language which people can understand, that is not the blah, 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 blah. Now, your Arab, prophet, Arabic your Arabic prophet, your prophet said, your prophet, your prophet says, if you stay 33 times, Alhamdulillah, you go to heaven. Is that true? Yes, it's, okay. it's true. But you are saying a blah, 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 because you don't speak the language. That's the Christian I told you. No, this is you. You speak in the language, which is the blah, blah, blah for you. Uh, is it true? Is it true? If you say to Allah, "Paradise, paradise, paradise," three times you go to heaven. Uh, listen to me, just one minute. Just mm. one minute. Give me one minute, mm. okay? Uh, there are many, many kind of Christian like uh, Mormon, Protestant. Those are, no, 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 no. Catholic, Mormon or I, 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 listen, listen. I don't, I don't like. You feel I don't like stupid talk. Christians, Christians, Mormon are not Christians. Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians. What, which which church you pray? I, I don't uh, there is nothing is called which church you go to Mormon are not Christians because anyone who come with the Bible other this than this Bible is not a Christian Secondly to be a Christian is to believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit the Trinity and to believe that Jesus He died in the cross crucified and he's coming back and he was resurrected and Then after you believe in all of this you have to do what the Lord he says to you you obey him in full and then you are a Christian. So Christianity is not a church name called Protestant or Orthodox or Catholic. Christianity is following Christ. So we have sect, but those are not the like the, the reason to go to heaven. It is following Wait Jesus. Mormon. The Mormon are not Christian. Christian. Don't be stupid. Just stop being stupid. You see? But let me ask you: Is the Shia Muslims? I'm not being stupid. Is the Shia Muslims? 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 You told me is the Shia Muslims. I'm asking you, is the Shia is the Shia question. Muslims? There is no stupid question, right? No, there's a stupid question because you know already that Mormons are not Christians. No, no, we know that you, because because the moment say, they have their own books, they, they follow a false prophet. His name is Joseph Smith. You said that there is no stupid question. Though there is a stupid question because already you can go right now in Google ah, type, you will see that no. <laughs> Mormon, Mormon are not a Christian. <laughs> okay, you. and why you, you keep repeating the Mormon? Over. I told you already, Mormon are not Christian, and you keep repeating. That's mean you are being stupid now. I told you already, Mormon are not Christian. You keep saying, do you know Mormon Christians? I said to you, Mormon are not Christian. So is Mormon Christians? I told to you, Mormon are Christian. Is Mormon Christian? So you are like a kid. So do you are you listening? Mormon are not Christians. You ask me who is the Christian? I told you, Mormon are not Jehovah's Witnesses. Whoever denied the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is not a Christian. This is what the Bible says. Anyone bring other scriptures than this is not a Christian. This is what the Bible says. So if you are a person who claim to be a Christian, you can claim, you can claim whatever you want. You Muslims claim that you worship the same God of Jesus, right? As you claim, uh, Isa. Yeah, for example. Okay, yes. but right you don't. Now, you I have a God. You know the God of the, the in the Bible. He have a spirit. Your God have no spirit. So people claim, so, people they claim. If, you can create your right own. Now, you can create your own uh, false cult, and you claim as you wish. For example, mm. listen to me. Mm. Don't just keep on talking like a horse. You know. Mm. Do you talk uh, like? Do you? Let, let me ask you. Do you know that Allah He created from a horse? <laughs> you know, you do not answer. I'm asking you. Do you know that Allah is created from a horse? You are a Christian. You need to go I'm to the church. You, right? Do you know? I do not need to go anywhere, my friend. The church is us, the Christians. Whoever believe in Jesus, we are the Christian. Christian church is not a building. It cannot be that way, boy. No, it is. And don't call me boy. I will smash you. You are a stupid idiot. You just admitted that Allah is a liar. Allah is making mistakes in the Quran and he's a stupid God. And now you are calling me a boy. It is you who is a boy who is believing in the book. You agreed already it's false. And yet you said, I cannot leave it. You know, I have a servant in my house. You have nothing in your house. And you and have no life. A Christian. No, hold on. You have a servant in your house. So what does that mean? Does that mean you are a, you are a good, you are, you are, a, you are, a, you are a, like, you must be true because you are rich. Listen to me. 
No, 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 I'm not. Listen, listen, what do you mean you have a servant in your house is a Christian? What does that mean? It's mean you are enslaving Christians? You know, she is accusing her friend because she is because her friend is not going to the church. Who? My servant. So what, what what is my business with the servant? Is he Jesus now? We follow the, your servant? So because you know you see, let me show you how coward you are. Now you are speaking about a Christian in his back. And you claim he is your servant. I want you to call him your servant right now. Let him talk to us. You are because a liar. You are, you are, you are a liar. You don't me. have a servant. And you, you don't, I don't even think you have a donkey. Call the servant that has talked to us. The Christian servant. Let him call talk to okay. us. Okay. Let, let me tell you this. You have a servant at home, My right? Servant. You said you have a servant at home. Call him. I want to hear him. Why are you are lying? I'm lying. Okay, so call him. He's so your servant. He's your English. servant. Call him. Guy, did he I'll, say, I'll translate did, for did you. Did he say? Did he say he have a servant at home? Call him. I want to hear him. Christian needs to go to, to go to the church or not? Why you so are not yes calling your not. servant? Why you are lying? You have no servant at home. You think you want to show us that you have a servant and he is a Christian? So yeah, I have. You don't have. You are a liar. Call him. He's in your home. You can come to my house if you don't believe. What do you mean come, come now? Call him right now. I am in America. You are in Indonesia. You are a liar. You are a scam like your prophet. So look how you try to answer me about the stupidity of Islam. You say to me that I have a Christian servant. That is the answer. Are you stupid? Or what? Christian needs to go to the church or not? Christian, they need to pray to God. Either they go to church or they do it in private. Jesus said, when you pray, close your closet and pray to God. For if you do the same as the Abdul, the Muhammad and Abdulism, who pray in the corners, they receive their blessing. So the best of the Christian is the one who pray in private. Church is to gather together as a people of God, to share our testimony together. But the prayer, the best place is to be praying in private so nobody see you. And you don't receive the honor of people says look he's praying he's a good man he's praying in the corner to show us that he's a good man that as a muslim they do we don't do that you know jesus is against uh, hypocrisy i have, I have don't stop telling pastor, me about i have you, why you are running away from answering how if somebody asks for paradise three times he go to heaven explain this logic what if he is a child molester what if he is a garbage what if he's a criminal? He says paradise three times, he go to heaven. What kind of logic this logic is? The pastor here said to me that going to the church is a must for Christian. It's a must for Christians to be Christian. That's what he meant. Yeah. Hmm. To be a Christian. How so, to be a Christian? So if, uh, let, if okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Christian okay, Christian okay. Christian. Listen, listen, listen. You are trying to change the topic because you are a coward. You are you you, you insulted your God. You said he's made a mistake in the Quran, and now you're trying to avoid the topic. And now the topic is about a pastor who said to you something. I don't care what he said to you. It's true or not. This is none of my business. You ask me about Jesus, I will teach about Jesus. Now, I am saying to you, Jesus said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Which means if you don't do, you don't go. Not by singing only, moving your lips. You're a prophet saying the opposite. Whoever asks for paradise three times, he will go to paradise. So now I will say paradise, 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 Allah, I will go to heaven. What do you think? So you do not agree with the pastor here saying that a Christian first must of, go to the church? First of, all, first of all, you are a liar. You never spoke to any pastor. Secondly, I agree with him. Number three, you are a donkey. And I will tell so you what why. church you go doesn't matter tell all me. church are church of God as long they are serving God doesn't matter a church for me so is, you are a, a church, a Catholic shut, up, church? shut up there's, there's, okay. nothing, there's nothing there's nothing is called Catholic Church Protestant Church those are names of a groups the church is the church of the Messiah and whoever believe in him he is a Christian so I'm asking you now so you do not have groups I don't have what you do not have Christian groups like I have your, right now. I have one thousand. This is my church. Let me introduce my church for you. For you. Okay, I have one thousand. I have one thousand three hundred. Okay? I have one thousand three hundred forty-eight people listening to me right now. We are praising the Lord. That is our church. We have a problem. So you are belong to Catholic Church. I don't belong to anything. I belong to Jesus. Christ is my Lord. Those are names. We don't. Those are not God. Those are names of the churches. I'm asking you now. Which, which, for, which for example if now for, I'm, for, going, for, I'm I decided to be a Christian mm. and then I go to the Catholic Church is it's fine for me 
It doesn't matter. This is not what will save you. It's not going to the Catholic or Protestant. Either you are trying to play a fool or you are... And then are I, go, I go to let, the let me, Orthodox okay. Church. It doesn't I matter. will answer you and let us see how honest you are. Okay, you, you you agree that Allah making mistakes in the Quran. You agree that Allah is a stupid. And now you are saying to me, if I want to be a Christian, what I will be? You will be Christian. You will not be Catholic, neither Protestant, neither Orthodox. Those are the groups of people you can worship with. But the one who is a Christian is the one, Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die, believe in me and die, he and he follow me and he do as I say. He obey me. He worship me. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, but the one do my father will if you do all those things you are saved so it's not about going to a building it's called catholic or a building called the protestant because you can go to any building of those some they will be saved some they will not be saved because there's many are fake and there's many are truthful the truthful one is going to be saved so being a catholic or protestant or orthodox is not what save you being a true christian what will save you so now i answered you now you as a muslim your God, Allah, in the Quran says, every Muslim will go to hell. What do you say to Allah? Wait a moment. Your in God, Christian, Allah, your is, God, Allah, is, you, you are trying to change the, I the answer you, I answer you. you. Stop being stupid. Stop being stupid. Why Allah, why Allah, he says, every Muslim will go to hell. Wait, wait. You need to give 10% of your salary to the church, mm. right? No, not, not, not to the church, to the people, to the, to the poor. We can give it to anyone we wish, anyone we think <coughs> no, he need help. The, yes, the, the, ch the church. Told me no, the church the is not. Of our the church. Don't, be, the church. Don't, don't teach me about my 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 belief. The church is not a building. Jesus, he never built a building. Do you ever heard in the Bible where Jesus says, "I built a building, I call but it a the church"? the people in in listen, my in my village. Listen, I don't care. Yeah, this is a church. So people, what? Who who they can oh, trust? Okay. Who can okay, trust? Okay, it's true. Who they can Let's trust with their donation? Who they true. can they shut up? Ten percent of the salary you, to the church. You are being a kid. So what? If he gets okay. a salary, your prophet he says. So, your prophet said, "Don't meet the prophet." Allah said, "Don't meet the prophet unless you pay him." Those those ministers, if they get so payment, let's just say that. Listen, listen, yes. listen, 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 I'm okay. asking you, I'm asking you. Yes. If, if I say, if yes, I say, you not 10% of your salary, yes. Ten, this 10%, this is, this is donation for the poor. Yes, to, to the church. Okay, right? let, let me, let me show you. Is, that's, is it that's your, it, that, is it your yes, prophet? Okay. The church is the you people. you agree with this? The church is the people, the Christians. This is the church. If you want, you can make video call with the pastor here and he will say that he know me. My friend, the pastor, he know that you're an you, idiot. I, I can, understand. I understand. Now, this is not the question. We pay I can 10%. Go to the we pay 10%. Right hold now. on, hold on, hold on. What and, if I show you? What if I show you? That you, you what if I show you that you are a certified you can donor show right his now? To the okay. Who watch Let you me right ask now. you how much, how much you have to pay to the mosque, you as a Muslim? Wait. I can I can how go much, to the pastor how house much, right now and how much you have to pay to, to how much you have to pay as a right Muslim now. and you pay to who how much how much you have to pay as a Muslim and you pay to who percent of their salary to the church yeah the church is, is us clear for you the church is us the church is us we are the church is that, is that clear for you it is a clear I for can, us you see you are you are you are, being, you are being okay. stupid you want to wait you are being stupid you want to wait wait for you want to wait wait for what I will go to the Pastor, okay, go and bring him. No, why wait? Call him right now, brother. You you will make a video, hey brother. Call everything. him right now, you brother. Hey brother, no, call him right now, and we will laugh at you, and he will laugh at you, and you are a liar. The church is us. The church, the church is the Christians. The, the we, the believers, are the church. Is not a building. And the Christian, they trust somebody to be the best of them. To give him donation so he can use the donation for the best of the people. This is what the donation is for. It's not for God. God do not need money. Not like the God of Islam who says, give Allah a mortgage. Is it true that Allah needs a mortgage? So tell me the truth. Do you give 10% of your salary? Uh, this is not, uh, not what I speak in public because Jesus said, don't tell about what you give. Don't let the right well, hand. I, I just don't just let, I just answered you. I just, church, answered, yeah. I just answered you. Don't tell what do you do? What don't don't let the left hand know what the right hand gave. This is what the Bible teach. So you're so asking you, me now. You don't make sense. You no, don't make it sense. It is you who don't make sense. Why, when you donate Muslims, you have to tell everybody that you donate? For, for example, do, do you know? Do you know for, why you have to tell example, everybody? If, do you know? Do you know? Muslim do you know? Found the mistake of the 
Quran and then he decided to be a Christian, he will he will be confused about where to go. Why? Because Okay, where, where, okay, where are you to, okay, 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 let me ask you, okay, I will go with you, I will go with you, I will go with you. They want to get married to which church, oh, hold on, hold on, married, oh, hold on, hold on, cannot get, okay, okay, get okay, I'm, I'm, ask, I'm asking you, who is the most divided belief according to you? Are you married now? Tell I'm me asking you, what is the most divided belief? Because you say to me, there's many sects and uh, you will be confused. You know, so, if Islam, okay, what in Islam, uh -huh. if we want to get married, we go to the mosque. Which mosque? Right? Which which mosque? Any mosque. Which mosque? No, any. there's many, many, there's many sects. Shia mosque, the Ruz mosque, Ahmadiyya mosque, which mosque? Yeah, we can go to Ahmadiyya, we can go okay. to any mosque. Let me show you what your prophet said, huh? proving to me that you are certified donkey. Your prophet said there's there's my nation will be 73 sects. Tell me, are you, are you Hold on, shut up, shut up. Your prophet said that the Christian will be 71, 72 sect, the Jews will be 71. Listen, 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 listen. Your prophet is the one who said you that my nation. For the rest listen, of your listen, life. listen. Let me talk. Let me talk. How you do you agree with married. your prophet saying that the most divided belief is Muslims and only okay, one sect have, will go to heaven? I've had enough. I know about you already. No, you do not know. You, you, don't don't have have you, you are in a way. You don't have community. I have community. Here we go. My, my community is more than three billion you're, Christians. You're not my that community. With people. My community know, is more than like three you. billion a Christian believers in Jesus. You are the one who have a no community, you idiot. Read your prophet what he said. My people will be 73 sect. One only of them only will go to heaven. My Jesus said, All my community will go to heaven. I know the person like you. You don't have church. Why not answer? To, to Why not answer? Are you making fun of your prophet? Your prophet says only one community of my th seventy-three community will go to heaven. My okay. Lord Jesus said. My you. Lord Jesus says. You my I know my sheep. I know my sheep, and my sheep they know me. That's what Jesus said. This is my community. So all you the community, church. all the you community, all the community of Jesus is one community. Your prophet is Listen saying. To me. If you if you are going to get married, you go to, to which church? You don't even have church. Any church, any church family? is good. Any, any any church is. You see, the the marriage is. So a, you you are not going to get married for the rest of your life. Why not? Take that why not? In mind. Why not? I can marry in any church. Why not? As long as it's you, a Christian you, marriage. If you are as going long, to get married, as, you, go as, to, you go to the Catholic church. Doesn't matter. So what? You? So what? I will go Protestant, Orthodox, Catholic. Doesn't matter. And what's your problem? But you're a prophet saying that there's 73 sect, one of them will go to heaven and the rest will go to hell. Which one? You know, I, I have which one? Which one? I'm asking Dr. you, Abdul. Which one? Which one? Which one of the 73 sect will go to heaven? You know, I, I know the, you know, the, the problem within the Christian. A long time ago. You see, you are trying to change the topic because you are a, you are, you are a potato and you, you got the, busted. You, are, you got busted. You are trying to change the topic. So, and, and, and I answered you many times. I, 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 are you, are you wrong. talking to me or you are talking to somebody else? You are talking to me, right? I told you. Protestant for me are Christians. Orthodox are Christians. Catholic are Christians. You like it, you don't like it, get, get, hit, hit your head with the wall. But you are trying your best not to answer the question. But you said Dr. to me, Martin you said Luther, to me, you, you said to me, Catholic where is your community? Sports. You said to me, where is your community? Here we go, my community, all those Christians, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox are my community. I love them all. Those are my brothers in Christ and sisters. I'm asking you now, you're, pro you're a prophet, say it. Cat Catholic you're, Church you're a, is your community? It is my community. Yes Protestant are my community and Orthodox my community. Are you going to repeat yourself like a puppy? Catholic, your community. It is not? my community. Let me repeat for you. Catholic is my community. Protestant, yes. my community. Orthodox, my community. Now, what your community? What is the community so of Muhammad? Muhammad what is the community hell. of Muhammad? Will go to heaven. I know exactly what. Catholic Shut up, you idiot! You will not answer. Read with me, guys. Seventy-three sect. The most divided belief is not the Christians, is not the Jews, it is Muslims. And the chance to go to heaven is one to seventy-three. Who said that, Muhammad? So if you are complaining about the Christians, they have Protestant and Orthodox and Catholic. We, and I believe, this is my own belief, that anyone who believes in the Messiah and he follow his step is saved, is not the one who go to a church, have a name. The name of the church will not save you. The one who saves is God. And this guy, what he will not answer. He's trying to change the topic because he was humiliated with his cult. And he agreed that his God is a stupid. 
So he tried to divert the topic to talk about Christians. Somebody says that to me. Some people speak in tongues. Stupid. Even your Quran teaching about Christians and the apostle of Jesus speaking in tongues. And he says to me, you go to hell. Let me show you from the Quran that you will go to hell. And Catholic, they will not go to hell, my friend. You are going to go to hell. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. God, he knew his sheep and he is a shepherd. And every from every place in this world, he have those. This is the community of Jesus. It's not a church name. In Islam, you are the most confused, stupid cult ever. And your prophet agreed. And he teach that all of you Muslims, your chance to go to heaven is 1 to 73. Playing cards is easier. 1 to 73. Who said that, Muhammad? I swear by the one who is my hand, the soul of Muhammad. My nation will split into 73 sect. One of which be in paradise and 72 in hell. Which one? Shall we play games now? Should we play card and gambling? In the other side, Jesus said, whoever believe in me, whoever believe in me, whoever believe in me and do, as I said, whoever believe in me and do the will of my father, he is saved. Even if he die, he will live. While your prophet saying that my community will be 73 community, one of them, will go to heaven the rest will go to hell so this Abdul who insulted Allah and he start receiving messages from Muslims maybe threatening him he tried to get himself away from what he already said what you said is already recorded and people will take it will be all over the internet that this is a mistake and this is a mistake and this is a mistake so Allah cannot be God and if you try to say to me that there is somebody in a church, he says to you, you have to go to the church. I agree. Who said we don't have to go to the church? Because we have to be with the community. We worship God together. But when we pray, the best of the prayer is to pray in your closet. As Jesus said, close your door and pray to the Lord. So the church is us. It's not a building. This is the community. The church is every Christian who believe in the Messiah not a name you call it all protestant you call it orthodox and protestant have thousands of names catholic have many names so who care but it is what you believe in and you follow who the one who follow a priest he will go with the priest the one who follow a bishop he will go with the bishop the one who follow jesus is the one is saved so from all those churches there is people who follow priest and there is people who follow the christ the one who follow the christ are saved and the one who follow a man, they are the fool. You follow me, you are a fool. Because who am I? No one. I'm a sinner. The bishop is a sinner. The patriarch is a sinner. You follow Jesus, my friend. So we keep repeating, but because he is bankrupt, he is so desperate trying to regain, like, to, 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 like, to, to erase what he just said about the Quran. You admitted that the Quran is full of mistakes. You admitted the Quran is stupid. You admit Allah cannot be God. And now you are saying to me, do you pay 10 to 10 percent? Christians, they pay a lot more than 10 percent. What 10 percent? And by the way, Muhammad, he copied that from the Christian. He called it zakat. Zakat is a Hebrew word. So they try to divert the topic and to make it something else. Which church will save you? No church will save you. The one will save you is Jesus. No bishop, no man, no priest. The priest himself, he might be corrupt. He might be child molester like Muhammad. We don't follow a man, my friend. So stop being a stupid. And the Quran confirm in chapter 19, verse 19, that Jesus is the Holy Son is holy what makes Jesus holy except he is being God is Muhammad holy the Quran say no Muhammad he commit a lot of sin to the point Allah says to Muhammad may Allah forgive your past sin and the sin to come 
yeah at least he left Islam I agree but you see because he's arrogant trying to he's upset he's upset he made a call and he ended to be leaving Islam and he cannot believe it so he tried to divert the topic to be about Christianity you know when we speak when, when a Muslim he tried to divide us says do you believe that the Catholic are your church what's wrong with the Catholic for me they are my church the same as the Protestant the same as the Orthodox because for me a church is whoever believe in the Messiah what the Bible says whoever denied the son is an Antichrist whoever denied the son and the father is an Antichrist correct guys okay is the Catholic denied the son no is the Protestant denied the son no is the Orthodox denied the son no is the Catholic deny the father? No. Is the Protestant so whoever denied the son and the father is Antichrist? So those are my brothers and sisters. They do not deny the son, neither the father. You Muslim deny. So according to the Bible, you Muslims are a Christian false cult who deny the son. This is reality. You change the name of God, you change the nature of God, you change the ethic, the ethic of God, you made him a statue, you made him a God without a spirit, you made him a God who is a physical being, you made him a God who can lie, you make him a God who deceive, you make him a God who is a, a child molester, you make him a God who kill and for, for just for fun, you make him all kind of ugly stuff. And then he says to us, we believe in the virgin birth of Mary. You are the same as the Mormon. You are the same as Jehovah's Witnesses, just another Christian cult mixed with pagan belief. So my friend, the Christianity is not the church name. Christianity is a Christ. That is a Christianity. That's why it's called a Christianity. The first name given to the Christian was based on the name of Christ. They follow Christ. That's why they are called the Christians. They are not called Catholic. They are not called Protestant. This is the only name exists in the Bible. Do you agree, Christians? Is that true? That the only name exists for us in the Holy Bible is a Christian? That is the truth. There is no other name. And any other name is not exist. So a Catholic, you have to believe he's a Christian. A Protestant, you have to believe he's a Christian. And Protestant, you have to believe he's a Christian. Because this is the only name. And there's no better name than him. Look at my name. Christian Prince. He made me a prince. We are the children of God. Even the Quran says so. The Quran says that the Christian, they say that they are the children of God. And they are the beloved of God. Huh? And yes, we believe that when we believe in the Almighty God, we we choose our Father. Our Father is our Creator, the one who made us, the one who provides us. Both the Jews and the Christians say we are the sons of Allah, and He is beloved. While you Muslim believe that you are the slave of Allah, we believe we are the sons of God, not Allah. And the sons here, by the way, is not about physical sons, which means God, he have sex with my mother because Muslims are silly. So even your Quran prove that you Muslims, you lie about us when you say that the Christians, they fabricated belief. This is beautiful. What Jesus said when they said to him how to pray, he said, pray like this, our Father out of heaven, our Father. He is for us a father, for you, he is a slave owner. I never created the, me, the genie and the human except to worship me, to be my slaves. This is not the reason for our God to create us. God created us to share his glory with him to live in happiness with him and there's a huge difference between the nature of the two names I feel sorry for those Abdul's who try to make to create things up I have a servant do you see do you see the supremacist he have a servant he's a Christian so 
I will tell you if you have a servant is a Christian why you choose as Christian not a Muslim because you Muslim trust Christians you don't trust Muslims this is the truth I in the Middle East I witness hundreds of women coming to visit my mother who they are Muslims and they come alone to our house and they take off their scarf and they are wearing short skirt and they are not afraid because this is a Christian house but if the man, the Muslim man, want to go to Muslim man house, he have to be there, guarding his female, because he cannot trust a Muslim. And this is the truth. And you can ask any Muslim if I'm lying. A Muslim man in the Middle East, he trusts his son to go and sleep in our house. But he don't trust his son or his daughter to sleep in someone else's house, even if it is the cousin. That is the truth. Your prophet Muhammad himself, he went to visit his own, you know, his own son wife. He flirted with her. You believe it? If you are following such a man, if your best man is Muhammad, he flirted with the women. And when the man he heard that the, his father flirted him with his wife, he went to Muhammad, says to him, I want to divorce her. Muhammad, the hypocrite, who was five minutes ago flirting with the wife when she was alone, said, No, no, keep your wife for you, my son. That's your prophet. Do you see the difference? Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like what we do. And don't forget to download our videos immediately after we finish because we don't keep them for long. All right? And always when we delete a video, you can find the update in Patreon. And there are some many Christians, they download the video and share them in their links. And always I choose the first one who download the video in his channel. I put it in Patreon so people can find it. All right? Now, do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Let us see what happened with Abbas. There's a hadith asked for Bukhari. I mean, Abbas, are you serious? Give me the hadith. Uh, guys, uh, uh, Abbas, he went for 10 hours and he come back to me to say this. You believe it? He have different hadith did not mention the murky water. <laughs> so, your prophet, he talk a lot. Sometimes he mentioned everything. Sometimes he mentioned some. So, you cannot deny that your prophet, he says, a murky water. So, what we will do now? So, Abbas, he is in pain. His prophet, he said something, and he cannot deny it. What we will do now? Hmm? Let us see, we have a Muslim here who wants to say something to us. Let us give him a chance. One more Muslim to go. <coughs> oh, he did not answer. Let me tell you what Muslim they say about me. You will not believe it. <laughs> you are a terrorist. Suddenly a Muslim when you see a Christian like me, who no Muslim can answer, he is a terrorist because he terrifies Islam. You are a terrorist. You are a part of this attack. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, let us see what this guy wanna say. Hold on. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So what you are posting for me, this text, what is that text? So I asked the scholar about the setting in the murky water. Okay. What so about it? me a reply. What so about it? it? What about it? Tell me. So let me, let me follow you one minute. Hmm. He said, hmm. he said, you need to understand what a guru means. A guru means setting. Hmm. Um, guru means to go out of sight by going beyond something. Hmm. So here the Prophet is saying to him, do you know where, where it goes when it sets? Hmm. Majority of scholars say he's simply informing him as a further place that the sun goes on uh, on the first uh, face of the earth hmm. beyond which it disappears off. Okay, and, um, what that and that there's a body of water there. Okay. So he's not, he's not saying... Um, so then, then he talks about the word. He says, so based on the meaning of guru, the word of fi in would be used to confer the meaning of Allah instead. So he uh, gave like a whole Still, I don't understand. Okay, what is the conclusion now? So Allah, is Allah saying the sun set in murky water or no? No, so it's not, it's not, um, it's, it's basically going beyond. So it's, it's um, um, so, so the explanation is that it goes beyond. So what, it does what, goes like be, what goes beyond? The, what goes beyond mean? Beyond the, the murky, uh, the sun, the sun goes beyond the murky water. It's, it's the it's the place where it disappears. Hmm. Okay. Let, let's let us read together. Can you see my screen? Uh, one minute. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Did, did, this is this is your Muslim translation, not my words. It says, "Do you know where the sun goes? Do you agree with that term?" Yeah. Okay. Does does the sun goes anywhere? So when we look at it, it does go. Okay, but so your prophet is saying, do you know where the sun goes. goes? And then he says that it goes. Yeah. Okay. Does the sun goes? Yeah, yeah visually, it, it, we see it going. Okay, so you're, are you saying your prophet is lying now because he says it goes, i.e., travel, till it portrays itself under the throne of Allah and take permission to rise again? Take permission to do what? Well, I, oh, you, you, you showed me a different one. Um, yeah, about the sajda. So the sunduz uh, sajda. Hmm. I'm, I'm showing you the hadith. Does it say it goes and then ask, ask permission to rise again? Correct? Yeah, yeah. I've read so, this so who is the one is moving here? The earth or the sun? Um... The way the way it does such that we don't know how it does it, how it goes and does it. So it's something beyond us. My you friend, don't me beyond. It. It. Muhammad is saying to you. He said to the man, "Do you know where the sun goes?" The guy he do not know. He said it goes, prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So obviously, your prophet said the sun moving under the throne of Allah. Correct. What I'm saying, how it takes place, we don't know how of it. So it, um, not, but it's what you're saying is, like physically goes. You're a prophet describing. Allah, we, we know a lot tells us, tells us that every creature. Works no, no, no. Allah. You're a prophet so describing. We don't know how it. How you're it a prophet describing the sunset. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, when he said it goes, he may, he may, he mean it, right? It goes, and it asks for a permission to rise again, but. Do the sun really move from its place, or this is the earth going around itself when we have the normal day and night? Yeah, so this is a uh, this is like uh, it's it's not um it's it's not something we can comprehend. Why not? He's he said to you. He's uh, he's saying to you how it works. Uh, he's saying that to you so you can comprehend so Muhammad he can comprehend and the guy behind him in the donkey He can comprehend but you and me we cannot comprehend No, we can't comprehend because he's saying you do search that to the throne. We, uh, it's obvious that it doesn't do uh, what to do what to do what it doesn't do, do that But well, it's uh, something that we can't comprehend. It's how it, how it happens. Uh, I don't care about the sun's uh, uh, portrait. This is stupid. But anyway, listen isn't it your prophet? He says explain it says that this is what the Quran says in chapter 36 verse number 38 that this is how the sun goes in its course. This is what the Quran mean. The sun run in a course, right? What is the course? It is the twenty four hours a day, correct? So yeah, it runs in a course. Um, hmm. What is the course? Isn't it the sun set, the sunrise? I'm not sure what course is. 
mm-hmm. cycle. Mm-hmm. Mm. So when the sun rises, the sun set. The Quran says, chapter thirty-six, chapter thirty-eight, verse number thirty-eight, that this is Allah. This is the decree of the sun, the course of the sun. The sun every day go from point A to point B, and will ask Allah for permission to rise again, and Allah will give her permission until one day Allah will not. He will say to the sun, go back where you coming from. Do you see it? Every day, yeah. every day will prostrate, and you know. And but one day, but one day. It's about to prostrate the sun itself, but it's not going to be accepted. So Allah will say, no, no, don't do that. It will be asked, uh, ask permission to go in the course, but will not be permitted. This is the course, sunset, sunrise, normal one. But will be ordered to return where whence it has come. Do you see it? Yep. So the prophet, he agree that the sun is moving from A to B. A is the east, B is the west. And this is why the sun will appear again from the west. So how clear we can make it more than this that your prophet is teaching fictions? No, because we know it's, it's obvious that we know that it's not going to A to B. Um, what do you mean? Visually, obvious? We, we can't visually we can't see it going to A to B. No, it, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The, the hadith is saying the hadith is saying it clearly that this is the course, and even he says, and this is the interpretation. Of the verse saying, and this is the prophet saying that not me, and this is the interpretation of the statement of Allah, the and the and the sun runs into fixed course. So, what is the fixed course? Sun every day go from point A to point B, and put straight, ask for permission to rise and go from the east, until one day Allah will not accept and will order the sun to goes to come back where it's coming from. Does it say that? Come. From where it's coming from, where it coming from, the west. So you're a prophet saying that the sun goes to the west, and then Allah will allow it to go back to the east. But one day Allah will change the course, and He will say, "Don't go arise from the east, go arise from the west." What happened? Difficult to answer? What do you think? He hang up now. That is the final answer. We hang up. The time we noted that this is stupid and this is a crazy. As simple as that the same as the guy who want to tell me about the priest who said to him you have to give 10 percent to the church yes you have to give yes yeah, yeah of course so what will what we will do now so yes yeah, um, the, the sun so this is the course that Allah is describing that visually we can see huh? you know when we look we see all what don't tell me when yes, we I look. Listen. Don't tell me when we look. Don't tell me when we look. You're a prophet. He made many clear statements, and here is explained to you that the sun is the one is moving. Did your God? Did your prophet say the earth is moving, and this is what make the sun appear to be rising and setting? No, he's talking only about the sun going. Correct. What yeah. is the only object? Yeah, about the only object is moving in this story is the sun. Do you agree? But it's not, it's not saying that it moves. It says that. I mean, come on. Everybody can see it. It goes. It goes. Permission to go. I mean, come on. Permission to go. To go. Yeah. But, well, we have to we have to look at the context. The context is talking about it's going to go to uh, heaven. And it's going to search that. So, no. Uh, yeah, hold on. It doesn't matter if it goes where. Who cares? It goes. Who is the one who's going? The sun. What I'm saying is, how does it go? It doesn't not, matter. Uh, you, know, you, you can ask your God. Your prophet explaining the sunset. It's sun now. Why it's sun? Where the sun goes? It goes to prostrate. So your prophet explained that the sun is always here, but then when time come at night, the sun go and prostrate itself under Allah, and then ask for permission to come back. 
So don't tell me it's not talking about the sun is moving. That's really silly. Everybody is watching and laughing. No, it's not. It's not talk, talking about physically. Really? Well, when yeah. your prophet you say the sun set in the murky water, is it uh, physically or not? No, it's not physical. Read it. It just it goes beyond. What? Read beyond? It says no. It says it's set in a spring of warm water. Beyond what? Is the ocean is a muddy water and a spring of hot water? Is the ocean is spring? So the, the Arabic word of his translates as, uh, um, you know, going out of your sight. Hmm. Here we go. It says, فَإِنَّهَا تَغْرُبُ فِي عَيْنٍ حَامِيَةٍ hmm. So, what we will do now? It says, the, the translation here is uh, very close, accurate to the... I don't agree with Muslim translation, all of it trying to protect Muhammad, but here we go. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water. Actually, it's not warm, it's hot. Hamia. Hot, very hot, boiling water. What make your prophet saying such a thing? This is a legend. People believe that Alexander the Great, you know, not believe actually, this is a fiction story written by somebody from Syria about Alexander the Great. That he went here and he went there and things happened to him. You're a prophet, he did the story, he put it in his Quran. So basically, the hadith is telling you know, simply telling us the farthest point of the earth that the sun reaches, and it says uh, mm. the furthest point is, is to a particular shore, a uh, body of water, mm. um, and it's a hot, basically a hot spring. Uh, this doesn't negate that it can't be an area of an ocean. So you can find this in Fatul Bari as well. You can find uh, it in, uh, in nice many you, Okay, let, let's, let's see. Is it does it say that he found near to it people who live there? Does it say that until he reached the sitting of the sun? Does it say That's that? That's separate. You're conflating two two different things. This is talking about the hadith is talking about something else, and no, the this is about talking about it's um, exactly the same statement. Muhammad says, "Ainun hamia." Your prophet Quran saying the same, "Ainun hamia." It's the same thing, and he found he keep walking, walking until. When he reached the sitting of the sun, sitting what? Sitting place of the sun, correct? If you don't like this translation, we can change it. The sitting place of the sun. Do you agree? Is it the sitting place uh, of the sun or not? The disappearing. So I would say the trans okay. good trans okay, read it. translation would be that it disappears. Okay, read it. Would disappear? No. It says until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Yeah. Okay. So it's a place where the sunset. Do we agree? So, so when we say sunset, you know, when we say sunset, does the sun actually set? It doesn't set. No, 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 no. Listen, he keep walking. This guy is going for years in a trip. This is not one night trip. He walking, 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 and finally he arrive where the sun place of sitting is. Otherwise, my friend. I see the sun setting every day, even if I'm not moving my chair, correct? The sun set yeah, everywhere in the world. He, he, yeah, but he doesn't say he's been walking to a thousand years just to find this. No, he, he it says, says he, no, he, it he, says he, that. He no, it says this. that. Here we go. He's describing Read, the no, no, it says that. Read carefully. He so he followed away. Do you see it? Don't say he did not say that. He followed away. He changed direction. And then until. So he keep going, keep going, keep going until he reached the sitting place of the sun. So Alexander the Great, his trip was for many years. Actually, he did not go back to his country. So he keep going, no, the, keep going, keep going. The, 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 point, the point I'm making is that he's he's not looking for this. It's something that he uh, he came across and then he found people near it. And then no this problem. is a description no of problem. it. So but he who is the one who says? So like, even if you are at the beach, you see the sun setting and it looks like... This is not the, what we are a, talking about. Listen, of, listen, 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 water. listen. Okay. So are you saying to me, Alexander the Great, he found the beach finally? Is that the point? Well, he lived in Rome. And in Italy is a is a is a is surrounded by beaches. It's actually all of Italy is an island. 
That means he did not know to go anywhere. But here it says, he found, he found, uh, he found until he reached the sitting place of the sun. What is the sitting place of the sun? You reach it. Where is that? I don't know, but you must have seen it. No, what's seen it? And by the way, who is the one who's talking? Is that Alexander the Great or Allah talking now? So Allah, Allah is saying this. Hmm. Allah is telling us uh, what he saw. Allah, he told us what he saw. And what he saw? Or he, uh, Allah, he told us what he saw or what he found? Yeah, found, so it's... Okay. it's when we say know, found, is a find, is a fact, or it's a fiction? We say the word found. Wajadaha. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. Wajada shay, he found it, right? Athara alayhi. Yeah. Okay, so he found something. So this is what he found. And Allah saying he agree with his, what he found. So he found it sitting. Who is talking? Allah. Allah did not say he thought the sun sitting. He said he found it. Yeah, he found it. So okay. Obviously, it's setting, you, isn't it? All right. He found it sitting in a spring of muddy hot water. Yeah. Okay. That's how I looked at it. All right. How in the world he found such a find? Is easy. What is he? How, where, is, where is the where is the hot water where the sun goes in the spring of hot water? Where is that? Um, wherever it's, wherever it's like a lot of heat, you can find the you can find obviously the the sea is going to be hot and um, what hot? It says Ainin Hamia. It's a spring of water. It's not even an ocean. Ainin Ham Ain 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 Ainuma. Huh? The Quran, yeah, spring, yeah. Okay, the, the word I mean is spring, spring of water. This is not the ocean. So stop yeah. stop going and speaking about the ocean. This is not about ocean. It's a spring of hot water. So there's no way he thought it is a spring of hot water and it goes in that spring. Yeah. Okay. So how this is can be true? Why was what's the problem with it? Do the suns? Uh, what do you mean? Where is that? Uh, where where is that spring of water where the sun goes in it? What do you mean? What's the problem with it? Have you ever heard of yeah. such a spring of water, hot water, the sun go in it? Yeah, the sun doesn't um, physically go in it. Just uh, visually, you see this. Okay, happening. what is the visually? He saw a spring of water, and he visually he saw the sun sitting in that spring. Yeah. How this happened? Yeah. yeah. How this happened? How in the world the spring of water can contain the sun? How is and why Allah saying to us such a stupid thing? Let us say, I am a person who saw something not true. Allah saying to me, He found the sitting place of the sun, which means He's confirming my find, agreeing with it, and He found near it, near what? Near where the sun set, people, which means now it's not not only confirming the place, confirming people who live next to the place where the sun set, which is a block. Black muddy water, correct? Yeah. Okay, where is that spring of water where people li live next to it and the sun set in it? Um, I, don't, I don't know the location. Do Allah know the location, you think? Of course. Okay, let us see. Allah, of course, you know. Okay. And then we will see that your your, your God, he says, and then he changed his di the direction, correct? And then he keep going, keep going until he come to the rising place of the sun. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So Allah is saying that he have two direction. One all the way where the sun set and the other one where the sun rise. He found next to it. He found it rising on people who have Allah provide them no shelter. Okay. Where is that location where the sun rise and there's people next to it, next to the where the sun rise? As I know, sun rise everywhere. Yeah, this is like he went to the furthest part of east and um, and west. Okay, but it says here he until hatta baliga matli shams. He found where the sun rise. This is a location where the sun rise. So what the verse here saying that there is a place where the sun is coming from. The sun rise everywhere, but there's a place where the sun rise from and then rise in the top of the rest of the earth. That's what it says. 
حتى إذا بلغ مطلع الشمس until he came to the rising place of the sun. It's where rising place. Otherwise, the sun rises everywhere. But here, there's a rising place, which means this is a station. So, what the Quran teaching that there's a station where the sun sleep, and there's a station where the sun rise from. Correct. Um, no, it doesn't seem like that's the. Does it say the word? Okay. Does it say the rising place? Does it say the word place? Yeah, but in the Arabic it doesn't say Makkah. No, it says that Hatta Balagh Matli al Shams. It's a correct translation. Until he arrived to the place Matli al Shams. Until that place he arrived. Balagh. So he arrived to it. He reached it. Where where the sun rise from? Wajadaha Tatla. He found it rising. So he repeat that twice. So the translation is really accurate. So he until he keep going, keep going, keep going until he found where the sun place rise from. He found it. What do you say? It seems like a description to me. Seems like description. For sure, it's description. Description what he found and where it is. But nobody knows. Then he found another fiction story. Then he found he followed another direction. And then he found people between two mountains. And those people they said to him, Please build for us a dam between us and people of Gog and Magog. Do you believe in the story of Gog yeah. and Magog? Yep, yeah, yeah, the two nations. Okay, those Gog and Magog yeah. is one nation or two nations? Two nations. Okay, are they in one side or in two sides? Uh, what do you mean? Okay. I will draw for you. Yeah, we have to draw what we can do. Here we have two mountains. Well, what's the verse? Can I? I want to check here. Though. This is the chapter of the cave. You can read it. From, you can read 91, 92, 93. So there's two mountains. Those are two mountains. Okay. And here, where is Gog and Magog? Where is Gog are located? Where is Magog? Let me let me color this section here with a brown. Where is Gog and Magog located? Let us make it thick. Do you see my screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where is Gog located? Gog first. Uh, let me read the verse. It says, Until when he reached a uh, uh, pass between two mountains, he found beside them a people who hardly understand his speech. They said, Oh, Dulkal, uh, indeed, yeah, Jujima, you are corrupted in the land. So, we, so may we assign for you an expenditure uh, to make a barrier. Um, so it doesn't say where they are. It okay. doesn't say it's in between. Okay, but Gog and Magog, are they living in one place together? Uh, they, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. Okay. But, well, okay. They ask him, I will go with you. They ask him to build a dam between them and Gog and Magog. Do you agree? Yeah, build a barrier. Okay. So if we say now that those people are from this side, let us say, here we have a human. Let us type the word or letter H. Here we have the human. Human. Okay. From the other side we have Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. They are from the other side. Do you agree? Um, don't know. They might have been together. Well, he built a dam between them, right? He built a dam between the human and Gog and Mago, correct? So he said, bring me sheets of iron until when he had leveled between the two mountain walls. Hmm. So yeah, he made two walls. Hmm. So? 
he built a dam between the human and Gog and Magog. Do you agree? Yeah, so he did something like that. Okay. Now, how that would stop Gog and Magog from coming to us? In order to believe in this, we have to believe that the earth is a flat and this dam spread all the way to the edge of the earth from two sides and they cannot come to us because this is the only way to come. Or you have to agree that the mountains, those two mountains, are not strong in the earth and building a dam does not make any difference. They can go around it. So, so he, 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 he obviously used molten copper. Um, he also, the, the whole purpose of, of him doing that was to prevent them to... Correct, um, to prevent them from coming to the human. Okay, and your prophet, he claimed that uh, those the Gog and Magog, they are digging in this wall, right? Every day, they are digging in this wall, trying to get out. And according yeah. to your prophet, one, thousand, one of them can make 1,000 baby before he die, which means the number of those Gog and Magog is crazy. So if we are now seven or eight billions, the people of Gog and Magog should be like maybe trillions. Yet we cannot find one of them. Yet we cannot find where the land is. They are a huge number. And they use sword and shield, which means they are like, they look close yeah, to can us. You, can you show me that this about the huge number? I haven't, I haven't come across it. Mm -hmm. You never came across it yet? No, not the number like this, uh, multiplying. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can. Let us save this uh, beautiful paint made by Picasso. And <laughs> we will go to see the Hadith. All right. You've been here for like three hours, are you not tired? Huh? Have well, you been here for about three hours, are you not tired? So what? The Lord, he provides me with strength, my friend. Here we go. Read with me. Muhammad, he claimed, and during the time, but let us go first. Uh, uh, the, the hadith you asked me about, the one, uh, 1,000. Um... It's in my book actually, but uh, let us find it from here. All right. Let us see this one. Uh, we cannot find it here. Hold on. All right, you know Arabic, right? Um, okay, it says here, and Hadith on Ibn Mas'ud, etc. And Juja wa Juja aqalla ma yutrak wa hadahum bisulbihi alfun min adurriya, wa nisai, etc. Okay, so each one of the Gog and Magog will leave behind him one thousand baby before he die. All right. See it? 
and this is page number uh, 114 in the book of Fath al-Bari fi Sharh Sahih al-Bukhari so yes it is 1000 the number actually we can find it in the Bukhari but I need to look more but this is enough now if we go back back to Gog and Magog you're a prophet saying that those people they are behind the dam and they every day uh, they are trying to dig and actually Muhammad he claimed that in his time the people of Gog and Magog they open little hole like in the size of his finger Correct? yeah okay so now those people who they are digging in that wall which is made from iron and copper and they are huge in number and the barrier is the one making them not to be able to come to us how this barrier will function as I said to you if the earth is not flat I build a barrier from here they can go from the other direction and come back to us they can go around the mountain they can climb the mountain not necessarily the dam maybe the dam it's impossible because maybe it's a flat wall what about climbing the mountain and come in from the top of the mountain down how you believe in such a story uh, it must have been from from uh, special bodies yeah actually their ears they are they are those Gog and Magog people they can sleep in their right ear their ears like a tent hmm? their ear is like a tent they sleep inside their right ear now I'm asking uh, focus with me about the, the the Gog and Magog the Gog and Magog who they are huge by number hmm? yeah where we can find them and why we could not find one of them until now and they are behind a dam and there is people who believe live there in front of that dam so we did not find the people who live in the front of the dam and we did not find the people who live behind the dam what do you say by Allah's permission he, he hid them from us he no, his, uh, not by Allah's permission he's, he's, uh, people they know them. The, the human being they live uh, next to them so they know them. Where is the human being they saw those people? Nobody. They must have died by now. Where? So the people that live there. Huh? People who live there. The people that live there, they might have died by now. By now. Okay, but about their children, they have children. You know, you, you die, you have your children. And the children of the Gog and Magog are just next few meters away. This is a long time ago in history. Doesn't so, matter. You know, Doesn't matter, yeah. but they still exist until now, right? So, Gog and Mago, did they die? No, no, they exist. Okay. And there is a dam which is stopping them from coming, right? Yeah. Okay. And the dam is made from iron and copper, correct? Yeah. Well, iron and copper, they, they rust. Both. Yeah, but this was uh, by Allah. Allah gave him power to do this. What power? It's a, it says iron and copper. How iron and copper can survive? So Dhul uh, Qarnin said, "This is mercy from our Lord." When the mercy, my friend, Lord did he made the dam? Revelate. Did he make the dam from <laughs> copper and iron? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Iron and copper, they rust. Correct. That's the general nature of it, but if Allah wants, He can make it. Uh, okay, I will go with you. So Allah, He kept the dam until now, correct? Yep. Okay, where we can find the dam? Who have trillions of people of Gog and Magog behind? We can't find it. Why? That's the that's uh, that's what Allah wants. So Allah hide them from us. Exactly. Ah. This is not because it's a fiction story, stupid stories. Muhammad, he, you know, he 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 like what people say about it. It's a true story. He said, "Yeah, it's a true story." So Allah, will, uh, he they will come out eventually. Um, mm. but right now they're hidden from us. Okay, you're a prophet. He says that people of Gog and Magog, and before the judgment day, a sign of the judgment day, they will shoot at you, and the Muslim they will use their arrows for fuel because from wood for seven years do you agree with that so whatever the prophet said he spoke the truth okay but they are using arrows they were in the judgment day they will be using arrows 
Yeah, that's a possibility. We could go okay, back into so the people, dark ages. Okay, so those people they are going to attack us with arrows, but now we have nukes. Yeah, like like I said, we can go back in the dark ages. That's a possibility as well. No, no, no. He's saying in the judgment day. This is in the future. They will attack us with their arrows, and your prophet says that they will, uh, you know, uh, they will shoot their arrows at you, and you will use their arrows for seven years. Yeah. Hmm. How come they How come they can be controlling the whole earth, except the city of Mecca and Medina? But yet they are using arrows, so they are going to conquer the Russian by arrows, and the American by arrows. Yeah. So uh, what I'm saying is, if the, if we go back to the dark ages, we won't have these um, advanced weaponry and stuff and all this. So this, uh, that's a possibility as well. So if that happens, then we will go back to all these um, arrows and horses. Hmm. And but this is the question: Our prophet is prophesying about the future, the judgment day. Saying that yeah. they will be using, I know at that time they used those, no, no, no problem. But we are talking about the future, that judgment day will happen when those people attack us with their arrows. But at that time, already we have nukes, we have weapon beyond imagination. So, what arrows, how they can conquer us with their arrows? <clears throat> yeah, so, so this narration, the two ways of looking at it, one way is that, um. Obviously, the prophet didn't uh, like. Even if the prophet said like in nukes and stuff like that, people won't understand it. So he used something that was uh, uh, used a word that's going to be related to the people, uh, so, so they can relate to it, and the later people can understand it. Mm. So, um, so that's one way of looking at. It. The other thing is, could we could go back to the dark ages when nukes don't exist and all these uh, weaponry uh, will not exist. Um, so then, in that time, we we might be using arrows. So there's two ways of looking at it mm. to reconcile it. Uh, that's an amazing explanation, my friend. Okay. Well, if you want to learn more about those fiction stories, uh, like as an example, your prophet speak about them, that those people, they are very good in sex and they can have can sleep with a lot of their females nonstop. And they can have a lot of babies. And when they talk, they talk like wolves. Ooh, you know? And uh, oh. they have long penis too. And um, they have hair in their body. They are very hairy, uh, but they are—they look like a human, you know, somehow like a human. But they have like long nails, and they have uh, teeth of uh, uh, lions. I mean, how? And and even they have a hump like like uh, camels. So how come we don't see one of them? You said Allah hide them, right? Uh. Hmm. Okay, must be a true story. All right, my friend. Thank yep. you for calling. Thank you. <clears throat> you guys be the judge. This is what Islam is about. Stupid stories. Allah, he built the dam. Sorry, Alexander the Great, he built the dam between us and those people so we cannot see them. And when we ask this uh, gentleman, where are they? He said, Allah hide them. That's why we cannot see them. Hmm. Allah hide them. He built the dam and that's it. They cannot now go through the dam. And not only that, even Muhammad, he said, Every day they try to make a hole in the dam, and when the night come, uh, almost they are opening the dam. They say, "Let us go to sleep." They go to sleep. Allah close the dam again, which means He repair it. But one day, those people and all of this happening because they are not saying the same inshallah when they leave. So one day they will come, and the leader they will say to them, "Okay, let us stop now. It's night. Go rest. Inshallah, tomorrow we will work again." Because he said, inshallah, Allah will not repair the dam and they will be able to make a hole and continue and get out of it and they will attack all mankind. This is what the Muslims believe and this is what Islam is about. So, I don't know who is watching, I don't know who is listening, be the judge. How this is can be from God. How this is can be from God. I mean, you have to be really uh, have a mental issue to believe in those fiction stories. Gog and Magog, if they are exist and they are a huge number, even in the time in the time of where the story happened between a thousand of years before Muhammad, it says that nobody can count their numbers. You can go to the book of At-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, read. It says nobody can count their number at that time.
in the book of at tabari it says that you know their ear is so huge to the point you can sleep inside it covered by hair it's like a tent and nobody count their number and every one of them when he die he make 1000 before he die he make 1000 baby so imagine how much we have around us now from the Goga Mako. But yet we cannot Google have in every single inch in this earth in the map. And those are not under the ocean creatures. Those are a nation who they have a blood and flesh like us. They look weird. Crazy stuff. That is Islam, my friend. So when I say, thank God, Allah is not the God, because if he is the true God, really, that means we are really screwed up. For we have a crazy, stupid God. So thank God, Allah is not the God. No way. Right? No way. How anyone can believe in such a madness? I look like we have an auction here. <laughs> we have an auction for this picture. I want to have it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> but the funny, by the way, it was the Indonesian guy who was really upset for getting Islam busted. And he tried to make a topic about some Christians, they speak in tongues. Well, there are some people they really speak and there's people who they are liars. But that will not change anything, that Christ is real. There's false Christians, there's false churches. But your prophet says, my nation will be 73 sects. Christian will be 71, 72, which means Islam is even more divided, if this is what you are talking about. If the division will prove Christianity to be false, well, Islam is more divided. If the numbers will prove who is right, that means we are right. Because we are a lot more bigger than numbers from the Muslims. But we don't count numbers, because numbers for what? God, he don't care for numbers. It's a quality. We are people who follow Christ, and he is a person of a quality. We don't follow him because he have numbers. So we could not find any Muslim, really. He can convince us on anything. This is a stupid cult based on fiction stories, stupid stories. And no Muslim can give us anything good to be considered, even for a second. And look, we are here for how many hours? Not a single Muslim was able to give us one thing. What they have about Jesus, against Jesus? Nothing. If a Muslim will attack Christianity, you will notice he talk about Christians, but he cannot attack Christ because Christ is perfect. You can say Christian prince is bad. Okay, what does this have to do with Christ? Say that. Who said that we don't commit sin? I commit sin. Even Muhammad, he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. But what does this have to do with me? To be with God? I'm a man. But the question is, why the Quran says that he is the Holy Son? Chapter 19, verse 19. The only one in the Quran is holy, with no sin, is Jesus. The only one in Islam who have no sin, is Jesus the only one who Satan cannot touch him is Jesus he touched even Muhammad even Muhammad is sinner the only one who do not need forgiveness in the Quran is Jesus because how you can forgive the one who have no sin while Muhammad Allah he says to him may Allah forgive to you Your future, your past sin, how that can be from God. Chapter 48, verse number 2. You will not find a single verse in the Quran speaking about Jesus as sinner. Instead, it says that, peace on me the day I am born. 
peace on me the day I'm die I die and peace upon me the day I'm resurrected peace do you know what peace mean that's mean glory of God peace is from only come from God that is a peace of God so why he have a peace on him the day is born the day he died the day he is resurrected because he is pure you see we lose our peace when we commit sin do you agree we lose our peace peace with whom with God because now we are exposed to sin and sin bring a lot of problems so peace be upon me salam who said that? The Quran. About who? About Jesus. Nineteen fifteen, nineteen thirty three. And notice here the Quran saying that the one who said that is Jesus. Anyone notice with me how dangerous that is? Can I give peace to me when I'm dead? No. Can I give peace to me when I am born? I'm just a child. So how Jesus can give himself peace? So peace on me, peace on him. God give him peace. To who? To Isa. He's not born yet. But he is a special person. He come with peace. From the second he's born, he is coming with peace. So in his birth, peace. In the day he die, peace. And the day he is resurrected, peace. This is only granted to the Messiah. Even in the yellow pages of Muhammad, while Muhammad, he is saying that Allah said to him, may Allah forgive to Muhammad his past and his coming sin. Are you ready? You get smashed now? I thought I'm smashed already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and here you notice says, uh, peace on me the day I die, right? Now, the Muslim, they say, oh, this is, will happen in the judgment day. Not now. Jesus will come and will live for seven years and then he will die. But actually, because this time is very stupid, uh, silly cult, confusing cult. Look what other uh, verse in the Quran say. Let me turn the light on. Because I cannot see anymore. Let us see. All right. If you go in the Quran in chapter 3, verse number 55, it says this. And remember Allah when He said to Jesus, la 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 la, etc. Okay, and then He says, uh, I will make those who follow thee superior. But before that, it says, and remember Allah said to Isa, I will take you and raise you to myself and clear you. Here you see the Muslim lying in translation. It doesn't say, I will take you only. It says, I will cause your death. So in order for Jesus to come to heaven first, he have to die. And you change the translation. This is like, this is Yusuf Ali. This is who? Uh, <coughs> Let us see different translation. They lie in the translation. I could not find one Islamic translation is truthful. Indeed, I will take you and raise you, but not even on them. It's saying, I will cause your death. It says, it says, Mutawafika. it's gone. Change the translation. Translation. This is what Sahih International. I see this one, the wish. I will take you and raise you to me. The word die is gone in the translation. Different translator. 
Kawari, Karawi, whatever his name. I will take your soul. Look, look here. This guy is trying to be to cover the fraud. So he admit that it says, "I will cause your death. I shall take your soul." <coughs> Change the translator. I am terminating your life, brother. Like suppose this guy is like being, but he's is more honest than the rest at least. Oh Jesus, I am terminating your life. Why in the other translation we show you more than seven of them? Not even one of them says I am terminating your life. Do you ask yourself why? Because they are trying to cover the problem. It says it clearly. إذ قال الله يا عيسى إني متوفيك ورافعك إلي متوفيك causing your death. Every single translation took the word off. And this guy, by the way, even here is not being honest, because why you are saying I'm terminating your life? Why? What about you say I'm causing your death and that's it? What terminating your life then? I mean, what terminating your life mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, guys, we stream for those. I was, I really apologize. I was away, but there is sometimes things you need to do too. Same time, uh, uh, we give you time to miss me, and I think it's good. So maybe it's not, not. Uh, there's no reason, reason to do every day, every day broadcasting, so we can get more of you missing our broadcast and the challenge to the Muslims, and maybe we can get some Abdul, big ones, like this guy. From Indonesia, maybe he can talk to his teacher who left Islam already life on air, accepting that the Quran is full of garbage. I want really people to download the video, especially with this Indonesian guy, where he said clearly that Quran is wrong. We have a 24 Abdul who give us this like. But only to Abdul called us three Abdul, and none of them can do anything. Everything we do here provided with reference and proofs. Right? Uh, look what he. What? Look, let me show you an example of the Muslims' intelligence. Let me show you this guy. This is a Muslim trying to defend Islam, supposedly. Look what he said. His name is Afray. Zibi, Allah Zul Jalal put it when in your heart that why you love money in this dunya. Okay, so he's saying that Allah, he made in my heart love money. I will go with you. Let us say what you say is true. You just agree that your God, Allah, is the devil. Because what is my fault if Allah made me love money as you claim? And love this earth. If Allah made me do that. So you try to defend Allah and to insult me by saying something is not true. But by doing that, you admitted that Allah must be the devil. Because who is the one who made me love money according to you? Who is the one who put that in my heart according to you? Allah. Allah is the devil. From your own words, from your own mouth. Thank you very much. This is what happened when a Muslim tried to refute me. They think they can insult me by saying things, but by doing that, they got themselves busted. To your action, Allah will misguide you. No, my friend. Look what this guy said. This guy is supposed to be smarter. Due to that, your action, Allah will misguide you. That's not according to Islam. That's false. It is what Allah wrote for me will happen. And we spoke about that many times before. Who do you specifically? Is going to hell bad? Yes. Who is the one? Is killing somebody bad? Yes. Is uh, uh, stealing? Is somebody stole your money? Is it bad? Yes. All those things happen by the will of Allah. 
So Allah is the biggest thief. Any disaster happen to you as an individual or as a group happen only by the approval of Allah. So if a man he rape your wife, Allah approve it. Do you see it? Allah approve it. So when a man he decided to rape a woman, Allah, he made that man do it. Hmm? And we showed before many hadith where Muhammad, he, he speak about Moses and uh, uh, Adam debating. And Muhammad, he says, that Adam, he says to Moses, do you play me for sin which Allah he decreed for me that I should do? 40 years before my creation. Sin is not something you choose to do in Islam. It's Allah he made for you. As an example, even Muhammad, he claimed that when you do commit adultery, it is not you who commit adultery. It's Allah. Allah, he wrote for you, your portion, very fixed portion of sin, which you should do. And you have no choice to do or not. And this is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Hadith. Verily Allah has fixed a very portion of adultery which a man will indulge. Which means you should do. Indulge in. And in which of his necessity must commit. Do you see guys the word necessity? He must commit. Do you see it? Okay, so if Allah He wrote for me a necessity sin to commit, so where who is the one committing sin? Allah. Do you see, guys? And here you see the stupidity of this cult. If Allah is the one, He make me commit sin. Why I will be punished for my sin if he is the one who made sin, which is necessarily I have to do. Do you see it? Aina Radu Ayuhatta Rushuja. How are you, Bashar? Are you Shuja? What uh, what what do you want to say, Mr. Shuja? Let us see what this guy is saying. You know, sometimes people they say things and they think I can read everything. I don't know. Maybe talking to me. I don't know. Any Muslim want to say anything? How in the world this is going to be from God? So why any human being will be punished for his sin? Allah, He He write for you your sin, and you have to do it. This is not my words. This is your words. Muhammad saying. Allah, he has fixed portion for you of adultery, which a man should do. Not only that, he says, which in of necessity must commit. And that involves all sins you do in your life. This is the most stupid cult ever. So Allah, he make me commit sin. Allah, make me refuse Islam. Allah, make me refuse Muhammad. Allah, and then he will punish me for he, for he made me do that. Have you ever heard more stupid than this? Yeah, to finish the Quran translation, actually, I think I will I will take a I will take like a, a let us say some time from broadcasting just to finish it. You know, I will take let us say a vacation from YouTube so I can finish the Quran translation. I know most of you want it, and I will make it happen. I will, but uh, you know, this is taking too much time for me. Uh, this is the hadith. Let me post it for you. Here we go. And this is Sahih Muslim. And this exists everywhere, not only in this place. This is madness. Who in the world can believe in this? That's crazy. Okay, a Muslim who want to refute me, no problem. Give me his uh, Skype. <coughs> 
Guys, there's a Muslim. He wanna refuse. He refused me. All right. Let us see this Muslim. <coughs> All right, my, my friend, I, I texted you. Please text me back and call me. The one who wanna refute me, please, because we are here for on air for long and I did not eat since yesterday. Let me call you. Maybe it's going to take you forever to call me. Um, alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Uh, I have a question concerning uh the hadith. Um, mute YouTube, please. Can you mute YouTube? Uh, I have a hadith. I have a question about the uh, hadith hmm. concerning the hamiya, like what oh. the sun says. All right. What about so? It? Basically. Well, no, it's not really a question, but I kind of want to explain my view on it. So I think where it says about it saying in a place, I don't really think that it's a valid hadith because science says that like the sun is in the middle of the universe and that the earth orbits around it. So mm. I think uh, it's where you see. So you believe the Quran uh, is wrong? Yeah. The Quran is wrong? No, no, no the hadith where it says that... Like, but, uh, but the Quran says, it, but, the, but the Quran says but, that to but, not only like, the hadith. When the Quran friend, says that he found it, my friend, setting a spring water, no, he just but, says. But it, this is in the Quran. He looked, too. The, he looked at the spring and he saw the. No, 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 no. It doesn't say he. No, 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 no. It doesn't look like. It doesn't say that he looked and he looked like. It says he found it. Right. It says he found yeah. it. Who is the one is talking? Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. When you say I find, I say like, okay, I don't know what's your name. What's your name, my friend? Uh, Sayyid Hashim. Sayyid, okay, Sayyid. So Sayyid, I say Sayyid. He went home and he found that there is a uh, uh, he have a flood of, of of the water. Okay, when I say that, I am not saying he thought. I'm saying he found. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second you say found. The second you say found, that means it's a fact. It's a find. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he did not think or he saw, he found. Do we agree? Yes. And the second you say he, he found, that means this is a find. This is not a thought. He found. Yeah, so he was like, yeah, he found the, like, the spring of murky water. Okay. But and then he saw the sun and he found that the sun was setting in it. No, hold on. And it's you see, about who is the one he, saying he found it? Allah is describing how the okay. Quran. Why Allah is why Allah sun. is not correcting the find if it's wrong? No, I'm saying the hadith is wrong. This is not hadith. Where, no. I'm showing you Quran. No. I'm showing you Quran. I'm not only supporting the hadith. I'm showing you Quran, my friend. It is says that in the Quran that he found. The Quran says the word found. So Allah is talking. He says he found it sitting in a spring of murky, muddy, hot water. Okay, why Allah is reporting a wrong find? He isn't. He is. He's just saying that he Vulcanine hmm. found the. Okay, that's mean. That's water. mean. It's not okay. That's mean. It's not the wrong find. Thank you. So that means it's not the wrong find. So he found that. So Allah telling us what he found is not reporting wrong finding. He is reporting what he found. So Allah in total agreement with what he found. He found it. Yeah, he didn't say he didn't mean that the sun literally. Okay, said how do you know he did not mean? Doesn't say he found it there. He found the spring of murky water. No, no, he found it set. He did not say he found the spring. He found it. He reached the place where the sun set. Okay, and then he found it sitting. So he found it sitting. That's a find. And here, uh, 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 there's a translation. You like me to change for you? Uh, could you could I just see the shocker transition? Who shocker? Like. Shaker, okay, yeah. Is shaker a Shia? Uh, no, 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 okay, 
Let us see where Shakir. Where is Shakir? Here we go. Okay, this is Shakir. Wally. Wally. All right. Read for me, please. It says until he reached the place where the sun set. So what he's saying? There's two mistakes here. One, number one, there's a place where the sun set, but that's not true. Sunset everywhere. But he is confirming here that there's a specific place, a station where the sun set. And where is that station? He found it going down. This is a translation you choose for me. Going down into a black sea. But nowhere it says a black sea or the word sea. Do you speak Arabic? Oh, uh, no, not really. Okay, that's a false translation. We can ask anyone. Nowhere it says the word sea. Nowhere it says black sea. And nowhere it says even going down. It says Taghribu, disappear in a murky water. S set. Taghrib, Shams, mm. sunset in a murky yeah. water. So what we will do now? So the Quran confirmed the Hadith. Both of them, they are wrong. <clears throat> Could you show me the Hadith, please? Okay. Here we go. Let me tell you. Sorry, I'm gonna. You know, you know, Sayed. Okay, I understand you're a Muslim, and you are trying to say there is no way that God will make such a stupid mistake. But the Quran is full of stupid mistakes, and you try to say He don't mean that, but it's, it says that. I mean, we can try to fabricate answers, uh, but you know, fool yourself, fool me. It doesn't make any difference. This is why it says it says that clearly. He found the sun where the sun set. As simple as that. He is not saying he thought. You know, when I say they are asking Muhammad about Alexander the Great, then you should not report false information. You should report true information. So if you are saying to me, he thought, that means Allah is reporting stupid, uh, like this guy is stupid. But this is the prophet of Allah. And Allah is the one who gave him the power. And he is the one who gave him the guidance. So when we say he thought and those stories, it's just to defend it's a blind defense, but it's 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 funny. And you are smarter than this. Can I just ask a question? Sure. So like you know how um flat earthers use the argument. Sorry? <laughs> like you know, um oh I don't see the sun. Um like oh my shoes aren't flat, uh, like curved though, for example. <clears throat> when I see the sun, mm. uh, it just you know, like this the horizon argument, yeah. Mm. Does that is does that mean like you know no, the friend, sun is there setting? Is, there is in, a figure of speech. Okay, I understand. There is a fig there is a figure of speech people use. Like when I say actually the sun set, the sun never set. This is a figure of speech. And all of us we knew that. But this is not what's happening here. They are asking about Zulkarnain and Allah is reporting what happened with him. Not a figure of a speech. There's a huge difference. He's telling us he found people next to it, what happened, what he talked to them, what they said to him. Etc. So we cannot say this is a figure of a speech. But why not? Because it's not. As an example, the Quran says Allah is the Lord of the two east. Is that a figure of speech? Or he really believed there is two spe two uh, two east? Could you show me what that is? No problem. Here we go. <clears throat> Chapter 55, verse number 17. He is the Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. Why he said that? What do you think? Well, 
Well, I mean, it says it there, like places of sunrise during early summer. Yeah, this is between two translators, uh, uh, between bracket. This is uh, the translator trying to explain to you. But obviously, yeah. the Quran says, believe that there's two east to west. Why? Because Muhammad could not explain why the sun appeared from different place in winter from the sun appear from summer. But it's it, but it says right there, like even if it's in brackets, it's 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 an explanation. My friend, so no, no, no. This explanation, this is a translation. Okay, if we go, okay. You see, this is false translation, my friend. There it says, Rabbul wal the Lord of the two east and the two west. That's it. Muhammad could not understand why the sun is not appearing in the east from the same place in the winter. So the Arab and people before they believe there's two east and two west. Okay, but this is wrong. This is not a figure of speech. <clears throat> you are, you are. Uh, okay, let me ask you. You are a Shia, right? Mm -hmm. You are a Shia, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Let me drink some water. My throat is hurting me badly. All right. Why Zul Qurnain is called Zul Qurnain? Do you know? According to you, as a Shia, not really. You don't know? Mm -mm. Hmm. Do you have anyone next to you speak Arabic? No. Mm, sadly. Okay. Yeah. This is the interpretation of the Shia. This is Tafsir al Quran by At Tabrasi. Speaking about the person who is Al Qurnain, Ruya and Ali ibn Abi Talib, he was a servant of Allah who loved Allah and Allah loved him very much. And he and Allah he guided him and he guided by Allah. And he ordered his people to obey Allah. They hit him in his head on the side of his head by the sword. All right, and he hit him in the other side of his head by the sword. They kill him twice, and Allah raised him from death. And because of this head, he grow two horn, and this is why he's called the man with the two horn. Do you agree with that? Uh, uh, uh so basically, hmm. this this man Vulcanine hmm. told the peace people to worship Allah. Yes. And they hit him and they get a horn because they hit him like boing boing in his head like a cartoon you know cartoon they hit you in his head and there's like a pimple coming in your head so this is why he have two horn they hit him first time by the sword he have a horn and he hit him second time and that's why they call him man with a two horn mm. Mm. here it says that it says that he have he was called the man with a two horn because he used to have little two hair from Al Hassan. That's weird. And he was in his head what is looked like a horn of a of an of an like a cow. Uh, and then he says, when he arrived to the uh, to the end of the east and the west of the earth, uh, he was called by that because he was able to uh, occupy or control, or let us say. Uh, he took the horn of the sun and the horn of the sun from the east and the horn of the sun of them from the west This is your Shia okay, this, so, is, this is your Shia So Tabrasi says that hmm. Tulkarnain was also called to like the one with the two horns because he had two heads from al Hassan. Hmm. Yeah <clears throat> And that he like Grab the horns of the yeah. suns, like yeah. the east and the west of the sun. Mm -hmm. And here it says about this: uh, the the sun set in murky water. You can see in the screen with me. I'm showing it. Uh, you know, حتى إذا بلغ مغرب الشمس أي موضع غروبها until he arrived where the sun set. Where the sun set, he arrived to the last uh, and the end of the buildings from the side of the west. And he found there uh, uh, people behind it, where uh, behind where the sun set. Uh, and it did not report here he found where the sun set that because nobody can reach that place <laughs> the Shia start trying to do better what is your favorite uh, interpretation for the Quran 
Uh, personally, are you shocked, sure, but I don't know the reliability. But this is the I heard that it's better than Sahih International. Yeah, the Shia, they have a lot more fiction stories than the Sunni, by the way. And here they're trying to do the same as Ibn Kathir, saying, oh, it appeared like it is sitting in the, in, the, in the water, but in fact, this is how it appeared, but this is not what it says in the Quran. They're trying to copy from Ibn Kathir saying that. Don't you know, don't you have a, what is the, what is the highest the scholar for the Shia you know about? I mean, uh, I follow Ayatollah Sistani, so. Sistani, do you have an interpretation for this? Sistani exists now. Why you follow Sistani? Yeah. Are you an Iraqi? No. But a Sistani, why a Sistani? Why you don't follow Khomeini? No, I mean, I mean, there's no, uh, I guess I just go on the Sistani website and look for rulings because it's just easier for me to access. Hmm. Look, this is in the same. This is Tafsir uh, Al Qummi. You heard of Al Qummi? He's a Shia too, big scholar for the Shia. Look what it says. So we give him a control of the earth, etc. And then he says, they are asking you about Dhul Qurnayn. I will tell you some about him. And he says, he went to his people. Uh, he used to have two horns. Allah, he sent him to his people. They hit him in one of his horn, the, the, the right horn. And Allah made him die for 500 years. And then he resurrected him again and he sent him back. Did him again and the left corn. And Allah, he made him die for 500 years. And then after that, Allah, he resurrected him. And he gave him the east of the earth and the west of the earth. Until where the sun uh, set, and he says, and this is what the Quran is saying, he found the sun sitting in the murky water. All right. So Allah gave him control. So here in the Al-Qummi, he agreed that the sun set in the murky water. And if you want, I can give you the link. You can uh, you can use Google Translation, you know, uh, to translate. I will, I will post the link in the in the in the chat. So people can okay. You can click at the link. You can click at the page. Uh, open it with Google browser, and click at translate to go uh, to English. And then you will find the tra the translation in English. You will see it's exactly what I said. Like you can do this. I will show you how. You click translate, translate to English. Click at the page in the side, translate to English. And now it's going to appear in English, and you will see everything I said to you is there in English. Now, for sure, Google translation is not really good, but if you have somebody of your family speak Arabic, he can translate to you. I mean, you know, you I know you're native Arabic. Uh, like I know you're a native Arabian, so I don't really tell anything about translation. No, no. I mean, I'm, I'm just giving you the link, so in case you have somebody can help you to read to be sure that I'm telling the truth, not making things up. You know, uh -huh. and this is recorded. Everybody can see what we are talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? This is a really, this is a religion you want to follow? I mean, this is stupid. This can is I just send you? Can I just send you one link? Post it in the chat. I don't open a, a link in my Skype. If you want to send me something, send it in the chat. Okay. <clears throat> or maybe you cannot send a link in the chat. Uh, okay, send, give me the link. I will post it in the chat and then people will open it. I will not open it from my side. I will copy it and paste it there. Uh, well, give you the link in Skype. Okay. Okay. Give me a second, please. Okay. Do you like this website, my friend? The website you gave me? Do you approve it? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
this is a this is a very good website actually I like this website it's a, it's the most crazy website ever you will like it very much what do you like about it why you give me this website oh no it's because if I usually um have a question about anything as well or if I need to yeah but with this website something yeah but I, this website agree uh, with me would mean everything what is meant by the dark water how this is possible that even through the sun being with all its greatness can go down in the dark waters and not and and and, and not against the fact earth which means it's not uh, flat and it's rotate around the uh, around the sun and against the new so, so somebody asking question answer according to those last research that Islamic scholars and highly respected uh, writers in the Quranic etc says have done respect with their legend of Zulqarnain legend mean above mention verse Zulqarnain continued an attack forward etc and then until he reached the two oceans the shore of the two oceans in this regard this is different from between Mufassirin those who do give commentary uh, uh, by the oceans it meant the sea of what Okeanos, Okeanos, and it is Mediterranean and uh, whether the attack by Zulqarnain was in the west last limit etc okay Turkey all right yeah but all of this is not based of anything you know just, just giving opinion saying well the scholars who made those are you know they are not they don't know you know because they don't know the earth is wasn't flat at that time but that will not change anything look here the verse completely uh, the uh, regarding the earth a spherical shape and by Ayn and Hamia it's mean that same ocean in the last point of those horizon and the Sun and look how they fabricate they say this is when they say the Sun sitting in the murky water that's mean the earth is like a globe but this is fa false because the Quran have tons of verses saying the earth is a flat this is why you can pray in direction of the Kaaba if we go in the Quran And you said you like the translation of uh, Shakir, correct? Yeah. Okay. Let us see Shakir. Chapter 79. We go to Shakir. Where is Shakir? Here we go, Shakir. Here we go. Apply. Okay. In the art here it says, and the earth after that, he expanded after that. How you can expand the earth if the earth is a flat is is, is not a flat how you can expand it doesn't say expand it says well he made it flat and different different verse and Allah he put the mountains in the top of the earth which is false too different basalt basalt mean carpet and Allah he made the earth like a flat carpet the Muslim they translate says wide expenses. It doesn't say that. It says the flat carpet. So you cannot, my friend, if you want to see the truth, don't depend what you say to you in the translation. Look, if we change the translator, let us do this just in the front of your eyes. From Shakir, let us say to Bigtat. Is going to be the same? Expenses wide. It doesn't say that. It says like a carpet. Let's see. Until we find somebody is being honest. Uh, let us say uh, Arbery. Here we go. You see the word carpet? So why in the other translation saying expand the earth for us? It doesn't say that. But they you know, they, they can fabricate translation in order to cover the problems. Otherwise it says basalt. And I want uh, you know you can copy this word in Google it, and post um, it in Google. Sorry, you will see that the, you see the word basalt as a copy. The word besought is carpet. I mean, everybody knows. So the Quran confirmed the earth is a carpet. And the second you are you are saying besought, it's mean flat carpet. You know? And even he says different one. He says me had. Even a bed. Not only a carpet, it is a me had. So they try always to, to come with this false translation. Uh, but that doesn't work you know that 
that uh, that can work only with somebody you do not know chapter 20 verse number 53 a bed the earth is a bed what is the bed the bed is a standing and the side no bed is a flat Allah he made it that way So, because of the science today, the Muslim they try to adopt the science because it's stupid. So now, for centuries, the, the Shia, neither the Sunni, they say this is wrong. Nobody says it's wrong. Many now, especially the young ones, who they are educated, they try to cover up, saying, "Oh, he thought it's set in a sun murky water. Oh, he thought, but nowhere it says he thought." And all the Muslim scholars for centuries, and even Muhammad, we showed you the hadith, Muhammad saying that. So you can say he thought he thought as much he wish he wish but this is not what it says no anyway my friend say you can call me tomorrow if you want if I go live on air anytime you, you wish you have now my ID to call me and you can call me anytime all right okay. Okay. all right my friend take care As you see, the Muslim, and I understand you are a Muslim trying to defend, it's okay, you know, but this is stupid. You have to agree that this is stupid. You can say as you wish, you can refuse, you can, etc., but then we are showing reference, and, and, and here you know right away that there is somebody playing games. You know, some Muslims are like this guy. He called us. I can tell he's a decent person. He's not playing games. But others, you show it to them in the front of their eyes, and still they want to play games. But it's clear. Why nobody for centuries, from the beginning of Islam until now, said that this is not a true? After the Christian, they start accusing Islam of stupidity. Then we find someone who came more than eight hundred years after Muhammad. Saying, oh, this is the sun of this appear, you know, the sun disappear, uh, it appear like this. But this is not how it understood for the first centuries of Islam. So the more we get advanced in science, the more the Muslims, they try to adopt different meaning of the Quran. Islam is like a transformer cult. A Muslim who believe in a genie who will go inside his anus, yet he want to tell us that the Quran teach science. A Muslim who believe in a black magic and somebody have a flying carpet, yet suddenly they make videos about science in the Quran. Right? Five hours for five day hours away. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I think it's time. You see, thank you for reminding me. It's five hours already. So I want to say thank you for being here, guys. And please download the video immediately after you, uh, you finish. And I know it's long, but you can cut it pieces. Like each call, you can make it by itself. We have Abbas. He spoke to us. Very smart Abbas. Genius. How did he call us, Abbas? Yeah, we called Abbas. And we spoke to uh, Qasim. We spoke to Sayyid. We spoke to that guy from... From Indonesia and all of them they were very funny very entertaining and always the Muslims always they help us to show how crazy this cult is listen to them and see the madness so I say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you if you like to read more about Islam you can get my books from amazon.com or Amazon Spanish or Dutch or German Swedish French you name it and uh, feel free to download my video share share them everywhere and if you like what we do subscribe if you don't like don't subscribe and with this i say and i pray may the lord bless us all may the lord open the eyes of the muslims which we really will love them we don't hate them we don't want anything to, any harm to happen to them we want them to be saved and to be to be children of god literally in the way of receiving his mercy and his love and this is what we mean by literally children of God. Because a person who denied the true God, he chose not to be a child of God, which means protected, provided, sheltered, and loved by God. Our God, he believed and he gave us a free will. So he will not force you to be his child unless you choose to be one. 
So I invite all the Muslims who were with us today to accept the Messiah as their savior. Even your prophet says he will be going to be the judge. Hakam and Muqsitan, absolute just and justice. That is my Lord, my friend. The one who will judge in the judgment day. That is the Messiah. Not the one who is dead in the ground and cockroaches ate him. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.